The time has come. It is time for the spaghetti bobbing to happen to me at long last. Oh boy. Oh boy. I hope you <laughs> covered yourself in blue paint for the occasion. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm trying to blend in, right? Like hopefully I won't be noticed. It's like that episode of Star Trek Next Generation where um where Riker dresses up as an alien and then like gets injured and goes to a hospital and they're like you're an alien and then one of the nurses is like that's hot oh, and fucks him i don't think oh. i've you, you seen that, that one, one. one you of my favorite that, one? that was a good one one of my favorite is one of the early episodes uh because i like uh when uh, wesley is just you know a little shit and so i like right. the episode where they go to the planet where under no circumstances are they supposed to get on the grass but then like immediately <laughs> right. he's like i'm gonna go play football with these guys and they he like gets on the grass and they have to talk him out of executing him for just getting into typical wesley crusher hijinks right yeah i i feel i i feel like he's the obnoxious kid that knows too much and like causes problems because of it and it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, look Underrated at... Underrated character. I think he became that in real life, maybe a little bit. A little bit. Um, although, to be fair, I feel like he kind of paid for it becoming that person. Have you seen the videos of him actually trying to shill uh, Star Trek Picard and he just knows that the show is shit? <laughs> oh, just... really? no. I have oh, not. Yeah. That sounds oh, so painful. Oh my god. It's so funny. <laughs> the, wow. the boy is lying in the bed that he made for himself as a corporate He's chill. lying through his teeth about the game and the show, and then he's oh, lying. Yeah. Uh, he's lying in his bed. It's like, the, exactly. He's just a poor lying boy. <laughs> <laughs> he, I, I think, oh yeah, I, um, I'm blocked by him. But, uh, what, did, what did you do? You do. What did you do? Um, <laughs> Internet historian made a Twitter post talking about how he like keeps talking about what you know the Suicide Girls on oh, yeah, like yeah. their yeah, yeah yeah um he kept posting about them on Reddit and the year twenty and twenty three like before this okay, this was okay. like a few years ago okay. and um I I liked this post the Internet historian made being like Wesley Crusher loves like the Suicide Girls like loves softcore porn and i'm just like <laughs> and I, I thought it was a funny tweet and yeah. uh i think he got a block list together that blocked uh, anyone who liked that tweet oh, oh my goodness. god wesley crusher just own up to loving alternative <laughs> yeah. girl porn right just like at that point you lean into it right M maybe it's, it's because his deep. So it's N truly, right, it truly right. is. There's so many more like sick and twisted things he could have liked. Yeah, you know, he could have mm. been a member of the Smurf forums, for instance. You know, right? Like, it's true. And like, it's true. And like, the, 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 I, I think the post wasn't even like that aggressive either. He was just like, oh, all right, like a little weird, but you go, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, in truthfully, there's so many worse things. Oh yeah. Honestly, you, you'd it's be truly Smurfs. true. It's it's also one of those things that like it's it's kind of amazing that I has Will Whedon ever been pinned down for like anything like really bad? I you know, don't someone think so. who's been in the public eye for so long, like he doesn't have like I don't think he's had like any so. major controversies other than being no. like an annoying guy. I can't think right. of a single thing that he's gotten in trouble with at all right he, he just never comes up which i think maybe that's worse <laughs> it's like a celebrity influencer True. he's it's, damned it to is, irrelevancy you guys know that red letter media sketch where they're like nerds getting excited about every nerd thing yeah they're like very yeah. cool yeah, yeah, yeah. yes very cool yeah exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. um will wheaton is like the unironic version of that <laughs> I it's I think that he earnestly does enjoy a lot of nerd culture. Um, like I remember uh, watching his show where he plays a bunch of tabletop games with celebrities, and like it's just his enthusiasm for these board games is boundless, right? Like he's really into it, and he's talking about strategy and like the meta game of it, and um, and just having a blast. Yeah. But then, I like but that then people he's have passions like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah no, yeah. it's really obvious that this is something he gives a shit about. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
But then he's pulled in to like say, oh man, I'm so excited for Star Trek Picard. Ah! And it's and it's just <laughs> it's you can only get so excited about um about Patrick Stewart being old on screen and being like, I want to die. Oh, oh no, that's, it's that's data. True. That's Brent Spiner. That's oh, data who's like, I want to God. die. And he's like, I I feel you, man, but don't. <laughs> oh, it's it's bad. Oh goodness. Oh, what an awful <laughs> fate. I feel like I have worked so hard not to like have to rely on sponsors for down the rabbit hole, and I've mm-hmm. I've carved that out pretty well. And I I look I look at Will Wheaton and I'm just like I could have been that, right? Every time so? I get an email, do you think you could have become Will Wheaton? Do you think there's an alternate universe? Mm, I, I guess like money isn't as, maybe as strong of a motivator for me. I think that you get that rich, right? Like I, I think Will Wheaton is pretty well off at this point. You get that rich and it's like you get used to a lifestyle and you need money to continue that lifestyle. And Especially you start getting he's desperate. been doing it since he was a kid, you know? Right. There's new Outer Wilds merch on Fangamer. Okay, I, I will sim for that. Hold on. <laughs> I will. I, Outer Wilds is literally my favorite game. I, it's a, the fuck I have watched it. many people play it, but sadly, Koki and I are both big motion sickness people. Oh, yeah. Oh, I do a lot of time. VR. I do a lot of VR, and it's, okay. like, trained me pretty well, but, like, I'm not one of those people flying planes in VR. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right. yeah. Vehicles I, in VR? Mm, 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 I, I have my limit there, too. So Hold on. I, I need to show you the merch. Look at fucking Rebeck. Uh, yes. I am <laughs> looking at this. Like, I, it's one of those things I would love to play. I would love to experience it firsthand, but oh boy, some of that flying. Oh no, I, I, I totally get that. Let me, uh, I, I just want to show you the absolute Honestly, the roundness. The desk is very nice. And there's a, oh, he is a very round boy. Oh, hold on. I, I need to get uh, Koki. In here, I, I I neglected to completely. Oh, okay. Set I was on up. the wrong ch- thing. Oh, I saw no, the... I got it. I got it. His Thank little you. feet. His little tiny feet. Okay, look. Oh shit! Oh, I, the I, I I fucked is up. Really cute. Everyone is just like, show me, because I'm not Go showing it right now. Go to the website yourself. Work for it. Wait, what the? Oh, I fucked it. Oh, I see. I fucked it. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna unfuck it. Wait, how are we gonna unfuck it? What? Please do not fuck the what plushie. Did I do? That's a whole different area of the internet. No, 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 no. That's we're we're not we're not going to go there. Don't worry. I I will never live down the moment when um I I, I got the Dusa plushie. Did you guys ever play Hades? No, but again, that's one that has been very much recommended. Because I love yeah, hack and slash. Stuff about it, and everybody Hard that recommend. plays it loves it. Hard recommend on it. Um, you can be an absolute bisexual disaster. Love it. Uh, bisexual polyamorous disaster. Uh, but fucking look look at this, you guys. Oh, that's a pocket put. I'm, I, how you know? How, how you're you're good? How is your language on this channel? You good? Oh, uh, fucking whatever. Okay, okay, good. Okay, okay cool. yes, that is good. a that is a uh, pocket pussy if I've ever seen one. Fred. Oh yeah, no, it, it is it is unfortunate. Um, it is wholly remarkable the way that like it just opens up at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, oh, this that, one that goes is... to all the orb fuckers. <laughs> I want to draw attention to the absolute roundness of this boy. He's so cute. Look, Rebecca. Look Show at them it. the feet shot, his little tiny feet. Yeah, like that they're just kind of like underneath, like he's perching almost. Yeah. Oh, I love him. He looks so comfortable. He does. I, he, you find in the game, you find him. The, the great thing about Rebek is that he is an astronaut who is terrified of space. Oh, but Aww. but he, he still goes out into space because he's fascinated with archaeology. And it's like, oh. Baby boy, oh, beautiful character. Well, fella, fella. Um, I mean, all the all the um, the Harthians don't have any gender because they're a, a, a non-sexed species. 
But you know what? If I days. looked at him, I would dead. That like that is definitely a fella. Yes. Not a guy. Absolutely. Not he is a buddy. Yeah. I would say he's he a is a buddy unit. and a fella. But I would no. I wouldn't even say he's a little man. He is definitely a fella. <clears throat> no, a hard agree. Oh yeah, if you're worried about language, uh, Burninator, like something I said on stream got turned into a copy pasta. Um, it reads, "You need to be triple milking, okay? How else are you going to make it to the top? How else are you going to afford a Cumberghini and a house in the Cum Hills of Hollywood?" Beverly Cum Hills. Listen, That's... they're hills for a reason. They're filled filled with the cum of people who work harder than you. They built those hills by the sweat of their brow and the cum of their dicks. So, That's uh, so don't worry true. about it. Okay, good, 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 good. You good. should get that carved in the side of Mount Rushmore. I agree. Um, I mean, I, I would like it better than, you know, the, the giant sculptures. It's, it's so funny seeing an aerial view of Mount Rushmore, and it's like, Jesus Christ, this is ugly. It's like flat <laughs> from, like, all other sides, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's not attractive from anywhere but the front. Oh wait, they only fit. They only finish the faces, and that's it. Mm -hmm. It's like well, no, it's not. What did yeah. what did you think? You think their bodies were like poking out the back? <laughs> I I don't know. I just kind of assumed it was like full face. I just I I thinking about it, I'm like maybe there isn't a back of the head now that. I, I I remember just like four big heads. I guess four big guys, and then yeah, that's what they are. Yeah, but I guess four they never finished it, right? It's just the faces. I think like. They, I, I think they intended for more, but the project just kind of ran over. Oh my God, meets a Lincoln Looker. Yeah, this is my my fully rigged paper Lincoln Looker yes. mask. This is what I won from becoming the Lincoln Looker of the South Side. Oh my God, it's, it's a so lot of good. people hate him. People hate the Lincoln Looker, and I don't understand. <laughs> I think it's so funny. I just think it's so funny. And I love no, that it's it on is. this terrible paper mask and the fact I, there's no way to make it fit on anybody's face. <laughs> yeah, that's what makes it like beautiful too. Oh, is like either okay. you're like, like walleye. You look like or... a serial killer now. Yeah, look at look that. Look at you. See you can only use one eye at a time. I got I'm I'm like shitty uh I, I'm uh what what is it from uh, uh Halloween? Yeah, yeah, shitty Michael Myers. Shitty Michael Myers, there you yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, so god! One, one detail that I like about the Lincoln Looker, by the way, in um in the Monument Mythos, is guess where the Lincoln Looker is looking? Where is he looking? The Washington Monument. Well, of course, that, that, that's where that he always where, looks. Right? Yeah. And remember what's inside the Washington Monument? The no. tree. Oh! They built the Washington oh. Monument around the tree. Oh! Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Have you ever been to the Washington Monument or the? I'm not. Oh, it's it's weird because it's just like a there's a big elevator inside, and despite the fact that it's a huge structure, like it's so tall that like the wind, like. You, will shift it so like if you're going up it and uh, like the wind is blowing you can feel it in the elevator it's really uh, weird it also like yeah it it's like, like an inch like, every uh, year or something too or something it's like it's like a lot it's like goes in deeper and deeper into the earth every year it's weird Jesus. now see that sounds like something that they should incorporate into the monument into the, lore. the fact yeah. that it sinks that it sinks every year right. yeah well it, it kind of is because the pyramids like go down infinitely um, like they're actually the tops of infinitely high buildings. Wait, like and the real Egypt ones? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, because no. it's just in like how, no mythos, one's ever been to the, the bottom of one yet. I was really confused. I was like, oh, in the, so in scary. the monument mythos. Okay, yeah, okay, like, okay, that, okay got be it. <laughs> right, like we, we don't, we don't know. Like we found the bottom of the Marianas Trench, but we haven't found the bottom, the bottom of the pyramids. Of a pyramid. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, wow, we gotta get on that. That seems like a pretty easy task. <laughs> yeah, it feels like an oversight. It's <laughs> where the super like, no one's live. like put in the right paperwork to go explore that. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love, hold on. I, I kind of love this. There's a person in chat with the name What's Wrong With The Man, and their first message is just a bunch of question marks. That's good. <laughs> that's good. That's a really, that's a really good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, that's good role play between the two. <laughs> that's fucking, that's good. No, okay. So this stream is happening 
because I popped in uh, on Koki when uh, when she and me were streaming together. Um, I, I should say I, yeah, yeah, they were drinking. Yeah, yeah, they were. I remember you saying, "All right, we gotta hit like a nice buzz and just keep it there." And I'm like, spoken by. Spoken, it did not go that way. <laughs> I, I was going to say, like, th that was spoken in the same tone of voice as someone who has never maintained a comfortable buzz. <laughs> you know, that is a very <laughs> true statement. <laughs> All the energy of someone who has the intention of downing the bottle. But, the, but also, like, but with good intentions. Like, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, fun guy. Yes. I had fun that night. Yeah, yeah I had a buzz. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, yeah. so... So I, I met I met Koki during um, during Limes's 2.0 debut. Mm -hmm. um, lovely, by the way. You, you were you were great. You, you stood out. Ah, thank and, you. I had so much fun mm -hmm. with everyone. Oh, it was so much fun. Yeah, I uh. So that happened, and I like I I decided to pop in on Koki's stream. Uh, like I I wanted to do something with you for a while. Um, like I've known of both of you, right? Like I've known I've known about both of you, and I've watched the both of you a little bit before then. We're like one um, degree of separation. The VTuber right. world, I yeah. always say, it's very big but very small. It's, it's cozy. like if you don't know someone, chances are you, you know, know someone, someone who knows, who knows them. them. Exactly. You're usually yeah, yeah. like one to two one degrees degree of, separation of separation from most people. from a lot of content right. creators too, not just VTubers. It's crazy. Yeah. No. Absolutely. And I feel like my. Um, my my circle of acquaintances has very rapidly grown since I started streaming, and like I'm I'm one of those people. I think every so often I get someone coming to me and being like, "Could you hook me up with this person?" <laughs> like, or do you know? Do, no, more frequently someone comes to me and says, "Do you know someone who does this?" And my answer the vast majority of the time is yes. <laughs> and I, and I yes, hope yes, you know, up. I know someone who uh, goes to the top of mountains and yodels for four hours and then climbs down and makes soup. Of course I do. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you say that jokingly, but um, that that might be Ev Evan, maybe. <laughs> I, I, I don't, yeah, I, I believe he'd done that before. Um, Mount a uh, beautiful life. Right. So... <laughs> So I'm watching these two stream in VR chat, and immediately, Co like one of them, I, I think it was Koki, was like, Fred, have you heard of the Smurf forums? And I'm just like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> um, and then Co Koki said, I want to, like you both, like both Koki and me mm, were like, mm -hmm. we need to show you the Smurf forums. And then they started pissing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, and, that's uh, about and, right. And, that's and, about and that right, is how we, yeah. And that is how we solidified that we were going to stream together. Yeah, that was almost and like a handshake. And we followed through, which usually for drunk <laughs> yes. ideas doesn't happen. Yeah, but, exactly. Well, oh, this well, is gonna I, be. Well, I think I, I think that this is perfect for me because this is a case of me getting spaghetti bobbed. Are you familiar? Are either of you familiar with the term spaghetti bob? I have heard it, but I could not tell you what okay. it was. Yeah, I can't say it, that I know the exact definition of it, but I can kind of guess. Th this is a term that I feel like has kind of escaped containment and is being used by everyone I know at this point. <laughs> um, spaghetti bobbing refers to a hypothetical situation that, uh, that my friend Chai made up that describes a phenomenon that I frequently partake in. I'll be talking with people, and then I bring up something. Let's say Spaghetti Bob. And then the person I'm talking with says, Wait, wait what's Spaghetti Bob? And then I go, <gasps> You haven't heard you of don't Spaghetti know. Bob? Ah. And then I immediately start sharing my screen and go to YouTube, and I pull up like a 10 year old YouTube video with 300 views. And then I'm just like, I can't believe you've never heard of Spaghetti Bob. Oh, no, that's like, how literally you, you me. That's Koki, too. That's both of us. Yep. Yeah, uh, that's and a good this feeling, is just though. truly what this is truly one of my favorite things because I just again I never understood how this didn't become like one of those great urban legends on the internet. Like sometimes the urban legends catch on and it'll be like, oh yeah, you've heard of such and such who posted their weird story on you know somewhere and then you know it gets right. shared around. But um, I don't remember how I found this. But I found it a while ago, and it had always been in the back of my mind, and then eventually I ended up finding it again. Mm. And I think at some point 
someone made a video on it, which I'm shocked about. I haven't watched <laughs> it because I want to form my own, like, you know, right. I've got my own memories attached with this. But when I had found it, I was like, I was just, it's so wild. It's so wild. And it does not go where you think it would at all. And the fact that it's the Smurfs. I'm uh, so excited. It, the fact that it's the Smurfs is just, I, I, how do you feel about the Smurfs? I don't have like. I watched it sometimes because it would like rerun on Cartoon Network like really early in the morning, really late at right. night sometimes. Right. But I uh, I don't have like a particular fondness. No, I don't have much connection to the Smurfs either. Um, the closest thing that I saw growing up was the Snorks, which was a, a ripoff of underwater the Smurfs. Smurfs. Oh, yes. Yeah, underwater Smurfs questions about the snorks because like yeah. okay obviously rule 34 is a thing they definitely oh, yeah, use yeah. the tubes as that kind of stuff right like the head oh tubes. absolutely yeah okay i just yeah, yeah, i yeah. just assume so because like okay think about it this way now that's like a, a cartoon of our parents generation our, there's a good chance someone's parents were into exactly that oh yeah Probably. like it was an awakening right like yeah they, there was just an errant thought and then that thought exploded out into their entire mind yeah, exactly, exactly. And it just, that that's how that stuff is, like, born. You know what I mean? Just, like, yes. a weird thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, absolutely. I, the Smurfs, you know what? I, I feel like the Smurfs fascination, now, I, I have not looked at what we are going to look at today. I am going right. in completely fresh. Boy. But I feel like, so, Snorks, like, someone who is into Snork porn, is going to <laughs> that's a well, good snorks phrase snorks have something phallic you know what i'm saying it's like, like yeah. it's like stretchy it's tube. phallic and yeah, yeah. vaginal at the same yeah, time. yeah, yeah. exactly it's yeah. they yeah. could I, essentially fuck themselves right yeah like I, yeah they could definitely probably sound each other probably oh yeah i was thinking that right like i bet some people got into sounding because of that oh they're like yeah. like oh i'm yeah. learning about myself today <sighs> Do you think it's um, hard for them to keep the holes clean though? Because it's got like it's pretty long. It's as long as their body, but it sticks straight up. Right, like it, it kind of gets up there. Do you think that like getting around the bend? I remember that like they, they were kind of bent cleaner. like a straw. Pi oh, there you go. Do you go. think yeah, any you... of them ever accidentally brain themselves though? If they're using if they're sticking pipe cleaners in the hole? Oh, I bet that there's like a lot of reported injuries every year. Bet their brains of... are really yeah, yeah. small. Right, you, right. Oh, you like, think like walnut size? Well, aren't snorks like real little? <laughs> I'd say like the size of a plum, a plum size brain. Well, I think that I yeah. think that they're probably about the size of a plum, so I th that probably means like a poppy seed brain. Oh yeah, you think that they don't really uh, need too much thought? Oh, you know, I actually no, I am going to argue that Smurfs have relatively large brains because yes, Smurfs, the, the Smurfs are smart. Well, right, the, Smurfs the, the Smurfs, their eye ratio is different. So, like, the you know how, like, the Snorks, their eye ratio is huge? That's mostly right, a place right. within their head. You know what I mean? The, the Smurfs have room for a brain. Mm. Right. It, it's it's kind of like... It, it's kind of like the situation with um, owls, how they have, like, pistachio-sized brains but massive eyes. Right? There's, You're like, calling no space. yourself out right now? Yeah. Um, a little bit, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. A, yeah. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the... My thought, though, is, like, people who are into snorks, I, I'm, I'm willing to bet that someone who was into snork porn ended up being, like, a relatively progressive person, right? Because they're like, oh, you know, it's a dick, but also it's a vag, and, uh, and like, there's lots of experimentation to be done. But I feel like someone who's into smurf porn would, like, they're not into the anatomy of the smurfs. What they're <laughs> into is, like, the rigid, like, mm -hmm. dictatorial mm -hmm. societal structure. And, like, they start getting into, like, power play. And, it like, it starts uh... spinning off. Like, I'm willing to bet a ton of boomers love that shit. Oh, it's oh like, yeah, oh, yeah. Boomers love that sort of authoritarian structure. There's they, actually... They love the... <laughs> Uh, I'm assuming you've seen this, but you've seen, like, the Smurf UNICEF ad, right? I don't think so. Oh, uh, my God. Smurf, okay, give hold me. on. This Let actually me. has yeah, to do yeah, with yeah. the forums. This is itself. actually legit and everything. It's 25 seconds. Uh, let me skim it, because I feel like this is also something that would be shit posted. Okay. I mean, double, double <laughs> check and skim. 
Okay, okay, yes, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm gonna link this. This is a good way to warm them up. Yeah, this uh, is the- uh... And then we can just get right into it after this because God knows there will be no better segue. Yeah, from okay. the Smurf UNICEF ad into the forums themselves. I think yeah, oh, yeah. This and is, this is this real. Is good, this is real. It? If I was this a child, real. this would make me so distraught. This is, yeah, completely real. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness. I love how everyone's already started saying, oh god. <laughs> like, it on it feels like a shit post, does it not? <laughs> it is! <laughs> it looks like someone just edited in, like, really terrible green screen. And then the- oh my god. Yeah, yeah, that's what? where, if you've ever seen these screenshots, that's where they're from. And this is, imagine working on the Smurfs, what? and then, like, okay. like, like 100% real have, like, heavy... and canonical. <laughs> yeah, they never do anything that heavy. And yeah, then you they just never do heavy beams like this. Nuclear bombed out of yeah. existence. Oh my they're god! Singing me out their as happy a kid. song. That's yeah, like, that's and the like, babies. I think that's like Richard Scary or something like that. Something that was like common for us. You know what I mean? Or like Blues Clues or something. Just like bombing the shit out of it. Yeah, yeah. Like literally a bomb dropping in the middle of Sesame Street or something. Yeah, exactly. Right, yeah, just like the, today. Like today's letter of the day is B for bomb. Yeah. Like, would you not be? Yeah, I would be crying for a week if I saw this as a child. I would be so. It seems like you know what it would be. It's like one of those things that you see when you're a kid and then you grow up and you're like, wait, was that actually real or did I dream that? And then you find it on the internet. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're like, wow, that was real. It's like, and sponsored by the number eight, which <laughs> is the same number of survivors. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> So, yeah, this canonically does exist in the Smurfs Una, in uh, this carpet bombing. Do not let war destroy the future of the children. Which, yeah, like, it's insane. Fucking, okay, I think Smurfette's what really. Smurfette's one shoe, the guy under That's the so rubble. That's so dramatic. Like, the longer you look at it, the more terrible it is. Right. I'm like, oh, we're learning about like the construction of the houses too, right? Like the these things are they flammable. seem like, like plaster. It's, it's plaster. Where yeah. I yeah. would think that they were, you would think they would just be natural mushrooms. Yeah, but I, I just guess kind they, of assume they ate out a mushroom and just hollowed it out and just lived. They in it. build. Like, see, yeah. this is a Smurf society lore. They build their houses to camouflage. You see, yeah. right? Is, do, yeah. do you think? Do you think it's like a like I? I always figured Smurfs had the equivalent of a barn raising when they were making a new house where everyone oh, just yeah. devours the so. inside so, of, yeah. of a mushroom. Yeah. And then like every but but it becomes like a weird like psychosexual thing because they're like like these mushrooms are like uh psilocybin and and uh, they're they're tripping like like they're they all devouring the inside and and they're tripping. Yeah, they think it's just like a blessing. Oh my god, I maybe that's the UNICEF thing. Maybe this is just a projection nightmare from eating the mushrooms. Oh maybe my god, side yeah, effect. bad trip, bad trip, <laughs> bad, bad trip, trip, bad trip. <laughs> well, I think Fred. what really <laughs> brings this together, my yeah. favorite part about this, is how obvious the explosions are just post, right there. Yeah, like but the you get that I think one shot of all the bombs dropping. Like, look yeah, at that. It that is, it's so bad. It looks terrible. It looks terrible. It's... It is so obviously post-processing. Like they, di I don't think that they did any original animation for this. I think they used existing cells and then digitally added the explosions afterward. Oh my God. Like yeah. the production value right. for this was null. Holy you, okay. shit! So considering this first, size, do you guys think that these are actually are so just happy. like bang snaps? Because like they can't be nuclear, right? You can't make like a penny size nuclear. Yeah, weapon. yeah, yeah. They're just like snaps. They're the bang snaps. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are cherry bombs. Yeah. Mm. Oh my and god. And why are I... they dropping so many? Like the first time, okay, so right when they're dancing in the circle, you know, 15 seconds. I feel like we're actually dissecting disaster footage here. Uh, you know, uh, atomic bombs can't melt mushrooms. 
but they <laughs> drop three. And it's like, who is nuking the Smurfs so heavily? Yeah, like, right, what, like who what are the want? Smurfs at war with? Is, like, is it the Snorks? Is this the great Snork Smurf oh war? Oh, my God. Okay, so, like, the Snorks, right. Like, they, they have... What, they would have to make special masks if they're going to fly, though, because they're underwater creatures. Yeah, they, yeah, like, yeah. It, maybe, they're, they're, maybe they found... Gargamel Iron have Lung. small nuclear bombs. Everyone that's saying Gargamel. Like, why would Gargamel why would he do, do that? This? That's, insa- that's insanity to make tiny, tiny nukes. Like, that in- is Gargamel tr- does not I, have you the know time... What? Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb here, guys. I'm gonna, mm-hmm. you know, I I think uh, I think Gargamel might be a little mentally ill. Just a little. If he's making, if he's making bombs, if he's bombs? making like he's so far gone that he's making <laughs> tiny bombs <laughs> that he's nuking little people. That yeah, is- yeah, I yeah. Like, I, I like Jim Henson's funerals theory. It's a false flag. <laughs> oh, for, but what is it trying to distract us from? What, is what are we supposed to be distracted like, pa- from? Pa- Papa Smurf? No, Papa Smurf is trying to like eat, like tighten his grip, right? Like every like he's trying uh, to take away more freedoms of the Smurfs. Uh, right, like he's trying to turn this into like Mad Max Fury Road. Uh, well, he for his own sick and twisted entertainment, I'm sure. Right. And he obviously right, yeah. wants Smurfette to be one of his many brides, one of his many right. Smurf brides. Is it like a case of him being alive too long and he just wants to see the world burn? Is that is that why he did this? Okay. Okay. No. Here, head cannon. Head okay. cannon. All right. I'm listening. Um, the Smurfs, like as we have established, there is only one female Smurf, and, and this Gargamel is a huge made problem. her. Right. So like. What's going on, right? Like th- this is this is a um, a JG Ballard style uh, like genetic. Um, JG Ballard does this a lot in his stories, where there's like a sudden massive genetic shift in an entire species, like in the entire like all of humanity, right? Like suddenly, like everyone is being born with birth defects for no apparent reason, um, and that kind of thing. So maybe what's happening is this is new in the timeline of Smurfs where there is only one like woman Smurf and they're going to die out if they don't do something. And so Papa Smurf, he ha- he like needs to perform experiments and like try to figure out what's going on in order to try to save all of Smurf kind. I think you were really on to something. I think you're on yeah. to something. I think you're really on so- to something. So the idea here is he's doing this to establish greater control so that he can do more extreme things to try to solve this crisis, this genetic crisis. This is so true because, again, they do canonically have baby Smurfs. And right. so this is... But I, do, I don't want to think about the ramifications of this society. <laughs> It's truly I, I, f- I feel like you can spin this out. It, the the crazy thing is that all of this is only one step removed from from this. Like usually when you look at fan fiction, there's like, oh, there are all of these things that are changed. But what I am but this thread that I am pulling at is only one step removed. Right, it like is. this is the logical conclusion of what already exists. See, you yeah. are already slipping. <laughs> I love this. Uh, yeah. I knew that this was gonna be. Oh boy! See, you are you <laughs> are the right man for the job. I know we are in such good hands. Oh yeah. my you, god! The story's gonna you get need, out. <laughs> you need to understand. I tug at loose threads. Ah, me, this is my favorite thing. I truly, I don't think, okay, we've shown this to a lot of people. Um, I will say we, we managed, like this was over a year ago, you know, we uh, ended up doing something with uh, Iron Mouse and Mm -hmm. literally first time we had uh, ever personally collabed with her her one-on-one. very first time. And uh, we showed her this, you know. And, you know, it's just a fun thing to show to people. You dig it up every once in a while. You know, again, the spaghetti. You go through it. You say, here, yep. have a handful. Uh, yep. But I don't think we've ever shown it to someone who has actually been gleeful and like, excited. This receptive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. No it's one usually has a lot of shock ever and horror. been yeah. this excited. Usually most people go quiet halfway through and question uh, their involvement with us. 
Yeah. Oh, yep, I no, that's I'm pretty accurate. Oh, uh, I'm so excited. I am here to chew gristle. Give Boy, it to can, me. Can we, can we start eating? Can we start eating? I'm yes. so excited. All right, let's yes, we up. can. Okay. I am, I am so ready. I know. Me okay. This is <laughs> fantastic. Smurfing. There it is. Oh, Smurfing yeah. Smurfing hand. Okay, now he does so, all of his own art. Okay. Okay. So first, I want to establish where we're on Blue Buddies, the Blue Buddies forum. The BBS, if you're hip. Okay, the BB, the BB forums. And people uh, still do post here. Um, yeah. I do believe that, like, I'm not saying it's the most active. active place. This is, if you go, the copyright mm. at the bottom says 1995 to 2023. So. Oh, wow. But this, this post is, is from two, 2008. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. this is where the madness begins. And, and, and I'm sure look there's at more the madness here too. Bottom, but. there's new members. There's still role plays going on. There yeah. are new. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you go to the top of the forums, there's like fan art. There's all sorts. There's yeah. cosplay and Halloween costumes. Figurines. And stuff. There's it's it's active still to this day. Yeah, Even yeah. If maybe it's not in its heyday. It's still active. Yeah. Right. So, because I'm assuming. I mean, I don't know how many safe havens there are for. Smurf fans of this caliber on the internet. Right, yeah. yeah. I And, and I, let me I feel, disclaimer I like, this. Let's not disturb these people. Let's just observe like a zoo, guys. Let's not. No, let's, uh, okay. So actually my number one rule, if you click on my chat and you go in, num rule number one is don't tap the glass. Excellent. Excellent, yeah. yes. Yeah. Let's not tap the glass. We're just here to observe. Dude, yep. Mm -hmm. We we are here. Yeah, exactly. I um, lost something. one of my favorite YouTube guys recently from glass tapping. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. I feel... Okay, something that I am very proud of is that consistently my videos, like, you know, I make videos on very, I, I have historically, I, I don't anymore, um, but I have historically made videos on very peculiar people. They're in very niche communities. Yeah, and stuff. very niche communities. Stuff yeah. that they are probably going to come across your video at some point if they're looking right. for that thing. Right, yeah. Um, something I'm very proud of is that I have monitored the people that I made videos on after. After I made my video, and consistently, okay. I have had little to no impact. And that e that feels good. Perfect. Right? Yeah, that's like, the way that you Yes, leave it. only like footprints, I, you know? Yeah, I, I, I made my video on Wings, nothing happened to his viewership. Right, I made a video on DSP, nothing happened to him, right? It didn't, like result in a wave of hate i think the only time that some that like there was a measurable effect was when in the week after i made the per cat cafe video people were going onto the the facebook page and posting but that business was dead already anyway yeah yeah um, yeah and it had no lasting effect right um I'm, I'm frankly amazed that Diane Kelly didn't flip it and be like, I'm doing a new project, right? Like, hey, all, all you new people, we're like, like playing into it. But she didn't. I but capitalize I, I had, on a little bit. Right. It's like, come on now. Like, you have an opportunity here. You do kind of give them an opportunity, you know? It's just... Because you kind of, if they, you know, you give them that, a blip in the algorithms, you know? Yeah, like, here's your chance. Right, like, I, although I consistently write, there, there's little to no effect, and that feels good. Oh my god, the fat nuts story. Okay, yeah, you know, I did want to ask why people call you Freddy Fat Nuts, but you know, I just assume that maybe Wait, that's it a... was self-explanatory. Maybe it was just, I don't know. You know, no, there. Okay. Wait, where did what? I never heard this before. Well, Pete, okay. You haven't had people like when you're talking like about the from, collab, they'll be like, "Oh, fat nuts, fat nuts." Everybody's they're gonna go hang no, out with I fat nuts. This, I'm hearing it for the first time right now. It sounds like uh, he's from Friday Night, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, right? That's the guy's name. Uh, Jack Black. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That 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 actually spiraled off into so many like different thought tangents I couldn't follow. <laughs> Uh, That's it. Now, are, are you too familiar with my like my primary work on YouTube? I yes. have watched some. Yes, yes. I've definitely okay. watched them. Yeah. Okay. Um, have you seen my video on the Per Cat Cafe? No, but I am incredibly interested based on the things you've said I and the curious. name of it. Yeah. So the the Per Cat Cafe short version is it was uh Boston's first cat cafe, like Boston, Massachusetts. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
it was going to be their first cat cafe and the woman the the woman in charge of it had hired a bunch of people the problem was that she had no she, well one she was an alcoholic mm. and two she had no sense of decorum so on <laughs> facebook um one of her former employees was calling her out for like not actually making a good space for the cats right like the cats are not going to be healthy here right like like she was calling them uh. out uh, um and then the owner of the this business started uh slut shaming her and just like talking about her sex life um, god and, and just got insanely vitriolic and then started uh saying that a place you tried to partner with partner with wasn't registered in massachusetts even though it was and like it was demonstrably registered like she was just pulling out bullshit uh, on just people and just alienating she everyone I see. oh yeah and then of course um it exploded out because there there were two main groups of people um, there were the people who earnestly wanted a good cat cafe because, like, the, the idea was sound. You get cats coming. Um, you partner with yeah. shelters. Like, yeah. she partnered with shelters. And the idea was, like, people could hang out with the cats, and if they liked a cat, they could adopt it. Right? Like, the great intentions idea. Were good. Yeah, the intentions were very good. Uh, the problem was that she was completely incompetent and narcissistic. Yeah. Um, Many It's a good cases. recipe for, like, a really entertaining show, honestly. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. And tons of people were excited. But after she started uh, being a piece of shit, uh, people, one group of people was trying to steer her in the right direction. And the other group was just trying to get funny responses out of her because uh, she was very entertaining. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm like, after, after the, like, long after this cat cafe closed and failed, right? Like, no chance of this coming back. I make a video about this whole thing. Because I, I like covering things after they're done, usually. Yeah, uh, yeah. Eve being a notable exception with this new video. Um, Diane Kelly discovers my video and the associated oh, Q&A I did. No. And uh, she starts posting on Facebook about how she is going to send her cats to rip off my genitals. <laughs> and, and about um, and about all of the venereal disease that I apparently have. What? Uh, now she says a lot of things. Um, I doubt that she was sober for any of them. Wow. But at one point, she makes a particular statement. She says that my balls are so small that they would feed a family of five ants for a trillion years. Jesus Christ. Wait, so that's actually pretty big balls if you do the math Right, that. right. That's actually yeah, yeah. very, that's very large balls. <laughs> that's very astute of you. One of my, <laughs> one of my patrons, Mevelander, decided to do the math. <laughs> they, oh my God. Uh, they calculated approximately that in order to cart my balls around, it would require seven oil tankers. Wow. It's ridiculous. Wow. That is insane. Damn, she gave you the biggest compliment ever. <laughs> oh yeah, my my nuts are fucking massive. And ever ever since Mike learned about this, I have been called Fat Nuts Fred. Fat Nuts Fred. It's a nice. good one. Yeah. It's a good that one. That is good. It, 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 it is very good. I of all the nicknames that I could have, that that is a good one. I agree. I agree. It's good. That is good. Yeah. She did you a like a favor a service, honestly. Right. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like incredible branding opportunities. Yeah, that uh, is a classic Jersey nickname. Like, oh, oh Freddie yes. Fat Nuts. He's yeah, you get, like, you can sell it as fat nuts. merch. They just spit in a fat spittoon. Nuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, my my favorite image is like me going on tour, sailing around like the ocean and going to coastal towns and like tourist spots will crop up wherever I decide to beach my nuts. <laughs> my God, you destroy the whole economy. You destroy oh, no, so I, many things. Oh no, I, I don't destroy the, like may, maybe I accidentally crush a boat or two. Um, and may, you know, may, maybe a seal that, that got in the way, but but like there would be sudden tourist economies that would crop oh, up and it would stimulate tourism. yeah yeah for good, the town good. forever you decide to beat yourself that makes yeah, sense exactly. yeah exactly 
Mm-hmm. It's like right. It, it's like towns would towns would be like this is Frederick's favorite place to sun his nuts. Yeah, you <laughs> right? have like, like food the, trucks this, lined up and down the street, just like uh, parked around you. Oh yeah, 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 exa- yeah, exactly. Like like up the and sand down is the so best fine. <laughs> yeah, like right, like like pe- people will like if you would like, you you can participate in the time honored tradition of like rubbing sand on on his nutsack to exfoliate. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> I'm like a fountain. So is this okay. lady kind of mostly dropped it for the most part, or has she like has she pursued like really ripping into you to this day? Do you do you have a um, do you have a arch nemesis now? So she went quiet for a few years. Um, but you guys, there's actually as in like in the last few weeks an update. <gasps> really? She's been posting to her personal Twitter page. Um, she made one very brief post about me, but then also made a post asking for money to like rehome her cat. Apparently, she like lost her home in the hurricane. Uh, um, well, a- allegedly, a- allegedly, yeah, yeah, yeah. she mm-hmm. she is a notorious liar. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. And if, and uh, that hasn't been going great, and um, it doesn't seem like she has much money left. I think she drank herself into oblivion. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. it's, awful but yeah it, it, it's, it it's one of those it's one of those cases where it's like god i i hope you turn your life around but man i don't have big hopes yeah, it's uh, like yeah. Not your job i give to have you to worry all of my best either. wishes but yeah. man mm-hmm. the cards oh yeah oh oh no her, her name isn't secret it's, her name's diane kelly like the the owner and proprietor of the per cat cafe wow. she She's very fond of making legal threats and and not following uh, through. Oh yeah, she's never, yeah, never yeah. following through. Right? Um, she just yells, trying to scare you. Like that. That's all. She's she's a very controlling person. Um, it, I'll put it this way: everyone who worked with her quit. Everyone, like she was Bad. so insufferable. <laughs> that is one hundred percent. Oh man. Oh, I feel bad for the cats. Yeah, everyone was really worried about the welfare of the cats, right? Because, uh, okay, we're kind of going, we're spiraling off into like this other thing, and I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Will, well, you know what? This guy does not treat the Smurfs like cats, so he will treat them better than she does, I guess. Uh, but I actually, you know, I, that's debatable. <laughs> but, oh, I, I guess just I wish, I wish things turned out better. But I wonder if they even could have. Yeah, yeah. One, yeah. one of those Same. cases. She would have to be like her life would have had to have more direction. I think because right. like, she could have focused on her business and yada yada yada. You know, not take stuff on the internet so seriously. You know. Right. I, I think it's it's one of those cases where like best case scenario for everyone is she turns out okay because yeah. then we get more funny Facebook posts and also we get a nice cat cafe. Um, she could have wrote it. Uh, but she didn't. It's, I, I feel like this happens a lot with internet individuals of note, where like, yeah, we could, we could, we could have had laughs for years, and they could have lived their best life. We, we. But the line could, between creative and madness is so thin, thin and you yeah. don't see that anywhere else as much as you do the internet because people because things move so fast people crash and burn so yep. fast and yeah. a lot of people oh, are wasted no, up real Ollie. fast too yeah, yeah. oh it's, no i i, I feel we, like this is like? ollie hmm? ollie raided oh, ollie. oh? Ollie. hello ollie, hi. oh hello oh, hello there thank you so much for the raid we got that's a good thing she doesn't hey, need to see this. Oh, Ollie. You say that. Oh, Ollie, brother. Ollie, Ollie. She'll be fine. She'll be... Welcome, away everyone. when you gotta, Ollie. You are here to learn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you are here to learn. All right. I am. I, I am so excited to learn. Yeah, we were just talking about where my nickname Fat Nuts Fred came from. Are you uh, ready to receive this live specimen? I I am going to take it into my full body. 
All right. I'm braced. So okay. Okay. Got... So, so question. Do I, do I need to pucker or relax? Right now you can relax, but you okay. will know when yeah. to pucker. You will okay, know gotcha. when to pucker. Okay. Wrong shout. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there you go. Oh, there, okay. there it finally came in with the Oh, raid. there you go. There you go. go. There so, we go. Well, thank you so much. Welcome in, everyone. Yeah, we you came at the perfect time. We are about oh. to get into the meat of, of the Smurfs. We're going to get into the a nice Smurf yeah, steak. Thank God they don't eat them. And you know what? That's not even spoilers. It's like at some point you have to say, like, thank God they do not put the Smurfs through this. Okay. Okay. All right. So Smurf in hand does all his own art. The art uh, does improve throughout the series. It does get more advanced. Okay. Uh, uh, starts off with a post. Hello all, I've recently felt inspired to create more Smurf pictures. Uh, I've been rather fascinated by the idea of somehow meeting a Smurf, particularly a baby Smurf. So I made a story about what I do. And then, you know, he cites his source, very good. And then, uh, you want to maybe read some of the, the slides here, Fred, or go over them? I don't know. I don't know how you want to do it, but man, it's this is the beginning. This, this is the is start it. of the we're roller coaster. This is, yeah, grab our hand. We're going down the hole. No, mm -hmm. we're, we're going to scroll down the rabbit hole. Ha, ha, ha. Uh -huh. I guess, oh, I should probably introduce <laughs> myself, shouldn't I? Um, uh -huh. Hi to all the raiders. I'm Frederick Knutson, probably better known as the down the rabbit hole guy on YouTube, but also I stream. Hi, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> And I, they know us. We're meat and we're cokey and Ollie's a good mm -hmm. good friend of ours. Yeah. I'm everyone's favorite discomfort streamer. <laughs> that Go. that, oh, that it's, is It's a title to brag about, honestly. That's the name I've been given, right? Like everyone's like, "Oh, your streams are so comfy, but you talk about cursed bullshit all the time." Yeah, people will tell me I'm their comfort streamer on occasion as well, and I'm like I don't understand but i'm glad that you're comforted by the my brand of madness you know where <laughs> if you say so uh, yeah yeah you know what if you you know what i, I have a good for you i am happy to be that for you you know yes yeah, so some people are into funny meat women some people are into smurfs uh you, you know baby smurfs i gotta say uh this detail baby smurf is kind of already uh raising some red flags okay I can give you this guarantee, and I give okay. I give everyone this guarantee. Yep. Uh, I really do. Uh, I can promise you, one hundred percent, that he does not have sex with the Smurfs. Okay. Yeah. It does. He does it's not. Weird. And he does not do anything sexual to the Smurfs. Okay. And. He specifically voices when people get concerned or say that this yeah. is a little weird. He's, you know, he very says, hey, you're the weirdo if you think this is weird. You know, it's you that right. has sick thoughts about the Smurfs, not me. But he does nothing blatantly sexual with them or okay. anything. Right. Okay, b because that that just makes me even more fascinated. Right. And on the internet, I feel like you don't usually have to give that disclaimer, but with right. weird people on the internet and the fixation yeah. on the baby Smurf, yeah. everyone's mind immediately goes You're there. Like, and you got to oh, be where like Where is this going? You can yeah. be like, mm -hmm. "No, out of everything that happens, I can promise you yeah. He does not do anything like that with the Smurfs. Yeah, it's raising okay. a lot of red flags, and, and, and you do get kind of close to that zone, but never crosses it. Okay, he, okay, he we never cross the line. he accuses you of being the weirdo, so. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to be accused. <laughs> okay. I came home to a single package waiting on my doorstep, a small wooden box with ventilation holes in one side, and a live specimen label. The box had been addressed to a research lab down the road, but had no return address. Normally, I would have left the box to be re-delivered to the proper place, but I heard a faint noise emanating from it. It sounded like crying. Hold on. Classic this immediately, kitten on the doorstep. Oh, absolutely. This, this immediately reminds me of something, of a vine sauce clip. One of my favorites. Oh, no. Which one? You know this, this is a bad decision. A few 
few months ago on a dreary rainy day, someone left a stray cat girl. <laughs> <laughs> A whole stray person. A stray cat girl. <laughs> On your doorstep. She was young and frail, so you could not help but bring her inside. After you gave her some tea and warmed her up by the fire, you learned more about her. <laughs> her name is Serenade. Of course it is. <laughs> She's looking for her human master. Holy fuck. Her master is a kind of gentleman who cares for her deeply, and as soon as she finds him, she will stay with him forever. So, will you be her master? Of course. <laughs> Ignore Incredible. her and go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. Oh, wow. I didn't expect her to be a babe. <laughs> wow. the game. <laughs> God, she's hot. Oh, yeah. That was the game? God. That was it? That was... Oh, he, he said no. He's like, oh, okay, ignore okay, her. Okay, and okay, he okay, ignored see, her and went back to sleep, and that's the end. <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, based... Amazing. Only the best women that deviant art can provide. Incredible. And there's so many of them. Also, I'm honestly truly surprised this is not on deviant art. Because this very oh, much yeah. reminds me of like a deviant art, de weird deviant art gallery you'd find, you know? Right. Yeah. Oh, no. I have found some great stuff in oh, deviant yeah. art uh, galleries. I'll never forget discovering the person with over a thousand images of like characters with perfectly round bellies. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know the fat knees guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. one of Koki's favorites. Loves yeah, the fat droopy knees, knees guy. Droopy knees anime guy. Droopy knees. Yeah, he's but. great. There's also the, the Mega Man done in period blood, which is pretty, pretty... Uh, Full of heart. <laughs> oh yeah! When, whenever someone has been subbed for nine months, I congratulate my viewers on the on their placenta. Oh their yeah! Placenta. Oh yeah! yeah. Mm -hmm. I do a baby crying sound. Wow! Thanks. I hate it. You know, not me personally. It's a soundboard, but oh man, yeah, yeah. I do the baby crying. Oh yeah, the soup emote. That that's a good one. Classic. It's a classic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Would you give this small baby Smurf some soup? Does he look suitably pathetic? Does he? Oh my god. Crying. Oh my god. Imagine my surprise when I opened the small crate. Inside the cramped confines on a coarse bed of wood shavings lay a baby Smurf. The poor guy. That's how I choose to read that anime. I text. believe that's how it's meant to be read. Okay. The poor creature looked up at me, trembling with fear and bewilderment, a single tiny tear rolling down his cheek. So immediately I'm like, is this a fatherhood fantasy? Like, I, am, I, I, I wish I could I have don't a know. I wish I knew what his motives were. I truly, truly, I, truly I kind of wonder if there was, like, innocence in this in the beginning and then he let his mind go sicko mode halfway through or like if he always intended to take us down this road i don't know if it was like a later decision if he had this all plotted out or what it's either it could also be a troll and it's genius if it is because it doesn't no, play out like it. it's over way two too years. dedicated for it it's to over serious. two years and yeah. his art genuinely okay. improves so it's like he really he's putting way like this would be the thing like you know when you, like, do something for a joke, but you put so much effort into it that it loops around to being serious? Right, Like, yes. that's what this would be oh, if the, it the would have been a mythos. joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I'm so fascinated because you, the way you talk about this, this isn't... Everywhere that my mind is going, I feel like I've seen before, and you're just like, th that is not the direction it goes. And I'm just like, where the fuck could it go? <laughs> oh, b believe me. Believe me. It is a treat. Now, here is, this panel is going to start one of the, uh, one of his obsessions, which is playing with the Smurfs' tails. Uh, yeah. He loves to play right. with them. I, I saw that. Mm -hmm. Little blueberry tails. 
I wanted to reassure the dear tiny blue infant that I wasn't going to hurt him. I had never seen a smurf before and I tried to recall anything I had read about them, particularly about baby smurfs on the bluebuddies.com website. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, but you know, you, where else are you going to go to learn about smurfs other than obviously the bluebuddies.com website? Does this act as a wiki as well? Fan art. McDonald's there's a lot stuff. of stuff. There's a lot here. of stuff. There's like, like they have a lot of information yeah, they here. They have like articles they've written. This has got to be. I'm if assuming this has got to be the spot. one of the. Uh, this has got to be one of the premier Smurf like information websites for real. Truly, mm -hmm. it has to be. Mm -hmm. I'm only realizing why is Smurfette bolded. Uh, because she's a hot topic, because that's a whole page on Smurfette and, like, why she exists and all kinds of stuff. Like a, uh, like a philosophical and biological treatise on Smurfette? Basically, basically. Like, they have their own little articles they write. This website, it truly, truly is a treat. This is truly, this is one of the most r ridiculous things on it, but the whole website itself is very interesting and silly and weird and the fact that it's still active and people are role-playing right okay i looked down at him and touched his tail what a soft squishy little tail it was i couldn't resist poking it the smurf baby initially flinched but then a, a shy smile crept across his little blue face he was enjoying my affection I, this is a pretty common fan fiction trope, isn't it? The I couldn't help but blank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, the belly was so big, I couldn't help but rest my head on it. Or yeah, I couldn't yeah. help but reach out and squeeze it. I couldn't it. help but touch the cat girl's ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the classic one, right? Gazing at his adorable tiny face, I decided to give the baby Smurf's bulbous little nose a playful tweak. That is his actual hand. Yeah, isn't this like an inventive way to use Photoshop? He does have several gifts and art pieces, especially here at the beginning where uh, yeah. he's just like straight up taking pictures of his hand. Oh, yeah, this is the just, same like, photo. interacting and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's edited differently. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's incredible to think that he was in 2008 sitting here probably cutting this out all by hand because there were no easy websites like the drag and, drag and drop delete background right. websites and he does it for so many things and animates these with like a digital camera and i guess whatever he's drawn with bless him mm -hmm. i mean it, it it's definitely a step above the pissed off video gamer mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. it is see that's another thing if he was doing this for a joke it's just it's just too elaborate it's like right. a two-year joke and if he is that's why i'm saying it'd be the best amazing most craziest mm -hmm. joke ever done on the internet the baby Smurf giggled and began to wiggle his tail with glee. I continued to play with his little nose, relieved that I had been able to bring the Lilliputian infant to a sense of ease so quickly. I realized that I'd have to contact the Blue Moon Nursery later on to obtain special food and care, but I truly would like to keep him. Okay, this is how... Um, this is how shipping works, by the way. If someone ships you anything, you get to keep it. Yeah, like it, well, as long as you don't tell anyone that you received it, you know. Right, yeah, this is a secret. Like, mine now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is your Smurf. It's like a one, in a one in a million chance, but, oh, man, if you get that one Smurf drop, you're set for life. Yeah. Oh, pe people in chat are confused. Um, Lillipu the, the adjective Lilliputian comes from the book uh, Gulliver's Travels, where Gulliver lands on an island where there are giants and... Um, and tiny people. Um, the giants are called uh, the Grobdignags. Uh, and, and so if you ever hear the term uh, Grobdignagian, it just means large. And if you ever hear the I term, uh, the little know people that. are. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I just the thought it meant people... baby for some reason. Oh, no. Um, it, it's, it just refers to a small thing. Uh, so, well, Grobdignagian means large, but then um, the little people were called the Lilliputians. And so um, the adjective Lilliputian has come to just mean, like, th both of those names have come to mean uh, large and small, respectively. Hmm. Fun fact. Wow. I know, I yeah. liked that. Yeah, the, the, the island is called Lilliput. Yeah, he just made, made yeah. up good. It's one of those cases where um, 
he made up a word and the word was so good that it stuck kind of like um kind of like the the jabberwocky um yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. there are words that have entered common nomenclature like oh, yeah, um yeah. i'm trying galumph galumphing right it's such a descriptive word love to um, me i love words that are sounds <laughs> yeah uh, uh 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 um um well no never mind <laughs> i was going to say um that it, it's not the, the words you're talking about are not um onomatopoeia because they also have meaning right like yeah, yeah yeah is an onomatopoeia According to the postmark, oh, this is traced. According to the postmark, the little Smurf had been shut up in that dark box for a day and a half. The poor creature was exhausted, thirsty, and hungry. I let him sleep after feeding him. When he awoke, he was initially scared and disoriented, but I soon calmed him. The poor baby Smurf's pajamas were soiled. After some trial and error amid his squirming, I managed to remove them. Filling a small dollhouse tub with warm water, I placed the blue infant in, excuse me, inside, and he was soon giggling and splashing about as I gently washed his tiny, delicate body and limbs. Yeah, again, word choice. He, the word choice is again the red flags. A little bit, yeah. Because he does, he just keeps going on about how small he is, how delicate he is, how, how tiny how he is. Little it fits in his hand. You could just pop it. Right. You just poke his little nose, his little tail. Right. Um. What I, 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 I can't help but make a comparison to like someone who dates someone else for like a single trait. Mm. Yeah. Like you are cute. I don't you know. They cute. never know you anything past that. Right, yeah. right, yeah. Right, it, and like that that is their, the entire personality of the person to the other person. Mm -hmm. It's like you, you are not a person, you are an embodiment of a trait. Yes, yes, yes. And I think that that, that sort of objectification is immediately off-putting. Mm -hmm. I had wanted to wash Baby Smurf's hat along with his pajamas, but when I plucked it off his head, he let out a startled yelp. Immediately covering his bald blue little scalp as best as he could with his miniature hands, he began to whimper and sob piteously. He looked pleadingly up at me and at the little white smurf hat that I held in my hand. I promptly placed it back on his head and he sighed with relief. I found an old but clean sock and nudged the baby smurf un until he backed inside. It fit him nicely as a sleeping bag. I placed a pincushion under his head for a pillow and turning the lights low, let him snuggle down and get some more sleep. Okay. And he says, that's it for now. This and is, this is fine. Like, I mean, it's fine so far. It's just a yeah. passionate man so well, far. Well, you see, you know, art. even the people are, you know, interesting story, good animation. And yeah. then, you know, he says he's simply doing what he can with the animation you know, he wanted to make the story believable, so encountering a Smurf in the woods didn't sound believable. With this story, right. I could keep taking care of the baby Smurf since there was no way to find out where he came from, and I wasn't going to deliver him to the lab, especially since there is a spe professional snurf Smurf nursery run by caring humans that could advise me. So he's really, right. uh, he's really got his universe set up, and he says... Although I've never seen a Smurf episode where it's depicted, I'm a staunch believer that Smurfs can and do wiggle their tails, and that baby <laughs> Smurfs do so even more frequently. So there again, he's kind of got his tail obsession going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, they, there, there is a, a fixation. I think one thing that is interest, interesting me a lot about this is that this is a story of someone having something foisted onto him, like a, a responsibility being placed in his lap, but it's a responsibility that he already wants. And so yeah. it allow it allows him to feel it allows him to have this wish fulfilled while also being heroic. Well yeah, yeah you could literally replace the smurf with a cat girl and it would be a yeah. completely yeah. different story 
Right, yeah. <laughs> it, but, but it would still fulfill that wish. It's still, it's still the wish fulfillment 100%. and also the, the, the honor on top of it. Um, oh, by the, by the way, I wanted to mention, thank you. Like, thank you to everyone who is subbing and giving bits. I, I go by the mic school of thought where I will thank everyone at the end because I want, like, I want to keep going with my guests. Um, I don't want to interrupt them, but thank you everyone. I'll, I'll shout you all out at the end. Um, you you are acknowledged though, and I appreciate all of you. A very oh. individual acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I. Well, I mean, it, it it's worth taking a moment, right? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. It's like the first I agree, I agree. Human, you know. I I mean, like, oh my god, we, my viewership is so kind. <laughs> oh my god, they I they helped fund a new computer for me for my <gasps> birthday on Saturday. Wow. Yeah, I, I did a, I did a, I did a donathon, and we just blew past the goal. I didn't even get a chance to play the first game before we reached the goal. Oh my god, wow. that's ridiculous! That's yeah. really good. That was amazing. Um, I am going to have such like a beefy computer. Good job, guys. Yeah, Be able to animate all the Smurf images you want. Yeah, I could have like a ton of them at once and just like mainline that shit. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so funny if you just had so many baby Smurfs and they were just everywhere and you just had a ton of them and they were just all your little baby Smurfs and you kept thinking about how tiny they were. And... About tiny and then the wiggling their tails. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't that be so funny as a joke? Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this GIF and I am going <laughs> to, I am going to get a massive monitor. Like I'm going to get a um, one, uh, uh, what, 1440 monitor just and then tile just tile it. this yeah. yeah i'm gonna be like yeah. I, I'm, I'm gonna like someone's gonna come in so i'm gonna get interviewed or something and so yeah. and i'm gonna be like here's my workstation and it's well, no just explanation you don't need screens. any yeah. explanation and Honestly, they're like if I saw what's that, that like a workplace like i would i would i would be fine with that person i would trust that person probably over somebody who had like a face tattoo at work you know what i mean like if, if it was just like a, a tile right. glare baby smurf background right 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 just Oh, here's <laughs> like oh clear, clearly they want to take care of the small little the the very very small small yeah, smurf. Clearly it's yes, nurturing. Yes. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, and then again, people still that's so sweet. I can't wait to see more. Yeah. I liked your story. It's really cute, cute story, and uh. Oh God! I then again, you know. Oh, I'm glad my depictions of baby Smurf resonated with you. I'm certain I will do more drawings with the stories. It's been a long time since I had any ideas, but at the moment, I'm feeling rather inspired. I'll probably do them more along the same theme as this one. And then, P.S. Vic, uh, I never thought about the tails, but they are formed like knobs that wouldn't allow something to easily slip off. Uh, so it makes sense and. Uh, let's see. I think Vic was saying if you scroll up to Vic George 2010. Uh, oh, yes. That... Interesting story and animation. Yeah, here. The Smurfs in my fan fiction. My fan fi Oh, my God. The Smurfs in my fan fiction stories, for the most part, tend to use their tails. Yeah. Um, what? Hold up their pants, which I don't think pants. would work, really. Uh, I can kind of see it working if it's like tight enough, but if it's not tight, it's just It'd gonna kind of like their little their pants would be the really front. saggy. Well, I maybe, think some of the pants are oh, saggy if you look at them. May, maybe there's like, um, g g kind of like how furries will make um make clothes that specifically fit the uh, their anthro animals. Um, yeah, you have I've seen Smurfs some really have... cute like tail holes with like a belt buckle. Yeah, <laughs> okay. that's really yeah, cute yeah. and silly and fashionable. I, I love um there's a trend among uh, lizard furries where like their their lizard furries will have giant tails and then there will be bags strapped to them kind of like fanny packs but like oh, wrapped like strapped to the tail it's that's cute. actually kind of cute that's really yeah cute. It, is, it is cute is yeah that, like groceries that's really cute yeah yeah it's, or like the oftentimes I, I've seen it on um people's characters who are like technicians or something like that oh, like, yeah. that's they keep their tools Pouches and stuff. or like okay, adventurers sick. yeah nice it's cute. Don't you fucking furry detected me, chat. Fuck, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. Um, but yeah, I like maybe there's a strap that goes on or like a little a little space for the a tail to go in. A little bit of elastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
though my fanfiction creation empath inadvertently rescued another character creation of mine, Polaris Psyche, from falling down a cliff when he grabbed onto what he thought <laughs> was a rock outcropping, but it turned out to be empath's tail. This is only mentioned in one of my reporter's inside stories, and which <laughs> he's going into the esoteric lore of his personal well, fanfiction. Well, of course, of course. Why wouldn't you? You have to read the reporter side stories of Vic George's Smurf fan fiction to understand what I, he's talking about here. Why would you why would you not? You'd be an idiot not to read the reporter's inside stories of Vic George's Smurf fan fiction. You're touching on something that I'm picking up from this person. This person seems simultaneously excited to get to talk about his lore and annoyed that he doesn't already know it. Exactly. Like his, exactly. His Smurf lore should Everyone already should be know known. It. Yeah. Everyone should know your OC. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like there's there's a privilege in being um in being the one who knows something and has to explain it. Oh, that is so sweet. I like your story, Smurf in hand. Uh, these these profile pictures are good. Uh, what is this? Is this a video game? I'm it assuming like yes, way. maybe it looks like Smurf, maybe NES or something. Yeah, I'm I, sure I think there's it's... been Smurf. There's a yeah, of course there's been there Smurf games. Been. They got like Smurf oh, racing. Yeah. And the oh, other I, Smurf I think that this just is... dance. Oh my god. Smurf just dance. Says. Oh, it's bad. It's got like people dressed like Gargamel dancing to like who let the Smurfs Yeah, out the just dance is so bad. Cheese. Real I am bad. never I am never going to get over that um the person who made the soundtrack for Hellbender, the classic Windows 95 game, um, the, the uh, not the person who made it, but like the the audio, like the audio, uh, the music, like but the dude who made the music for Hellbender eventually became the audio director for the Star Wars Just Dance, which means wow. that I'm Han Solo came across his desk and he gave it the thumbs up. Oh God! Ah, I, okay. I'm not super familiar with Star Wars stuff or their oh my God. just dance, I'm but I can only so imagine low. how cheesy I'm it is. Hey, am I, am yeah, I going to Jason to, get... to the writing solo. Hold on. And then are we? Am, am I going to get vod muted if I share this? I think I'm going to, but that's okay. Well, uh, you, you know, you it, it's just this. dance. It might People be can play it. just yeah. dance. Yeah, whatever. Hold on. Let's check it out. I'll... Well, it gets like a music video and stuff too. Wow. These yeah, are yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Poorly oh, rendered. yeah. I'll, I'll just play some of it. It's awful looking. It's terrible. Oh, oh here we go. God. Okay, no, no. Okay, we got to get to the chorus. Oh God! Oh, God. <laughs> oh it doesn't even fit him. Why did they do this? It doesn't work at all. It does not work. Into this is like the. <laughs> Stuff you come up with in the shower and you don't tell anybody and that's that you just move on oh, it's, oh, no yeah. it's not this is like you're listening you're you're somehow stoned and you're listening to jason derulo and you say hey man wouldn't it be really funny if this song was about han solo yeah exactly I... that's not something you run with an idea like you don't fund an idea yeah. commercially into a game with this <laughs> I, I feel like I, I feel like there are tears to cringe um yeah. i like like if you earnestly love something, right, like, and you're super into it, it's like, fuck it, right? Like, who cares? Like, cringe is fucking dead. Nobody cares anymore. Um, right, right. But, and, and like, for, like, for example, if I get, if I, if I got good at Beat Saber, I'd be proud of it, right? Like, I'm sure yeah. people would be like, oh, you're flailing your arms around. That looks weird. But it's like, I achieved this, right? Like, that's cool. Yeah, There yeah. is not a, there is not a single person that feels passionately about this not passionate enough to get through this song yeah like yeah i, no, I cannot imagine star someone wars that can muster up the passion is pretty bad like i i played the all of the lego star wars and i i could not make it through <laughs> the like last games because you're just old han solo like <laughs> platforming and looking for things and it's like why would any child want to to play as old Han Solo. 
you know? <laughs> like, why would anyone want that? I, but I'm, I'm trying to think of, of an example of, of a game where this has happened, where, like, why the fuck would you ever want to play this character? Um, <laughs> I swear to God, I, I, could, I, I can... It's one of those things where I can't remember the thing, but I can feel I the feel memory. I feel like there's, there's, got, there's at least a handful of cases. Right, like, why would I ever want... Gollum! Yeah, that's, that's a, a good example. example. Gollum, the why Gollum the fuck would I want... Game. Yeah. Gollum is, like, the most pathetic care and, like, unlikable character. Like, pathetic. Yeah, like, no one asked for that Please. game, but we got it. Somehow. I heard it's pretty bad, too. I, oh, yeah, no, it's bad. Burned memory. I know, uh, so going back on that, like, cringe thing, though, I feel like, okay, like, people that do cringe things you can kind of absolve yourself if your heart's into it and people will be like, okay, that's just yeah, passion. Yeah. That's cool. We like that. But when companies do it, that's where the real yeah, cringe is. That's, yeah. the, that's the difference. That's you know what I mean? Cringe. The corporate it cringe. Keeps, it keeps coming yeah. up. I have to. Hold on. Uh, will Wheaton uh, Star Trek Picard uh, maybe if I search cringe Will Wheaton Yep. Oh, it's the red letter, oh, like red letter media clip here. Oh, nice. I love red letter media. They're great. I I really like them too. Oh, uh, I feel like I have very different tastes in movies to them. Um, I agree with them on a lot of in a lot of things. Me too. Um, yeah, but on occasion mm -hmm. there's things they miss, but it's fine, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. So no, the they, they're around. welcome. Like you know, they, they have a different uh, relationship to movies than I do, so it's chill, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Be here. Mm. Kind of like the new announcement about season three of Star Trek. <laughs> they haven't even finished season two. Look who we got! Our Keep paying attention! You know what I'm talking about, right? Well, they're bringing back everybody from TNG, yeah. Except for Will Wheaton. <laughs> uh. Our, our <laughs> first, uh, first two seasons with a wacky... <laughs> they didn't bring him back? They didn't. He's not a part of it. Is it because he personally oh, declined, or because they just were like, "Ah, fuck Wesley"? I don't know. I have I have no answer for you. Like he's wow. just not a part of it. I'm gonna leave it at on this while I look for what I'm looking for. Um, I'm actually amazed that see. like they had like the core cast minus him. That's it. That's Wow. So I, 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 he's him for just season such three. a weird little guy. They're going to have yeah. him be a villain in season three. He's going to be like brainwashed Borg guy or something. They brought his okay. mom back though, right? What the fuck? Now that I think about it. If they bring his... Aw, come on. How are you going to bring his mom back? Oh, I guess, I, I guess that Wesley Crusher did return to Picard for like a bit part. A bit part? Apparently. Uh. They probably felt bad for him. Probably. They're just like, ah, we forgot. We knew we were missing somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see if I can. Reaction. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to find a bit uh, where he's just, like, trying to be excited about Picard, and it's just the fakest thing in the world. God damn it. Okay, Th this is not worth the time that I'm investing in this. <laughs> I, and I get to that point sometimes. It, it, it's just the, the corporate cringe, right? Like, yeah. The, the, where you have people that are desperately trying to convince you that they're totally into it. Like, where I'm totally excited about this. And they're not. This. They're not. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although th there's a weird intersection that I feel like I'm the only person outside of the community that seems to recognize um, the community managers for Star Citizen are earnestly into it and excited about it, but they're also like, like helplessly cringy. And it's like, uh, yeah, oh no. it, it, it's like they brought fans in to do their official social media oh. and it's it's this weird blend of of earnestness and corporate hype uh, and it's for star sounds, citizen that just sounds like right in the middle and very uncomfortable yeah it sounds like that's not fun for anybody no it, it, <laughs> it's it's not great 
Uh, and especially given the context of Star Citizen, like these people have such an awful battle to fight with the bad reputation of Star Citizen. Mm -hmm. And and so just them trying to smile and play off all of the consistent delays and missed deadlines um, is rough. Right? Like, they, I, I feel like there's never an ownership of it, right? Like, if you fuck up and you miss a deadline, you fucking own it. Speaking as someone who frequently has missed deadlines. Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> right? Um, a creator who has worked on something for two fucking years. Um, but, like, Star Citizen, they're never allowed to just be like, yeah, sorry, we missed the deadline. Um, here's why. Like, they give so much behind the scenes stuff, but it's like they can't accept. Like, they're not allowed uh, to accept the fault, so they just have to smile. Terrible, terrible. And it hurts. Poor guys. Right, it happens. Um, it, it doesn't help that they have to make excuses for Chris Roberts, who just is scope creep incarnate. Wait, what, is, what does scope creep mean? Oh, scope creep is when you want to add more and more stuff to something and it keeps making uh, the project larger and larger. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I've seen that happen a million times yeah. before where it's like, just get like an initial build out and then do all the bells and whistles. Right, yeah. Um, oh, it's it's typically called feature creep, uh, but scope creep is, enough, is like, feature creep is the gaming term, I think, where like you want to add more and more features. More features. Where scope gotcha. creep is the more general term. Um, I see. I will say, my video didn't take forever because of scope creep. My video took forever because I tried to apply a uh, the same process to making a 30-minute video as I did a six-hour video, and uh, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Would you like to be cradled like a baby Smurf in Smurf and Hand's hand? I, I would. I would. Even after would. seeing this photo? Uh... Which photo? Scroll down just slightly. We get our next Smurf in hand. Is that how you want to be held? Hold on, I need to brace. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. No problem, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it's it's like I just dipped my foot in and, and into cold water, and I'm like, okay, hold on. Yeah, yo, the water is yeah. the water is very chilly. Yeah. We can't even say the come on in the water's fine. It's not. It's very cold. It's, it's very. It's like ice cubes, dude. Come on in. The water sucks. Yeah, the water sucks a lot. Yeah, but dude. we're all in here together. We're all in here together. Uh, yeah. Maybe with enough of us, we could heat the water up. But I don't know, man. Okay. So this, this post was made a couple days later. So like, I, I was kind of like keeping an eye on the timeline for this guy because I was like, how long did it take him to upload this whole project? And it turns out it's like over two ish years. I think is what we learned uh okay. and so this one's just a couple of days later as an update so the story of my rescued baby smurf continues this depiction is probably the closest i'll ever get to actually holding a baby smurf <laughs> eventually i'd like that i like i like the the word probably like how much well, weight you that, know, that he's is holding a load. out hope he's saying m maybe that is a load-bearing word you can't take it out or else the whole thing will crumble. Of course. Eventually, I'd like to actually make a gif of the baby Smurf hiding in and then shyly poking his head out of the sock I had him sleeping in. You can do it, man. The power is in your hands. Literally. Truly. After I got off the phone with the Blue Moon Nursery, I saw that the baby Smurf had awakened and was hiding in the sock which I had given him to sleep in. The timid little creature was still leery of me, but I eventually coaxed him out. While his pajamas were still drying, I plucked the naked little blue infant up and cu cupped his tiny warm body Lots in the palm of, adjectives. of my hand. Lots, Lots of, yeah. of yeah. adjectives. Lots of adjectives. Really feel yeah. like you're Loves that thing adjectives. Mm -hmm. Loves description words. Yes, yes. The baby Smurf squealed with delight, rocking back and forth as he gazed up at me. I had set an appointment at the nursery for tomorrow, but for now I had a shopping list to follow as the nursery staff suggested. Frozen Smurf berry juice, organic cotton cloth for diapers, vegan soap, non-allergenic stainless steel safety pins, baby powder. I like the implication that just humans drink Smurf berry juice on the regular. Yeah, like as if you can go to the store and just buy that. 
Yeah, just, oh, you're going to settle on me. Can you get me some Smurf berry juice? I just, I'm out right now. Thanks. That's right, another yeah. thing that comes up a lot is that the Smurfs need like all organic, all vegan. Like they yeah. need like pure earth things. Very high maintenance stuff. Right. No corn syrup, no artificial sweeteners, nothing like that. Right. Like they, otherwise they break out in like Smurf hives. Mm-hmm. In upcoming segments, I will bring my shy little blue infant to the Blue Moon Nursery for a medical exam and learn more about Smurfs in general from the nonprofit organization. Oh my God, we're getting like it's a nonprofit. Lore. It's a it's nonprofit. nonprofit. Yeah, it's a nursery. It takes care of doing working. it out of the goodness of their heart for the baby exactly. Smurfs. Exactly. Non nonprofit does not necessarily mean that the thing doesn't make money. Just, <laughs> that, that, no, that is, that is surely like they're not profiting off the Smurfs. I love the idea now of a sort of spin-off where this company is abusing Smurfs to make a profit. Like this is an like they're testing company. makeup on them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no! God. They're like they're they're going. Or, oh my God! They're like trying to test Neuralink on the Smurfs, and they're like fucking going insane. Oh my god, and they're just like turn into demons. Oh my god, do you guys remember Neuralink? I There's feel like no I, do, I feel like the name sounds so familiar, but my brain Neuralink. is blanking out. Oh, it's um, it's Elon Musk's yeah, brain the chip. implant. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I've not heard of this. What is you this supposed to do? Like open chip? up. Is it is it like the things people get in their hands, like where they open up refrigerators and stuff, or and like can start their car with it, or is it a different thing? Um, it it is basically that idea. Um, okay, the problem okay. is that the actual literal applications are not completely obvious. It it's supposed to be just a um. As far as I'm aware, it's pretty. Like the the use cases are not very wide right now, but it's it it's it doesn't actually put any electrical impulses in your brain it just reads them um it, it is a very invasive brain chip mm -hmm. where, where they actually implant it uh, into your neural tissue that is insane uh, historically um these sorts of invasive neural uh neural chips have not been favored except in extreme circumstances because of a few problems first of all um there tends to be progressive damage because you need the probe strong enough to be able to penetrate the um like your brain tissue Ooh. but yeah, yeah i'm out i'm, I'm not getting in early the, guys the, 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 the best the, the best euphemism i have heard for the problem with this is imagine having a dome of jello now imagine taking a fine tooth comb and putting it into the jello. Uh, I'm back now, in. now carry the jello on the plate around with you all day. Uh, Guess what's so going it's just to happen? Your brain. Oh. Yeah, as the jello jiggles as your brain moves, oh, like just I a natural it. movement, it starts oh. to tear at your neural tissue. Take the Take the wow. wires out. Take the wires out. Now I changed my mind. There, I'm back on board. There are some um, new probes that uh, go in hard and then soften, um, so that they don't actually damage it. Um, kind of like Mike. Ha ha ha. No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Um, the idea being that in a moist environment they soften, so they don't cause as much damage. Okay. The, you still and uh, you still run into the problem of the probes getting covered in the neural equivalent of scar tissue, okay. and so over time, the probes can read less and less. So you got to get them changed out every so often. Like you change your right, you gotta, oil. You gotta, it's you like, tear oh, okay. Them yeah. Okay. I feel like, it burning no. in my brain. Oh. Ooh, imagine if it was misfiring and it's getting extra hot for no reason. You couldn't just pull that out of your head. You have to go to the hospital. Nope. Wow. Oh, yeah. This or like. I don't know. Let's say that there's like a shift in the earth and there's magnets and shit. Would that affect it? Probably, right? Probably. Uh, yeah, that's pretty messed up. I don't know. Maybe it might just feel like a little itch, like in a place you never itched before. It might feel kind of good. Uh, so, I don't uh, think so. I'm not with you on this one, Goki. Mm -mm. Don't like this. Mm -hmm. I get. 
the point is like th this sort of invasive brain chip, like this sort of um, probe it is not done or, like, except in extreme circumstances for obvious reasons. There's a lot that can go wrong with a thing you jam into your brain. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's like one spot that you like, uh, I don't know, maybe you shouldn't be messing around with too much, you know, like. Yeah, it really has the feeling of uh, what don't make the torment nexus. You guys know about that? I'm not that familiar meme. with the torment. Um, no, but th I do th not I'm want to intrigued. go into the torment nexus. Hold on, th there's a, a classic post, a classic Twitter post. Okay. Let, let me let me read it real quick. Here we go. Um, Sci-fi author. In my book, I invented the Torment Nexus as a cautionary tale. Tech company. At long last, we have created the Torment Nexus from classic sci-fi novel, Don't Create the Torment Nexus. Oh no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is just like everything Elon Musk does. Just everything Elon Musk does is a misinterpretation of Neuromancer. <laughs> Okay, I get it. Oh, God. <laughs> you read Neuromancer and is like, boy, this would be cool if it was real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to learn more about Smurfs. Like, yes. Okay, th this sort of tangent, by the way, is just standard in my stream. Um, That's we, okay us two, no. us two. Yeah, we are okay, complete good. tangent masters. Like. Okay, good. Total stream derailment it's the best yeah 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 our audience is used to it too right guys yeah, we're right <laughs> we're right along with you on the train yeah. oh i don't like this baby's gone naky <laughs> and then but this is comment from a moderator member number two he <laughs> he that's super cute Sassy. all right recently i've been listening to an audio rendition of a book called ink heart in it, the main character can read characters from pages of text and bring them into our world. That got me thinking how cool it would be if I oh, really I, had please that Please take talent. a deep breath before you read the next sentence. Please take a deep breath. Please brace yourself and then read Just brace that. yourself, yeah, yeah. I could read the latest part of my own story and this tiny, playful, naked baby Smurf would appear right in my hand. I'd give anything, Winky Smurf. <laughs> Certainly a sentence. Now again, he does not have sex with the Smurfs. Right. So just remember, he does not have sex with the Smurfs. How do you feel about that? You know, I bring this up on, on stream sometimes, but... This feels, there's a direct parallel. He, this person's like, if I had the power in ink heart, I would, um, like, I would use it to make a baby Smurf. Um, and I, yeah. I just think of, uh, Death Note compared to the story that inspired it, right? Like, in Death Note, the person, like, wants to try to become the god of the new world, whereas in the original short story it's based on, it's like a fucking middle manager trying to, like, ra rise the uh -huh, ranks of his company. I see, I see. <laughs> This has that same energy, right? Like, I, I have, if I had this incredible power to make things I read real, I'd make a baby Smurf and he'd be little and blue and he would fit in my hand and I will put him <laughs> oh, in a sock. Oh <laughs> it's just like the utter lack of imagination, which is weird because this is relatively imaginative. Oh boy, you don't even know how much more imaginative it can get. I don't like how you said that. Oh, it's it goes places. Again, it's we are places. still we are We're still just... on the very tip of this iceberg. Like it's yeah. starting to come down a little bit. Yeah. We but only we are the still cherry at the, the very tip right now, dude. This is yeah. just the cherry. Yeah, you are not you we are barely Yeah. Okay, done. we we pop we pop the maraschino cherry in our mouths and yeah. a bitten down and, yes. and now we're like we're starting to eye the whipped cream. The whipped we cream. are. We are. Top. Yeah, this is it. We're about to start digging. So. All right. All right. The very next morning, I carefully dressed the baby Smurf in his clean little Smurf pajamas. His constant Oh, I guess I should read all this first. 
Uh, here's the next part of the story. The tiny infant Smurf will get his health exam. Okay, whatever. His constant yeah. squirming and my fear of inadvertently harming his delicate body made the task rather challenging. I donned my jacket and then plopped the tiny blue infant into one of its spacious pockets. I went outside, got into my car, and started it. The baby Smurf was startled by the engine noise and dived to the bottom of the pocket. I couldn't see him, but I could feel him trembling. This was the first time I had taken him outdoors since I had found him in that stuffy shipping crate. I spoke to the tiny being in a reassuring voice, trying to calm him. I'd have stroked his tail again if reaching into my pocket to locate it wouldn't have been so distracting for driving. We were headed for the Blue Moon Nursery, which was located in a small town 30 minutes up the coast. From time to time, curiosity got the better of the little blue creature, and I would see him briefly poke his tiny head out for a peek. At last, I pulled my car into the nursery's small parking lot, and going inside, met the receptionist with whom I had spoken yesterday. I'm okay. just now imagining... Oh, go ahead. No, please. you go ahead. I was just, you know, okay, this is... He's, oh, no. he's going. If, if you talk, you give me time to pull something up that I wanted to share. Okay. I wanted to show. Well, I just love the idea that there is this, you know, 30 minutes, you know, not to mention how conveniently it is that there is just a Smurf nursery 30 minutes from this guy's house. Up the but coast, the fact, even. So now yeah. we know it's, like, coastal also. So, yeah. like, right. we can yeah. probably pinpoint I, I where this is. I don't know thing. how many mushrooms are in, like, California or anything, but, like, this might be an East Coast thing. This might be, like, I don't know, yeah. Massachusetts or something. But it's just the fact that this exists and, like, it's just so odd because this story is, like, pretty grounded in reality except for the fact that there is a baby, except for the fact that Smurfs exist. Oh, he moved there just for the nursery. There you go. Just for a chance that one of the babies would get misdelivered. Yeah, like, but, he has to live 30 minutes away from that nursery, though, guys. But it's Why just so, just, again, just so odd. It just such he's it's so thought through it's so thought through and you know he did yes. tease that he's like it, the, it not this post but the post before he's like i'm gonna show you guys about the blue moon nursery he did tease he does have some structure plotted out and yeah. plotting and planned yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah i think this speaks of someone who has thought about this for a long long time mm -hmm. right oh, like th this is yeah. this is probably an, an imagination that he has turned over in his head many times like a person twirling a, a pencil in their fingers mm -hmm. he's been rotating this apple for years mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I gotta say though I'm, I'm thinking about the Smurfs squirming around and like them needing to do an x-ray or something and just having to fucking tape it down like this. No, don't worry. Don't worry. They have <laughs> medical. Oh, my God. That is what they would do. That is 100 percent what they would do. But again, they have all Smurf specific medical care. And these people are experts on how to take care of Smurfs. It's, it's again, it's all very odd. Why is that bird so wet? I don't know. <laughs> no, it's I like an for a moment. Oh, it's an I thought it was a chicken oh. breast. I thought it was a parakeet. <laughs> no, no, no. It, 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 it's an ashlotl. They got it like mush him. Okay, That's now that exactly makes sense. Why how you he's examine he's this wet boy? Oh, he's yeah. so cute. Oh, wet I thought are so cute. I slap I know, him gently. Right? Oh, it's like a, t a tiny like potato egg for an egg. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to feed him animal you, cookies. Oh, like, th this poor fella must have gotten, like, so much love after this. Like, I'm sorry, I oh, have I to hope so. I know, he looks so pathetic and, like, He oh, really please. does. He's just rolled up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, you know, I will say, though, sometimes, especially with friends who are, like, particularly anxious or, or nervous, sometimes um, I wish that... I, I could make them small and put them in my pocket, like in my kangaroo pouch, in, in my hoodie or something. Oh, yeah, that and, and feeling. Bring them with me. Yeah, just like, you can come with me and you can hide. God. I don't know. Like, I, I get, I guess, I get that, right? Like, I, yeah, I get that. Yeah, you get that kind of feeling. But also, this is a different kind of, he is not treating the Smurf like a, 
he's treating it like an equal, but at the same time, he's not treating it like an equal, but at the same time, he's, he's treating it like a pet, it. but not like yeah. a pet. His yeah. relationship with this Smurf is very ambiguous. Right. Yeah. Like, what's... What is... This is part of something bigger, right? Like, the be. way he just keeps emphasizing, oh, you're so small, you're tiny. Like, there's almost a feeling of, you're so small, and I'm here to take care of you. I could crush you in my palm. That, see, that's also a thing. I mm -hmm. could. That, like, that, that, that feeling is where it starts getting weird. Yeah, it's a, it's a read between the lines thing for sure. Mm-hmm. Like, I, f I feel it in my bones, and I don't <laughs> like it. Oh, our baby Smurf is going to get his medical exam. Using a POV ray. Oh, they're just talking about how they render their Smurfs. How they render their personal Smurfs. Mm -hmm. uh, such an adorable story. Oh, the baby Smurf goes in for his later, medical too. exam. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, it is to be discovered that on the weekends, the nursery is staffed by a less than affectionate medical professional. Why not just oh. post it? Oh, Nurse Ratchet. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Okay, okay. This is starting to get bad. Oh, We're it's getting longer. Cream. We're only at the whipped cream. I would like to note that it started with the text on the side. Probably because, yeah, he, he made the gif. I've noticed that these yeah, images yeah. are not gifs. But so then he why. starts making so much text. Yeah, he's got yeah, stories starting, to tell. Yeah, I'm I'm getting that feeling. A stern-looking nurse guided me down the hall, explaining that on the weekend she was the only medical staff on duty. We passed by a windowed room where a half dozen or so baby Smurfs slept and played, attended to by a pleasant-looking lady that obviously loved her tiny charges. An armed security guard stood outside the door. Further debt okay, security guard? I don't want got, anyone like, to steal the Smurfs. An armed security guard. I'm I'm just imagining like um what one of what like Interpol, one of the Interpol agents with like a fucking assault rifle yeah, at Europe yeah. at European airports. It's very right, important like to there. protect the Smurfs at any cost. Yeah. But he's the bravest soldier, truly. Further down, we entered the examination room. I tried to reassure the Smurf baby that it was okay as I took him out of my pocket and handed him over to the nurse. With an efficient hand, she immediately stripped off the tiny Smurf's pajamas and his Smurf hat, plopping him onto the cold metal exam table. The exposed little blue infant was a pitiful sight, shivering from the touch of the cold metal on his bare skin. He whimpered as he did the day before when as he did the day before when I had tried to remove his little hat. I was about to say something to the nurse about it, but she now acted like I wasn't even in the room as she went about the exam. When she produced a tiny glass thermometer, I knew what was coming and simply had to look away. Are you wincing with empathy when I heard the little creature's distressed squeak? Did they jam a thermometer up his ass? Yes, they did. Oh, God. Okay, you, you said I could relax, but I should have puckered. Oh, well, again, this is still, you know, yeah, this, this is, is you, you can gonna start you're gonna, sliding the brakes on a little bit. This is, yeah, it's going to go a little know. back okay, and forth. Okay. You're going to question motives and yeah, yeah. it's going to go a little, get a little weird, but. At last, the ordeal was over and my baby Smurf was declared to be in fine health. I finished up the paperwork in the reception area as the traumatized little being hid in my coat pocket. Later, back at my home, I consoled the little blue creature, affectionately stroking and squeezing its soft knob of a tail for nearly half an hour before he reverted to his playful and carefree demeanor. What I a sentence. Yep. Yep. I affectionately stroking and squeezing its soft knob of a tail. I, for 30 I don't minutes. like the word knob. Yeah, I don't like knob. Is there... Is there a better word you could have used? 
I thought that I thought that while the weekend nurse may have done her job by the book, I was still stunned that she hadn't made any effort to treat such a precious, sentient being with the dignity that it surely deserved. I said as I infantilized this sentient. Be well, I guess it is an exactly, infant, but, but still, it's a, it's yeah, it's an infant. But like, I feel like. This is one of those cases where, in this person's head, it is occupying a strange space between, like, infant and pet. Yes, which is a very odd place. <laughs> yeah, it's like this weird liminal space in between the two that doesn't actually exist. Yeah, because, I don't know, it's... If it again it's so hard to describe because it's just such a weird it's a weird dynamic that you just don't really see yeah oh brother I'm... Kimuri puts it well it's a person when the author needs it to be yeah 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 the like work any... starts it... picking up here too which is kind <laughs> of nice Buck the star valid. Thanks to this thanks to the 17 months. I, it's only I was a experimenting. Hours later. Oh dear. Yeah, only a couple hours later, you're right. Yeah, he was busy today. Yeah. Oh yeah, getting to work. This was posted at like 7:33 a.m. Local oh, I mean it could be. It could be like afternoon wherever they are. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is uh localized. Yeah, it looks like it's localized, ah. actually. Mm. Sorry, sorry, yawning. You're good. No, Vic George is back. <laughs> uh, Vic George is. has got such a... Huh. And then the the direct Smurf in hand reply, yet another big, naky baby Smurf for you, Vic. Winky That's a Smurf. That's terrible sentence, and that would convict a man. That would get a man put yeah, in prison. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you in this Smurf... world where everyone's concerned about the Smurf's rights, you know. Yeah. You you think that bluebuddies.com is a honeypot? No, but it could be. <laughs> An FBI it could honeypot. Be. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you could take, you know, if you just replace words, you could I don't know. That's what this is. This is just it's different words replaced. It's like, yeah. yeah, the smurf. Right, yeah, just swapping out words. Oh, something that I did not know before is in Vic George's signature is a quote from his fan fiction. Yes. And cited to himself. Yes. Empath from Empath, the bandit smurf. Th this has really big Empress Teresa energy. <laughs> yeah. Cody, are, are, you, are you too familiar with Empress Teresa? The name no. sounds familiar. Oh my god. Okay, maybe... Maybe maybe we have you back on and I get to I get to share Just something special this. with you. Oh, I would love that, that would be good. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, I, I the regulars in my chat know. They know. I see oh god's LMA. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think and that's a great yes, idea. Fuck yes, yes, please do. Yeah. God. Well then, yeah. Okay. Go down the empath rabbit hole right now. Oh no! Oh, but we we got to get through. We got to finish um, the main. Well, this we got to get dessert, through the main but... the main yeah. meat first because boy, mm -hmm. this is this is a pretty hearty forum we're on right here. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. no, I would be I would be more than happy to come back and learn of a of a another internet hole. Love those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, th that is my whole shtick. Yeah. That's what we do on this stream. We look at mm. weird shit. Yet another. Oh no! He Smurf in hand is starting to um, give this to to one of his fans, Vic George. Pandering, yes. Yet another naked baby Smurf picture for you, Vic. Oh, and I don't a winky like face too. That's a little. Uh, the yeah. weekend after I took my baby Smurf to. Oh, now it's just in text. Um. He switches it up because you know the pictures get a little more elaborate right the weekend app well also i think it's it's annoying trying to put gifts with text right true, you have to true. like make the gif and then export it on its own 
The weekend after I took my baby Smurf to the Blue Moon Nursery, I decided to bring the tiny blue creature outdoors. I carefully supervised as he frolicked through the grass of my backyard lawn. Excuse me. I have planned on watering the lawn today, so during the week I have purchased a miniature plastic swimming pool for the little Smurf. I picked a, I, I like the idea that um, Smurf is a slur here. Yeah, yeah. well, because it's like, they, like, wh why do they have so many things, like, catered to Smurfs? Mm -hmm. If, you know, it's just very odd. And, like, why couldn't he yeah. just use a bottle cap or something? I was thinking like, the exact same thing. Where did he bottle get cap. this tiny miniature pool? I like right, them, like, like, PetSmart. They make them for, like, hamsters and stuff. They're really cute. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, you think he's going to get him a, a wheel to run oh, on? Oh, I hope so. I mean, eventually, sure. <laughs> when the baby can walk, sure. <laughs> I picked up the wriggling creature and uh, give it to us raw and <laughs> wriggling. I picked up the wriggling creature and brought him over to the pool in which I'd already filled with water and a tiny floating duck toy. Again, tiny thing. Unhooking tiny thing. The, yeah, unhooking the safety pin, I removed the tiny scrap of organic cotton cloth that served as his diaper whenever I let him crawl around indoors. I had found a pattern online for making the special diapers, which were designed to allow the Smurf's tail to poke through. As soon as I placed the disrobed blue infant into the water and let go, it squealed with delight and began splashing water all over the diminutive pool. Looking at the wee baby Smurf's soft little body, I felt suddenly compelled to bite it. I mean, to poke <laughs> its blue tummy. It popped like a blueberry. Pop it in your mouth. At first, the baby Smurf looked warily as my finger neared his abdomen, but once I began gently poking at it, he, squeal he squeaked merrily. We played this game for a few minutes, and feeling comfortable with leaving him alone, I commenced to water the lawn. What if an ant eats him? Yeah, right. Like, I, I keep thinking, right? All it would take... I keep thinking of those videos where people release a like a, a rabbit that they had tended and back the to hawk health and just it immediately comes down immediately yeah, yeah. just swoop mine now i i do not like this phrase we played this game yeah that My sounds like uh, you're gonna have to recount that in a court of law at some point right like mr smurf in hand this is not a game. Yeah, Whatever. poking the bell. Well, I guess it's kind of like, you know, like a peekaboo. Like, oh, Gucci, Gucci, Goo, Gucci, Gucci, Goo, you know? I, uh, no, like, being poked, though, is something that happens to you, right? Like, peekaboo, it's like, oh, where'd you go? <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out where you go. With this, it's like, you are jabbing me. It's true. I guess it made the baby happy, though. I guess... But, like, <laughs> there are plenty of things that make me happy that aren't games. <laughs> it's just, th the nomenclature is weird, and I don't like the vibes that it's giving me. Exactly! <laughs> exactly! Like, this has so many bad vibes, but again, he insists yeah. that you are the weirdo if you think it's weird. And so many people on this forum just go along still with it on without board. questioning. They're all still They're just on board. Like, well, a naked baby Smurf. Wow. And they're the just like moderator. not understand. Even the moderator. So, I mean, member this is number still two. page one. But yeah, everybody is pretty much still on board with the story. Right. After the health inspection scene. I think this will be the last part of the story for now. I wonder if this would have made a decent picture storybook. Summer had finally arrived. It turned out that the affectionate caretaker at the Blue Moon Nursery also made miniature baby Smurf clothes as a hobby and sold a few of them. I visited the place during the week when it was safe to bring my tiny blue companion along and purchased for him a sunbonnet and glasses to protect his delicate face from the sun's rays. By this time, I had also named my adopted baby Smurf. I called him Blueberry because that's how I imagined he would pop <laughs> he between would my teeth. Yep, yeah, that's a 
a great way to name your kids, honestly. I just think about them in between your teeth. That's a that's a great naming convention. Just what he looked like, a plump little ripe blueberry. I I named this sentient creature Blueberry. Hmm. <laughs> Taking him home, I switched out his regular smurf hat for the bonnet while he napped. But when he awoke, he seemed pleased with the new headgear and eyewear, so I took him out to the backyard and let him play in the grass all afternoon. Can you play Pillar John music every time you start reading a new post? <laughs> uh, hold on. I do want to draw attention to the animated gif of how the goggles just pop on and off. Right. He's get, but again right. and again, cool. the the uh, art does genuinely improve. His skills do genuinely yeah. improve. Yeah. Vic George complaining that there's oh at least you got some clothes on the kid. He's so obsessed with that. At least he was uh he was naked Smurf lover number one. Yeah, and now he's like, well, at least you got clothes. Like, that's that's his. That's to throw his FBI agent off. He's like, well, I'll just put this. I'll just leave a comment like this just to throw them off. You think he was starting to get paranoid? They're on to so. me. With a name or like, like George, you're very paranoid. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. Like, or like this. Th there, there are only two ways of being that this person could possibly inhabit. The first is that they are like aggressively alone. Like they they go to work and Smurfs they come are back all they and, have. Yeah, yeah right. They basically. write about Smurfs. Mm -hmm. um, the other possibility is that this person is very married. In in like, in like the the weird, married in the weird married and like repressed. boomer like boomer white person way. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, like yeah. where marriage is just something that happens as a matter of course, and they like they they love each other in the same way that like someone loves a like an acquaintance they're getting to know better. The, and and yeah, like yeah. his wife discovered his posts on the Smurf forums, and he's like, "No, I'm not into naked Smurfs. I like them clothed." Of course, of I like course. Clothes. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah, clothes, yeah, yeah. Honey. I like them that's clothed. What that post I, I was. love them when they yeah, have clothes look, on. Yeah, that's because he looks like Look at my message history. Look at my message history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's see? right here. It's right here. Me very, <laughs> very much saying that. Why would I lie? I love them clothed. I love, I love when I see gifts of them putting even more clothes on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like he just oversells it completely. <laughs> This protest a, too much yes vix at, yeah at least you got some clothes on the kid now cool sunglasses smurf in hand i love baby in the pool too poke giggle poke giggle Ugh. smurfy one for two Oh. And then as we come to the top of page two we are already greeted by a new Wonderful. I thought he was post. done. Yeah, this is oh. about two weeks later. He had a little bit no, of a change. He, no, no, it does not end. Do not worry. Yeah, don't we worry. We are far still from the end. Thank of goodness. Material. Yeah, we're How, just at the However, surface. okay. So actually, to that end, how long can you guys stay? I'm fine for whatever. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, perfect. Because I need to do something. Yeah. I am going to go and like. Since we're going to be here for a while longer, mm -hmm. I'm going to go grab my tea set okay. so I can make tea while we continue. Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go on break. Would you guys, whoopsie daisy, would yeah, you guys I'd like to, grab like a to snack stand up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so this perfect. is a good I time. I didn't, I, I fucked up. Hey guys, now is the time because uh, get comfy we're just getting started. We are. We are. We are. Like this, he legitimately, like, I think the last two or three pages are maybe people commenting mostly. I but think a it majority, ends around page nine. Yeah. That's yeah. The, but like majority okay. up to page nine, he's still posting, still going. He's still writing his fanfics and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. So here's what we're going to do, everyone. We are going to stand up, stretch our legs, stretch yeah. our arms, get ourselves a sippy. Maybe a snack if you're feeling peckish. We will be back in just a couple of minutes. Yeah. See you in a few.
Oh, you thought yourselves rid of us. Oh, no. No, no, no. Not at all. You poor fools. <laughs> no <laughs> smurfing way I'm letting you all go that easily. Oh, hell nah. I, I'm, I'm just kind of... In this context, you two look like I'm ready to, like, sick you on my chat. <laughs> well, essentially, that's what, what has happened. That's that, what has happened. You're we not, are essentially you're not being wrong. sicked. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. Holy shit, that's accurate. I'm, I'm allowing you to, to perform your unique talents on them. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is definitely... Oh, my God. I would not treat them like Smurf in hand. No, no. Oh, I Maybe. would for mine, definitely. Oh, yeah. They'd, they would like it, though. They're they're sickos. I feel like... No, you know what, uh, Koki? I feel like y you're the kind of person who would, like, take this baby Smurf, put it underneath a plastic cup, and then, like, shuffle the cups around. She would. She and then would. slam your hand down <laughs> on one of them and be 100%. like, did it die? I don't know. What What's that red stain? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, we'll have to finish this video later for some reason. Weird. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I I personally have made um some of my favorite dance song tea for this. I Ooh, I, I think you've got open. something you are enjoying. I <laughs> yeah, I, it's it's to help uh counterbalance, right? Like this is a chaser. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, th this is a, um, it's called Osmanthus dance song oh, from a Yunnan like, supplier. Hmm? It's like really floral and, and really yummy. Yeah. 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 yeah you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I had, yeah. I had some of that before. It's good. Oh, that's cool. No, it, it is delicious. Oh, and the, the scent is lovely. I, um, I've started doing rinses for my loose leaf tea. Mm -hmm. And one of the lovely little side effects is that, um, the aroma from the rinse stays in the tea tray and just, it, it's delicious. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Ah, it is, it is lovely. Uh, you know what isn't lovely? Fucking smurf. Smurf in hand? It yeah? gets more. It gets this. more. We're right at the start of page two and boy. Oh, we it's already happening. The it's knob is out. It's going places and it's going to go further. That's all I can say. I, I, I like how you don't specify more what. It just, it becomes it's more. It's just more. It's just going to become more, yes. Like a mass. It's going to be so much more and then some. <laughs> if you don't deserve me at my smurf. Or no, if you can't handle me at my smurf. Okay, so we've got like a classic cartoon um, yeah. trope. Yeah. Yep, classic copper tone yeah. girl moment. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm. Mm. Ah. One day, a baby's bare bottom. One day, Blueberry, my adopted baby Smurf, was playing outside in a new set of Smurf hat and pajamas I had bought him. While he was climbing on a toy mushroom I had made from Sculpey, which I do not believe for a second that he hasn't made, and isn't sitting he, on his desk right now. He has a tiny Smurf village right. he's made with his own hands, I'm he's sure. He's an artist, and he's a writer, I, he's an artist. Of course he's crafting with his hands, too. Of course he can sculpt. I have done my best to avoid the comparison and, like, not bring it up, but this has very big Sonichu medallion energy. Uh, I, I yeah, thought you were going to call yeah, him a renaissance yeah. man, but yeah, that, that works, too. Like, I, I made it from Crayola Model Magic. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and yeah. if you For could sure. paint it, yeah, it looks just like it, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, suddenly, one of the pajama buttons popped off. The tiny creature stared around in, be in bewilderment, feeling exposed below. His soft, round little tail, but not quite able to figure out why, let alone why I was laughing aloud. Imagery used from Baby's Marvelous Toy episode for reference. Again, yeah, he's not an art thief. No, for reference, not going to trace though. Um, he's crediting. That's that's pretty good. This has the energy of like a more functional Ben Hughes. Are you too familiar with Ben Hughes? No, who is Ben Hughes? Oh, not. Ben Hughes is a legend on my stream. Literally, I think Ben Hughes might have been my first stream when I started VTubing. Oh, really? 
So what what is Ben Hughes? Uh, no. Yeah. What's for? the Hughes? Do? What's the um, yeah. Ben Hughes is particularly fond of the Simpsons females, specifically um, the Simpsons females jumping around in blue ninja outfits, punching and oh, air Oh, I've seen wow. him! Yeah! I remember if, him! Yeah, 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 yeah! If you are an artist and you follow Ben Hughes, you will inevitably get a message request from Ben Hughes that just says, Hi. If That's you it? respond, yes, it just says hi. And if you respond at all, he will say, Are you, like, can you draw The Simpsons? And he oh, will so ask like you for art. So he's like an SCP or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Almost. No, um, I can't, I can't hate Ben Hughes because this dude is living his best life. Like, mm. he is getting tons of free art. Of, Truly. Uh, Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Dave. Yeah, it, it was a particular glass tapping incident, but it like it was a very benign glass tapping incident where like people just like followed his Twitter account and he reached out to them. Okay, okay, okay. beautiful yeah, that's though. Different. Beautiful that yeah, he reached th this out is, to them. Right? Yeah. Th th this is this is sort of like um. I don't know that this is like helping to heal a riparian zone of a river or something, right? Like helping it flourish, right? Like plant, this is like planting trees rather than like feeding the ducks bread. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. helping his economy. Right, his right, ecosystem. exactly. Like th this is a wholesome uh, interaction. Um, and we, we appreciate, <laughs> we appreciate Ben Hughes in this house. Okay. Baby clothes have not already been made as formerly. What? I don't know. I think she had a stroke. She, yeah, <laughs> she was... Uh, has anyone ever decided to go as far as to look more like? Basically, basically that. Basically that, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, rising pressure. That's a very important part of Ben Hughes. No sexy. Oh, you do good, not, good. You do what not a good draw, dude. You do not sexualize the Simpsons women. <laughs> you, you know what? Do not do it. He just wants to see them as ninjas. That's incredible. Yeah. No, it's great. He appreciates them. Uh, oh, man. We, we should take some time for that sometime. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah for sure. This, so, this, yeah. This, this cannot be the last stream we do together because, oh, my God, I have been no, having so much fun. <laughs> yeah, no, this, <laughs> this is cannot, so please. much fun. I, I, I am begging you live on stream. I am having such I'm having so much fun. <laughs> no, yes, of course, please. Yeah, this is me such and I used a to treat. do a lot of these weird rabbit holes on the internet. So like this is like totally up our alley. Oh, I I love this. This is what I do on my stream. I don't game yeah. very I, I don't game hardly at all. This, this is the shit that I do. Mm -hmm. We got to interview the guy who directed uh a documentary about Tiffany and like her yeah. obsessive hmm. fans, and that was pretty cool through our deep dives because we had watched his documentary huh. yeah. through I a deep dive. I think I'm alone now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's like a documentary. He... I really liked it. I was like, we, we have to watch it. We have to watch it. So we watched it on stream with okay. everybody, and then the director reached out and uh, he's like, hey, uh, can I jump on stream with you guys? I was like, oh, <gasps> yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, I've yeah, had that yeah. happen a couple of times in my stream. Oh, I'm doing the lizard blink. Why am I doing the lizard blink? Oh, I don't um, know. Like, you must be unsynced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I hate this when my eyes don't blink together. Okay, I, I, I think I feel you. I think I had something in my eye and that was causing a problem. Anyway. A little smurf in your eye. No, I, I had that I had that happen with um, the Monument Mythos where one of the voice actors came in and was just like very excited that I was looking at it. Aww. By the way, by the way, um, I always give streamers carte blanche to watch my videos on their streams. Like I'm, yeah, okay. I'm unbothered. Cool. Nice. Like, I'm totally unbothered. Sick, excellent, good to know. I love his teddy bear hat. The village nutcase. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Captain, we have a containment breach in the aft section. See oh, again, no. he's not. Oh yeah, okay. Now here we go. Yeah. This one is. I would say that this is arguably where some of the tiles start slipping, and you. Okay. You, this is where some cracks are gonna start showing up. Not, not, not this crack. 
No, no, <laughs> not the, Sorry, that no. Was an actual that was, crack that was so is gonna stupid. start showing. No, no, no. It was good. It was good. No, it wasn't. Don't, don't you. It wasn't good. It was that dad wasn't... tier, but very good. <laughs> Am I am I gonna net zero at this one? I've got a two minus twos and a plus two. <laughs> oh, there minus two plus two. Oh wow, it's all over the place. Yeah, th this is how you can tell that uh, my viewership skews older. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, but by the way, um, on Saturday, I'm very proud to have turned 85 as um, and, and be Twitch's most geriatric streamer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm well, very you, proud. you know, the tea, proud. and you did mm -hmm. talk about having to put your dentures in before the stream started. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I am very glad to be not only a male VTuber, but also uh, old, old, representing old male VTubers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Hina's only like what, 75, 84? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he Hina's Hina's still a spry whelp. Uh, hey Kayo, how you doing? Uh we we are about to read something. Oh no. Very sentimental chapter, he says. Yeah. Yeah, I got the idea for this after watching the Once in a Blue Moon episode, one of my favorites. For this story, I wanted to emphasize how magical and sacred a baby Smurf's heart is, thereby making the tiny blue infants all the more precious. I improved on my older baby Smurfs cuddling slash sleeping together from my first post to... Oh my god. Trying to do the art game for about two years. Do do we go in here? Yeah, we can. I think it's just going to be an older art post, but yeah. let's yeah, see. It, it, that's basically oh. what it is. There's not like a lot of substance, but you can see his style has kind of evolved over the years, you know? Yeah, yeah. it has. Oh, we need, yeah, you're right. We need the Pillar John music. Here we go. You'll be able to hear it if you, like, you guys are watching uh, my screen, right? My screen share in Discord? Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. You'll be able to hear it then. Excellent. Yeah, I can hear it. Beautiful. Fantastic. Let's go. I improved <laughs> Blueberry's first miracle. Today I met the caretaker for the Blue Moon Nursery while taking a walk in the small town's park. Blueberry was sleeping peacefully in a little sling I'd made to carry him in. The woman also had a baby smurf, a female with her that she carried in a miniature wicker basket. The little smurf was dressed in lavender pajamas and glanced out at me shyly from behind the protection of her blanket as the lady told me her baby smurf's story. Her name was Dewdrop. Dewdrop was rescued in a raid on a warehouse used by exotic pet smugglers. She had been found in a pile of filthy paint-soaked rags. Ugh. She had bruises all the- oh my god, gor wait, gorilla karaoke raid. Oh, Alfie! Alfie, Alfie. Alfie hi. hi! Hi, hi! Welcome to hell. Yeah, yeah. I- we are apparently about to get to uh, the meat of this, and I'm I'm scared. I oh my god, I forgot. I have to do a karaoke stream now because we hit the goal. I'm so scared. <gasps> Ooh. I'm so scared. What kind of music you yeah. like for karaoke? I I I mean I have never done a karaoke stream, <gasps> um, but. I'm probably gonna do a lot of melodic metal because that's my thing. Hey, there you go. You just yeah. gotta have fun. I, that's the most important part. Yeah, actually, fun. I'm um, I'm, I'm gonna pause the Pillar John music for a second. I I'm doing my first cover, and I showed a, a sneak peek of it during my uh, my birthday donathon. Mm -hmm. What are you and covering? I'm, I'm covering the song Iridium by Dark Tranquility. I have never I just, heard of it, I, but I just cool. got, I just got the uh, dude doing all the instrumentals, uh, the last of my voice, and also there's going to be Hurdy Gurdy in it. Oh, that incredible! I, I, I played, yeah, I, I played some Hurdy Gurdy for it. That's um, incredible. I hope it, I hope it turns out okay. Um, but I'm also doing my uh, my metal growls for it because I do that better than singing, frankly. Understandable, understandable. So mm -hmm. it's always like. Singing is hard, but I can talk fast, so I can like karaoke like a rap song or something, you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
Although if I'm going to do a rap, like I, I know what song I want to do if I do a rap and I want it to be like difficult, right? And, and I want to practice Are you going to do Rap God? No, I, I think if I'm going to do any rap song, it, like if I go, if I'm going to try to do it, uh, it would be um, Please Go by Four Fist, um, by, yeah, Four Fists. Ever heard that one either? Yeah, not familiar very, with it. Very, very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, would recommend. You were okay. teaching us and, so much. Yeah. I my, my music tastes are a little esoteric sometimes, although Dark Tranquility isn't that esoteric. Like, they're one of the original melodic death metal bands. Anyway, uh, Smurfs. <laughs> but Do welcome in, everyone. Alfie, how was your stream? Fred, your singing was so nice, half the chat didn't believe it was you. <laughs> because you kept saying you're bad. Look, don't don't worry about it. <laughs> I've heard Path by Apocalyptica. Oh, yeah. Let me do that. Apocalyptica. That'd be fun. Anyway, Pillar John. <laughs> Boy. She had bruises all over her tiny body, limbs, and even her tail, as if someone had been deliberately pinching her delicate blue skin. During her captivity, in lieu of smurf berries, someone attempted to feed the poor little creature a salty cashew, nearly choking her. It took three weeks before Dewdrop wouldn't scream in terror at the sight of a human face upon waking up from a nap. Though she was now trusting to her adoptive human mother, lonely Dewdrop never played or otherwise interacted with the other wee little smurf babies at the nursery. Apparently there were bruises on the inside that had never healed. What, you jammed the thermometer up there too hard? No, I think I think they're talking about her heart. Perhaps. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. I'm oh, joking. good, don't, okay. Don't worry, okay. I, yes, I, got, yes, I, got, yes. I got this. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm, I'm being a cockhead. I see, I see. <laughs> As the lady finished her story, Blueberry woke up and started squeaking and waving his tiny outstretched arms in the other baby's direction. The lady decided once again to try to socialize her wary little smurf and let me carefully place Blueberry into the basket beside her. Both baby smurfs eyed each other, and then we saw something that defied explanation. From under the blanket, we could see a pulsating, heart-shaped glow emanating over Blueberry's chest. Within seconds, a similar glow appeared over where Dewdrop's heart would be, if she had one. At first, they pulsed at different times, but they eventually synchronized and beat as one. Dewdrop smiled and squealed with joy, kicking her tiny feet under the blanket with excitement. Blueberry was similarly elated, and both baby Smurfs wriggled with glee in the cozy basket, grinning and laughing together. When the glowing hearts finally faded, we picked up our respective Smurfs, trying to discern the source of this miracle, but gave it up. Blueberry and Dewdrop were both set down and allowed to frolic in the grass. They squealed and giggled, crawling after each other and playfully grabbing and squeezing each other's plump little blue tail. We wondered if this was the last of the miracles of having a baby Smurf to keep and love. So, now you have been introduced to the fact that there are people, there are bad people, and they yes. take Smurfs to warehouses. Right. Yeah, we're establishing. Oh, you really are aware that this Smurf is a thing things. inside of this universe. It's so child trafficking. Establish this now. Yeah. 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 And this... it's abusive too, because it, the the little thing had little bruises all over its body. It right. had to eat a cashew. Yeah. She had to eat a cashew. It was so salty. A fucking cashew. Yeah. It was salty and big. <laughs> <laughs> I. I I think that this again sort of plays into the idea of. This like. A responsibility has been foisted on him, but it is a good and heroic responsibility that he wants. And he could be like other people who are terrible and bad, but he is a good, like he, exactly. he is a good caretaker. And so he gets to feel heroic yes. Yes. by inventing, by inventing a world where this happens. Exactly. He gets to sp- see the special heart glow, like E.T. Yeah, like, and I, I think that, this this whole thing was just like okay you know it's just in his head but then this last line 
there's something about this last line of one of it, we wondered if this was the last of the miracles of having a baby smurf to keep and love it this sentence the subtext of this sentence is yearning yeah there is a yearning in this sentence right like oh what wonderful he wants miracles. to know the miracles yeah, yeah. he wants is, to but he can't this is the bite like where it's like aren't you guys intrigued i'm intrigued but that's that's that sentence right there it's it's the, it's to keep you hanging yeah that, that that right there is a fucking hook that is a hook yeah it is it is uh, have i showed them froggy song yet no i've not uh maybe we save that we're gonna uh, have to go on another we have we are we will, clearly yeah. sharing something great with you so you're gonna have to take us through some R right some oh yeah no sure. absolutely um oh yeah C can we show can we show them my most important emote by the way uh, there it is. You see it in oh, chat. Oh, good! There. He looks oh, so yeah. happy and not mm. threatening or aggressive, or like he would bite my fingers off at all. No, not at all. <laughs> I would probably pet the beak a little bit, the top <laughs> of the think, beak at least. Right. I would put my fingers in his enclosure. Oh, you would, yeah. I, oof! I I will never forget a, seeing a dude stick his finger in a tiger enclosure and the tiger Ooh. biting down. Oh. Oh. They daisy. put those things too close to people. Cause like my uncle got pissed on by a tiger before too, so uh. they 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 let us a little too close to those animals. Ooh, in the zoo. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me. There we go. Just need to calibrate my my uh my oh, model. No problem. No problem. Yeah, I always forget to do noise. that when I sit when I sit back down. Mm -hmm. and it like is. It is. It's off. easy to forget. Mm -hmm. I love the froggy emote, by the way, because it's like an inverse troll face. Like with a troll face, it's like, it ha ha, I fooled you. I did a thing to you. But froggy, that is a face with anticipation. Yeah, I was going to say, it yes, looks like with bated waiting. breath, he's waiting for you to get to the punchline. Mm. Like, right. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Like, yeah. like, I have set up a Rube Goldberg machine. <laughs> and you yeah, don't yeah, yeah. like, and I'm, he's watching it happen. Yeah. Like the plans are falling into place. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, troll face is ha ha. I got you. Froggy is you don't know yet. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. I good. shake Alfie. I shake Alfie. <laughs> Alfie shake. I okay. I specifically asked Alfie to uh, record audio of the autism slug. Uh huh. So that whenever she's like, I shake you, I can do this. Oh, beautiful. Mm. It's like your bones yeah. are jingling. Mm. Yeah, Mr. Bojangles. It's a nice ASMR. Oh, it is. No, um, actually, I, my chat is completely convinced that I, that I have ADHD. Um, and actually the whole time we've been, we've been talking, I've had a fidget cube in my hand. That happens. Uh, that happens. Yeah. I, I love well, it. Well, you know what? You need something physical to ground yourself when you're going through this as well. Yeah, right. Just like, I am real. I am am real you are not a smurf mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i do not have a baby smurf and it's sad but i have to remember i have to remember yeah, you uh, have to remember you're not squeezing is... its tail yeah yeah <laughs> lovely chapter smurf in hand you got it again oh yeah we have vega so squeaky smurf i'm looking at the regulars Ooh, a papa smurf very member cute. number one. So he has member both wow. mods, the <gasps> admin he and the mod. The, yeah, admin and mod. Look at that. He is here and giving his blessing. Wow. Literally Papa Smurf's blessing. I have a question. Huh? Do yeah. you think do you think that Papa Smurf and Sasset are a husband and wife duo? I hope so. I would think so. Wow, that's a really okay, wait, location. Smurf Fingland. What is where is she? Where's she at? She in is. Smurfing Land. They're both in Smurfing Land. Yep. I think they're, they're a smurfing. husband and they're, wife. They're in cahoots. They're smurfing together. Yes. They they made it together. Yep. Both registered July of 1999. Yeah. You know what? This was probably just like a dinner discussion over like a BK Whopper or something like that. And they're like, you know what? There isn't enough on the internet. Smurf, Smurf stuff. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, we should create a safe haven for all of this. Smurf 100%. Smurf freak. I don't know what the Smurf fandom mm. called, calls themselves, but the Smurfos, they're like, we need, we need uh, a safe space for all the Smurfos. And, and they did just that. They built an empire. 
right and an, an empire yeah mm -hmm. that that extends down infinitely exactly 100 <laughs> percent. like the pyramids Exactly. It's all full circle. It's all connected. Full circle, oh. baby. Oh, here we go. Dewdrop's human mother and I eventually began to take turns baby smurf sitting for each other. This afternoon, I watched as Blueberry and Dewdrop decided to crawl into the old sock that I had used for Blueberry's sleeping bag. They got thoroughly lost within its dark confines, squ confines squeaking and giggling as they squirmed about. I am getting a little tired of the word giggle. Yeah. And giggle. squirm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eventually, I saw Blueberry poke his head out of the opening. A few seconds later, Dewdrop's rear end was tentatively backing out as well. She simply wasn't as experienced with playing inside socks as Blueberry was, and had lost her bearings. I reached out and poked the tiny creature's exposed, round little tail. Startled, it darted entirely back into the sock. Blueberry turned around and with a delighted squeal, crawled after her. Okay... I don't know. This isn't as weird, I guess. Right? Like, yeah. th there's there's no Smurf abuse in this one. This feels like an interlude. Yeah, this is, uh, this is to kind of establish, I think, like, what he wants the normal to be, but it's going to get a little weird. It's going to get really weird. Oh, yeah. I mean, we are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We are five posts from a chapter... Uh, on Dewdrop's lore. Oh boy, okay. Oh yeah, boy. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, so, okay. So, this really is, again, this is where you relax, and then here relax. comes the clench. Yeah, clench, guys. Start clenching. You here can comes the okay. clench. Here Hold we on. go. I'm going, I'm going to find my happy place. I'm going to oh, center do it, myself. Do it. Okay. This is just people supporting. Oh, oh, Some we have a and stuff fucking too. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We are seeing usual. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh -huh. getting... yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Also, yeah, Raven Child. I think is a new one. We haven't seen Raven Child yet. Yes. Yes. I'm noticing not a whole lot of discussion between each other. Just this. Oh, thank you. I know. This I know. Thanks for the bits. I'm glad I'm glad my voice can help. Okay. Initially, I created this GIF with more frames for both a much smoother and more interesting animation, but due to forum file size constraints, the result you see here is the compromise. I'd be happy to send to anyone the GIF as I intended it, or perhaps there is a third-party board to which I can post it. I wonder what the longer gift was supposed to be. Like, is it just supposed to be more struggling, I'm assuming? I have no idea. I'm going to scroll down and see. Oh. I feel like maybe a longer animation, maybe like some variants on like the crying. Maybe it's supposed to be bigger. It's more you know? struggling. More, probably mm. more struggling, yeah. Okay. Perhaps, yeah, perhaps it is time to bring it back. Yeah, Initially, I created this GIF with more frames. Yep. Uh, okay. This chapter would take place just before the Blueberry's first miracle one. The Raid. The day that Dewdrop the Baby Smurf had been rescued is recounted in the journal of one of the customs agents who broke into the smuggler's warehouse. Upon gaining access to the warehouse, it became readily apparent that the smugglers were forewarned and had likely abandoned this base of operations in the middle of the night. There were various partially empty bags of animal feed piled in one corner, as well as a couple of empty cages. A metal desk's drawer opened to reveal an empty ampule of animal tranquil- tra Am ampule? of animal tranquilizer. We were going to tape the area off for later inspection when a faint noise drew my attention. Inside a wastebasket lying on top of a pile of dirty rags was what appeared to be a tiny blue humanoid creature's head. I thought back to a recent training seminar and wondered if what I was looking at was the seldom seen smurf. Remembering that- hold on a second. Yeah? 
Smurfs are seldom seen, right? Like, we have established that Smurfs are rare creatures. Right, but there's a whole yeah. nursery 30 minutes there, away. Right. Yeah. There, it's kind of like nursery. when you find, like, a vole or something like that. That's a pretty rare outside garden creature, right? But, you know, there's wildlife rescues for them just in case if you find one. Right. I, but not specifically for voles. No, not specifically for voles, but I guess... Maybe this this nursery also takes on like the snorks and other tiny little creatures, serial mascots and stuff like that. Perhaps <laughs> Tony the Tiger stopped in once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the yeah, yeah. snap, crackle, pop. Them guys, they they, yeah. they drop kids the, off the there Keeb- all the time. The Keebler elves. Yeah, like, yeah. Like it's one, one, yeah, guys. one of them dropped by and got an abscess surgically <laughs> removed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All tiny creatures can go there. Yeah, one of them had like that hamster thing where the balls get really big. Like that's probably what you have, actually, right? Like it's the ti- the oh, huge no, no, like, no, 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 the, the, no. The, this is not disease. This is all natural. <laughs> I um the the point I'm making that is that you have like they're rare creatures, but you still have Smurf berries. I like the idea that like. They destroyed the Smurfs' natural habitat, but still cultivate Smurf berries. Yeah, like, well, they're this so is the delicious, of, obviously. Right, this you is the result of them, colonialism. I guarantee in the summertime, like, Smoothie King carries those so that you can oh, try yeah. Smurf berry, like, uh, smoothie. I, I guarantee it's going to be some kind of, like, health benefits, you know, it's, it prevents aging, yada, yada, yada. Right, Jamba but, like, it'll juice. probably turn your tongue blue, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like Jamba Juice will be like, yeah, we added protein powder to it. Yeah. Uh, cricket powder and smurf berry juice <laughs> <laughs> uh remembering that these sentient lilliputians again sentient and also repeating this word could speak i was about to address it but i realized at a second glance that this was an infant of the species a baby smurf What my daughter wouldn't give to be here right now. She actually made me take the photos of baby Smurfs from last year's National Geographic and blow them up to poster size for her room. Again, National Geographic. Yeah, Yeah, weirdly, it was the it was the photo that a photographer took of um of a an emaciated Smurf being hunted by a vulture. But you know, that was (laughs) oh no no not the photo. She even had the official life-size, which isn't very big at all, Baby Smurf soft vinyl doll, the proceeds of its purchase going to the preservation of the Smurf's habitat worldwide. The Baby Smurf before me wasn't in good shape, however. The noise I had heard had been its hoarse crying and sobbing. Looking up at me, the creature was visibly terrified. The diminutive blue being's body had been tightly wrapped in rough sisal twine from chin to toe. The wee little infant strained futilely against its bonds, rocking back and forth between sobs. I picked the creature up, noting by the color of its trademark little hat that I was probably looking at the very rare, except for baby smurfs, female of the species. Wait, stop. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, wait, yeah. wait, wait. I, I, yeah. I know, I know, I know what music I need. I know what music I need right now. Hold on. Um. Uh, wait, wait. wait. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Actually, okay. Perfect. Okay. So. There is a very interesting little note in here. <laughs> in here. Um, they note, I was probably looking at the very rare, except for baby Smurfs, female of the species. So what could potentially happen to female Smurfs to make the females rare as adults, but not as babies? I, I propose two possibilities. The first one is that there is a peculiar change that Smurfs undergo as they grow older. They can be female when they are young, but almost all Smurfs gradually become male as time goes on. They, they begin to take on male traits. The other possibility is that the females are culled in order to yeah. induce competition between males as per yeah. old Smurf tradition. I think that's true. Also, I think they're culling the female babies. That's why you only see them at pet I stores. Right, so. right yep. yeah. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> 
The bewildered thing's face was a mask of terror as I scrutinized it with fascination. The other agents had by now gathered around, and there was nowhere the panicking baby smurf could turn without seeing a human face. I started to unwrap the twine, and when I had finished, the poor little creature was naked except for its little hat. I had guessed right about the baby smurfs. Oh. I guess he censored the word the sex got censored just because he would oh, say sex. Oh, it's a forum. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so it was like an auto-censor. Yeah, that yeah. Was, I think sex got auto-censored there. I interpreted that as so much worse than it actually was. No, I can imagine. I can imagine. The tight, rough sisal twine had gouged into the Smurf's tender blue skin, leaving its impression deep in the flesh. The creature also exhibited signs of abuse. Minuscule bruises everywhere, including on the unusual round little tail. I gave the tail a curious gentle squeeze as the little blue biped squirmed in my grasp, eliciting a frantic yelp of pain. Its pitiable appendage was still sore from being pinched by whomever the Smurf's former tormentors had been. Its tail also exhibited the telltale puncture mark of a syringe. What? Did, were they like injecting I don't know. With heroin? I don't know what they're what? I guess they're like shooting. I, I have no idea to be honest. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they drugged it through the tail. I don't know. I'm not right. sure why it, it had to be the tail. Maybe it's yeah. a plumper. We don't know. Uh, yeah. It, 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 this honestly, no explanation. See, my, my immediate thought was maybe this is. Um, this is like when a heroin addict starts running out of places to inject it. They like go you start to like with between the, arm. the toes or something. Yeah, the, between the yeah. toes and then in the eyeball and then the Smurf tail. Uh, ah, that's when you know you're too far gone. Yeah, mm -hmm. once it goes in the Smurf tail, it's over, man. The smugglers didn't seem to have considered this baby Smurf of any value when they had fled, which explained the rough treatment and the general disregard for its welfare. It would take a couple of days to process the creature. After that, my department would alert the Blue Moon Nursery. This little blue creature may not realize it yet, but things were going to change for the better. Its village was likely gone by now, so life among philanthropic humans would be in its best interest. Those philanthropic humans, you know, the ones that just keep helping for, you know, no, no... No benefit of their own, just the pure Smurf, love of Smurfs. Mm-hmm. We have more information as well. Something important to note, something that otherwise wouldn't be able to be assumed, is that he is assuming that the village has been destroyed. This implies that there are people who will discover Smurf villages and harvest the Smurfs in them in order to sell on the black market. However, we also must assume that Smurfs are native to this region, but if Smurfs are rare now, then we can assume that Smurfs are a species in decline. Even though the remnants of Smurfs are still around, i.e. the Smurfberry smoothies, the frozen Smurfberries. Okay, anyway. <laughs> what a Smoothberry tastes like so bad, a Smurfberry would be so good. I think it would taste like all the Halloween cereals at once. Think so? I bet it would yeah. taste like Captain Crunch. You, oh, you think so? Like a, like a, all berries, though, right? Like it would have to be all berries. It wouldn't have. Yeah, yeah, definitely all an all berries things. type of situation. I I am going to bet that like the initial taste on on the tongue is um is like quite is like very sweet, but then the aftertaste is like fucking licking wallpaper. Oh. Or something, like or like sucking <laughs> like the, it's the good and then it gets really like dry yeah just like ugh. yeah so yeah, like, yeah. It, like it's one of those things where like you just keep eating it because if you don't keep eating eating it then the the aftertaste starts to take over yeah you gotta keep yeah well if you don't keep so you don't... eating it you'll die because you know smurfs have to eat smurf berries mm -hmm. uh yeah and they can only have organic <laughs> the only organic see that's another thing like they always specify how organic they are mm -hmm. and you know how pure they are i i am i am fascinated like i'm i'm getting really big um american settler vibes like I care for the Native American peoples. Oh no, please um, don't the, give him the all organic smallpox blanket. <laughs> Fuck, stop it! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> organic well, it's, cotton. It's organic cotton. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, something weird happened. I'm, I'm having like a memory, like a memory just dredged itself up. Um, a, a long time ago, I talked about, like in one of my videos, I brought up the smallpox blankets and there was a commenter who got pissed off and was like, the smallpox, the smallpox blankets didn't happen. Like that was just propag like anti-white propaganda. <laughs> oh boy. Well, either way, it's <laughs> still wild. like, what are you going to do, man? <laughs> No, that was wild. It's like, they, but that was just a myth. And, oh. and they were there to prove it, right? <laughs> they, were, they were there to say, like, that wasn't a thing. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that apparently, well, like, when I, put, when I posted that video, that was a whole thing that was going through certain, like, political circles. Like, the smallpox uh... blankets didn't happen. It was kind of like an, an apologetic thing. I see. Um, I think this was around, um, this was around the time of, like, the, the tail end of uh, internet atheism, like YouTube atheists. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so yeah, the people people were going through a lot at that time. Mm -hmm. They they needed someone to guide them. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm curious to see like like learn about the people. Oh, we have a new, a new person. Yeah, Kajinka yeah, yeah. Sketchet. You could probably upload the full frame gif at DeviantArt or Sheezy Art. Oh dear. Rest in peace. Is she I've never so even heard of Sheezy Art. Oh, that's I've never ancient. even heard of it. Let me go see. I, I think it was like sicko site. Well, I think Sheezy it was Art. pretty much just used for like hosting images, and didn't it die? Yeah, okay, I'm sure it did. All the good right image hosts There's are dead. There's nothing you know? on it whatsoever. Mm. Here's oh wait, here's an Encyclopedia Dramatic article on it. Oh, that's oh, just God. as good. It was started by a pair of 13 year old boys, Cat and Spencer. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful. Plus. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's like a deviant art, just it's like more basic, I guess. But uh, I guess it was like a place to be. I've never heard of it. Huh. I, I I always just figured it was used for embedding. Like I think that's where. I don't know. I <laughs> I didn't I didn't look into it the same way I did deviant art. Deviant art, I uh, feel yeah, yeah, like, yeah. was just the um the default. Oh my god, hold on. So this post was made on the twenty sixth, three days later. Yep. Just keep picking up going. speed. He's really picking up speed now. Yeah, he's motivated. He's he's got a story to tell. He's getting it out there. Okay, so I actually want to check something. I want to check the timing real I quick. So this was okay, 722. Yeah, okay. This is happening relatively rapidly then. Yeah, 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 yeah. He is really I guess he feels like he's got his fan he's found his people, you know. Yeah. Okay. Using a previous image for the foundation, I colored and cut out what I learned online is the paper child technique. Oh, brother. At least this is my first attempt at it. This isn't, you know, he's being very creative. He's, you know, he's going back to going back to people, uh, you know, uh, faking the fairy sightings and such. Okay. Saturday was once again my turn to babysit Dewdrop. It was raining, so I decided to keep her and Blueberry indoors. I had filled a plastic cat's litter box half full of cornmeal and set the two diminutive blue infants inside. The minute creatures were initially bewildered, but again, like they just have to emphasize. Like, he needs to I emphasize always the size. emphasizing how tiny. Yum. Yeah. The minute creatures were initially bewildered by the way their tiny hands and knees would sink slightly into the cornmeal whenever they attempted to crawl about. Eventually, though, they became accustomed to this unusual environment and were soon romping through the ground meal, squealing with glee as they flung tiny handfuls of the coarse yellow granules outside the litter box and onto the floor. You know, this kind of reminds me. I love the way in, um, y you remember... Uh, Studio Ghibli's rendition of the Borrowers. I think it was called Arietti. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. She liked the I, clothespin I, hair clip thingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I love, I love the way that that, that um, fluid dynamics worked at the smaller scale. You remember, <laughs> like they, they would pour tea from from a teapot, and it would just be one big drop of oh, water. Oh yeah, the because... big yeah. globules yeah. that just look like, so delicious. Uh, mm -hmm. There's got to be like a VR world that like imitates that. Exactly. There's got to be. There has oh, to be. 
I, I would love I would love to go on like a VR tour of, of different Actually, places you, like, with do you. Do you have VR? Do you have VR? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh shit, dude. Yeah. 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 That I opens up a whole not. world of collabs. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I, I have an index. I love VR. Love oh, my excellent. index. I have Actually, um, th there is a game that I that I love in VR. I chat knows I have to bring this up. Have you guys heard of Rumble? I have not. No, I don't think so. Let me let me fucking show you. It is so cool. Hold on. Rumble. Here we go. It is competitive VR earth bending. <gasps> what? That sounds crazy. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Uh. This is an old video, but like the mechanics are still pretty much the same. Look at this shit. That's crazy. This looks awesome. <laughs> oh, God. oh, that's definitely hitting a wall. The most cardiovascularly Check this out. intense video game ever made how are you let me let, let me let me actually find some um some actual gameplay like so, some yeah yeah combat. i want to i want to find this there, there was a particular person that that was very good who i enjoyed what was their name damn it that's biven uh shoot hold on Competitive, come on! I need to, I need to find this. That there was a particular person. Biven is very, very good, like obscenely good. Trevantis, that's, cool. that's who I was looking for. Yeah, check this out. We're going on a tangent, and I don't apologize. We love a tangent. No, we love tangents. We live for tangents. We were born in tangents. And we were. <laughs> but yeah, you like summon up rocks and then um Oh that's sick the way crazy. that you deflect I've and never stuff too. heard of that. Yeah. Yeah, this looks fun. Oh yeah. Trevantis got a lot better over time. Um This is pretty slow actually compared to like how he got here we go. Dude, this is <laughs> It's very, it can get very intense and it's quite the workout. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because VR gets you sweaty just being there, you know? Oh, yeah. Dude, that is so cool. It is, it is so much fun. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. But yeah, the, the way that you do the moves is um, you make poses with your hands. Oh, so you're, go so it you're really going is from like pose you're to like pose. Actually bending. Wow, yeah, so it is yeah. like martial arts, like Naruto. Yeah, very stuff. much so. Like, um, <laughs> like you're, you're making poses. What matters is like the, um, the the pose of your hands and like the location relative to where you're looking. So um, you can summon up rocks like he's doing. Like you pull up walls and and. Uh, stones boulders from the ground and then you can manipulate them like you can see he'll grab one and hover it in front of them Dude, sometimes he'll so um, push it I forward know, I know. it is i would highly recommend giving this a try wouldn't mind checking it out i wouldn't yeah it, it's it's tricky um you'll want a little bit of time to lab to like get used yeah, to the yeah, motions yeah. for sure because it's very easy to like blunder however yeah, yeah, yeah. i will say that um, the movements are quite generous with how far, like where your hands can be positioned. So when you get <laughs> when you get used to them, you can um, you, it can flow. It really starts to flow after a while. Oh, I bet you just feel really cool. Like I bet yeah. you feel so cool. Like kung fu master. Oh, it feels fantastic, especially when you start to um, when you start to get combos down. Because if you do a couple of quick movements in succession, you can really get some of these objects flying. Like something that this yeah. person isn't doing is one of my favorites, which is um, pulling up a wall like like he has right there. 
doing a an uppercut and then a straight to push it and it just sends the wall flying and it's really fun to take walls and send them over other walls when the person is trying to protect themselves it's great <laughs> <laughs> it's so satisfying anyway ha 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 if you if you want to try that sometime i'll, I'll show you guys yeah no that seems cool. yeah this looks fun as hell i will i can teach you if you so desire You'll teach the us basic. the ways of earthbending? Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much fun. Oh my god. Anyways, uh, sorry. Got a little... No, 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 no. There. We love the tangents. <laughs> oh god. Okay. We're going to the paper doll technique, you know? So He's anyway, learning a new now craft we have and everything. He's, he's improving just, just for the love of Smurfs. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of look, thinking about the big screen VR. Um, what that, the, like the, the tiny VR headset. I'm kind yeah. of thinking about it, but like I also kind of want a headset with eye tracking for streams. Yeah, eventually. yeah, that's like something an, that I really, tracking. I really want eye tracking eventually because. You know, you learn how to puppeteer to an extent, but, uh... Right. I, you know, I, the eye tracking would just add that next level. Yeah, mm -hmm. to make it look, like, really natural. Yeah, yeah. Like, if I were to get a big screen VR headset, that would be for me. Like, personally. Yeah, yeah, Whereas yeah. A, um, a headset with eye tracking and face tracking would be for stream as well. And it's like, mmm... I especially with all of the money that people like were so generous with uh, on my birthday, like for the but new yeah. rig, I want to yeah. spend it on stuff for stream, right? Like stuff that yeah, will help 100%. me stream, right? That, that's going into a rig, right? And and like I want to make sure that there is a clear stream use. So like, oh yeah, content the big, machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I raise enough for a forty ninety. Beautiful. Congratulations. Yeah. That, that's what we're planning on getting. I, I've got some of some of my viewers actually helping me get all the parts, and I'm gonna run it by everyone. Oh, good, oh good, good. God. That's what I would have the to do. I basically so... have to get them to help me. Yeah, they're so mm. sweet because whenever I have issues, they're always like, "Hey, have you tried this? Hey, you should pick this up. Hey, it might be this is the problem." Everyone is always so helpful. Whenever, and I'm so dumb when mm. it comes to computer stuff. It's just <laughs> so nice. <laughs> I I definitely my computer. I'm using a 1070 right now. Like my computer is That's pretty be old. That's such an upgrade! Holy crap! I know. I'm so excited. I'll, I'll be able to play Total Warhammer 3 without it getting horrifically framey. Yay! <laughs> but I I know how to put computers together. I'm pretty knowledgeable. Um, I just don't know the market right now, and so I'm getting a lot of help yeah, yeah. there. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm. And yes, Grizzly Boar, actually, I am talking with a few people. Tank Facts is there helping. Um, and we have another person there helping. Uh, we're planning on trying to leave the possibility for using my current PC as a streaming PC. Oh, yeah. That's and then have the other go. PC for, like, games or whatever gaming I'm doing on like it. That. The dual yeah. PC setup, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Eventually. So, I, I'm... I'm kind of stalling because we have diapers okay. coming up. Uh, I mean, they are babies. They don't, fo again, there's not like a big poopy diaper focus. Yeah, if you're worried about that, it, there's yeah. not that. There's it's no like, like scat that they're or anything. Babies. Yeah, there's no scat, but they're Diapers like they're are babies. only brought up in the context of them being babies. Yeah, okay. and like taking care of them. Okay. I don't don't do well with that shit. I don't. No, I definitely understand. Yeah, same. <laughs> Later that day, my attention was drawn back to the Im improvised playpen when I heard one of the baby Smurfs begin to cry. As I went over to investigate, I smelled rather than saw what was the matter. Dewdrop needed a diaper change and probably a bath as well. I plucked Dewdrop out of the playpen and peeling off her lavender pajamas discovered the offending diaper. I unfastened the safety pin as she twisted in my grasp. Only when I'd removed the soiled bit of cloth from her did she cease her sniveling. Blueberry stared questioningly up at me, wondering why I'd taken away his playmate. I'll bring her back in one piece, Blueberry, I assured him with a grin. This kind of writing 
is very self-indulgent. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, this could be condensed so much. This is about the pleasure of in, of indulging in uh, thinking about the act of doing it. Yes. yes. He wants his full, mm. like, lang he wants to languish and lay and use all of it's his adjectives mm. yeah. and, you know, go through the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. And he's going to kind of take, like, a weird tone with his writing soon. And I won't, I won't quite spoil what it is yet. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah, but it's going to be pretty obvious when we get to it. <laughs> Good. I carried Dewdrop with me into the bathroom. The frisky little creature's tail was all a quiver with excitement as I held her tiny figure under a stream of warm water from the bathroom sink. Dewdrop emitted tiny squeaks of enjoyment as the hypoallergenic vegan soap covered her delicate blue skin with fragrant suds. She giggled as she waved her arms, trying to pop some of the bubbles floating in the air about her with tiny blue fingers. Tiny giggle, giggle, tiny, small, teeny, tiny, giggle, giggle. When it came time to wash little dewdrop's face, the poor thing started bawling and squirming hysterically, when I inadvertently got soap in her eyes. There simply wasn't anything such as a no-tears formula when it came to baby smurfs. So sensitive were their little eyes. Oh, tear-free <laughs> shampoo was all bullshit. Shit. Yeah, of like, course. Th 100%. There has never actually been tear free shampoo. No. It's all horse shit. <laughs> it always makes you cry. She tried frantically to rub her stinging peepers with tiny bald fists, so I pinned her hands behind her back and held her face upside down under the faucet to rinse the soap off. I drenched her little smurf hat in the process, but at least I had learned from experience with rinsing blueberry this way that the baby smurf wouldn't accidentally inhale any water and choke. Ugh. It seemed that... <laughs> It seemed that all baby smurfs were very insecure without their hats on at all times, and this made bathing them all the more challenging. Of course. Even eventually, the little creature's sobbing subsided as I finished rinsing all the suds off of its blue skin. After I used a washcloth to dry the baby smurf, I comforted her with a gentle squeeze of the little smurf's soft tail between my thumb and forefinger. You see, Dewdrop, you're okay, and all nice and squeaky clean, I exclaimed, giving one of her tiny hands a reassuring squeeze as well as the baby's as well as the baby smurf sat in the palm of my hand and gazed up at, wait, what is that sentence? Of giving his mini one of her strokes. tiny hands Yeah, no, that 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 sentence was fucked. I placed a fresh diaper on her and pulled on clean pair of lavender pajamas. Blueberry squeaked and clapped his little hands when I finally dropped his playmate back into the litter box. This is, this bad grammar is weird because his grammar's been, I mean, you know, besides some common grammatical yeah, mistakes, yeah. been mostly fine. He's getting real excited. He's Yeah, he's just trying to... He didn't have time to proofread this. He just wanted to post it, get the feedback. And he was really excited because he came up with this new way to make it look like he was really holding a baby Smurf, you know? This is new tech that dropped. He was just excited about this. More excited Yeah, about and see, it's like, yeah. he's got perspective. Yeah. You can kind of see his reflection in there, not to dox the guy, but you could kind of see him right yeah. there. In the, in the yeah. faucet. Yeah, yeah. He's... He's holding the Smurf like... In like hand? someone showing off a weird bone that they dug up in like oh, of in course. like a park. Yeah, yeah. Right, like I mean, look, look at this. It's his right? namesake. Like he is Smurf in hand. This is literally yeah. his calling card. Are you saying he's not gonna have a Smurf in hand? You know, exactly. He, he, like the, the way he's curling his hand. I can't explain it, but it looks like he feels disgusted by it. Like he's trying like to get his little it. dirt on It's like on the his Evangelion Shinji scene. You know uh, what? Yeah. Even, <laughs> e even more than that, it looks like it looks like, like, and I understand. You know, he's putting it in in post, but it's like a hover hand. Oh yeah, Hold yeah, yeah. On, yeah, yeah. I, I like the curl font. Just to, to and, and the border. He does he does process his photos afterwards. You know. Right. I, I'm try. I, I know what this reminds me of. Hold on a second. This. 
It reminds me of this. <laughs> Do you guys know Justin RPG? I don't, but is that his girlfriend Shiva? You well, bet it is. Holy uh, hell! Again. What a ladies man! Holy hell! Don't let Moltres see that. You got. I am so amazed that you guys have never heard of Justin RPG. He makes. Know the him? I love best. his music. It's beautiful. Okay, you know, uh, but yes. Koki doesn't. No, nah, not familiar at all. Okay, we meet. We have to take a small diversion for this. He, he, he. Of course, of course. Take her, take her, lead her through. Beautiful song. I love Ah. <laughs> I love. Loves Reshiram. <laughs> Pressure Even did it like life size. Yeah. Pressure Ram. 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 Not the backing track. You want to like hear what his, you want to hear what his actual like backing tracks that he makes himself sound yeah, like. I think so because I thought he did. Whoa, God! Yeah. I don't think so. I do not think so. Love each other. 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 Oh, that's why everybody was saying love, love each other, other in your chat. Yeah, love each other. Ah, love each other. Yeah. He made a chorus of himself. Yeah. It's a duet with him and Reshiram. That's Reshiram's cry. Yeah. Ah. A very beautiful thing. Love. It really almost brings a tear to your eye. This is what Justin RPG's music, like, when he makes the backing track, this is what it sounds like. I kind of like it. Well, I don't know why I came here tonight. I got a feeling that something ain't right. Oh my God! My Pokemon, I don't like it, and I'm wondering how I'll protest so well. I have an idea. Luke, you'll eat me. So I'm stuck in Lugia's stomach. That's a you know a very good yes, VR I'm chat world. The inside Lugia stomach. stomach. You fucking know it. Yeah, like yeah. No. I am a oh my god. So I am such a purveyor of odd VR chat worlds. Oh my god, bless you. You ever been to Big Byron? No. Ah. Uh, ah, I think I found a uh, we found a destination. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You ever been to the gym bus? The gym bus. I don't think I've been to the gym bus. Oh, I think you'll like yo. the bus. I mm -hmm. think you're gonna love yeah. the bus. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think you're gonna love the bus. I'm getting spaghetti bobbed on my own stream. Oh boy, you're still. We're still bobbing for the spaghetti. We're just now. We are. We're almost done with page two. Oh my god. Yeah, we need. Oh. I just. I. I feel like at some point we gotta like skim some. Like skim some. Right. I think the skimming, I think as long as we just like, you don't really need the in-between comments pretty much because they're right. all pretty much the same. As long as we, if we just skip directly to his posts, I think it'll definitely like pick up. Right, yeah. Blueberry oh, pie. Boy. I have been gone for only a minute before returning to the kitchen to spray the whipped cream atop a cream pie I had made to take to my compatriot at the Blue Moon Nursery. As I picked it up to place into the refrigerator, a strange thought struck me. It was awfully quiet. Where was Blueberry? Then I remembered that I had absentmindedly taken him out of my shirt pocket and had set him on the counter beside the pie. 
I suddenly heard a fit of coughing as a tiny blue head popped through the surface of the whipped cream. The baby Smurf's bewildered expression made me laugh with relief. That was a close call, I, ex I exclaimed. I wasn't intending to make a blueberry pie. Ha 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 that whole, like, you know he came up with that joke and he thought it was so good that he had to, like, make this whole scenario around it. Oh, yeah. Very, he felt very clever. Oh, yeah. We're getting a few more people coming in. We I wanna, are. I see this and I'm like, what is this? Is I this know, archive? I know. Mm, do we tug on this thread? I think it might, I feel like I've clicked it. I think it, let me see. I think it might be open still. Oh, please okay. God. Oh, oh boy, it is. Oh boy, but it, oh my God. The most recent update is September 15th, 2023. What? Love to see it. I love to see it. Okay, I gotta see this. The Raven wow. Child, there it is. <gasps> wow. They did animations and stuff too. They, they did, do. yeah. Wow. Oh. Look at that. Look at this. Freelance for hire. Okay. Electric Lips. Is this like their adult store? Electric Lips? Not risking it. No. Well, they, okay, they what have an orc. Fuck? They have an orc comic called, uh, Zug smashing stereotypes one quest at a time. Okay. Got it. Oh, it's like justice Zug for the orcs. friendly arc. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. The animation is pretty good, honestly. The way that it's like bobbing and stuff, like yeah, it's not bad. It, yeah. it kind of has a um. It does look a little hellish. A little bit, yeah. It it has that old flash feeling because of all yeah. the gradients. It's the gradients that yeah. really come. Not a lot of it's animation principles. Mm -hmm. It's cool motion. Like not a lot of animation principles being used. Like it feels kind of choppy because of it. This is very clearly like a self-taught person. Yeah, I mean that's really good for self-taught. Honestly, I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not bad. A small pit stop, but not a wholly unpleasant yeah, one. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Peekaboo, we see you again. It's a blueberry pro. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is this. Hold on. This is just him talking about how squishy the diaper is. Yeah, don't worry. It's fair. not like a loaded. It's so no, you I, can... I, I get you, but like, there is. I'm putting it on. Oh, go you for it. Because, it on. because, it on. oh boy, oh boy, the, this page the, does have a doozy on it. I won't say where, but we'll get there. A oh, soft this? and yeah. squishy okay. blueberry. One rainy afternoon as I watched Blueberry sitting and babbling unintelligibly on the living room floor, I decided to check his diaper before getting ready to wash a load of laundry. My lady friend had just returned the wee baby Smurf after taking her turn to babysit him while I ran some out of town errands. Upon touching the diaper to feel for wetness, I took the liberty of giving his tail a customary squeeze as well, but one simply wasn't enough this time. I exclaimed, pardon me Blueberry, but the way you look sitting there right now and prattling in your little Smurf baby talk is just too irresistible. Yeah. Blueberry stared over his shoulder at me in bewilderment as I commenced to repeatedly mash down on his plump little blue tail and diapered rump, pinning it to the floor and driving tiny squeaks from the little creature as if he were some pet's rubber squeeze toy. The little creature's blue tail flattened like a pancake under the pressure of my index finger, but as soon as I released it, the resilient appendage and equally soft and pliable rear end would spring right back into their original shape. You are ten times better than a whole package of Charmin bathroom tissue, I proclaimed in conclusion. At that moment, I half expected Mr. Whipple to walk into the room and say, Don't squeeze the baby Smurf in admonishment. Blueberry blinked up at me with a rather puzzled look on his face, making me laugh. Alright. 
Now you want to keep the music on for the next yeah. two Smurf and Hand posts, uh -huh. honestly. You might just want to leave it on repeat yeah. from here on out, uh, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> honestly. Need... If you want to take a look at the GIF attached to that post with the paragraphs, I think that'll uh, sum up your mental state. After the- no, 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 not that one. Oh. Oh boy, yeah, you can tell by the darkness. Go on. Go on, there you go. Uh, yeah. Wow. Don't yep. like that. Carry on, Fred. I woke up at the screech of a smoke detector. Flicking the light on, I tried to ascertain the origin of the fire, but it was soon apparent that there was none. The low battery warning had triggered the alarm. After shutting off the smoke detector, I found Blueberry rolled into a little blue ball on the floor, gripping his pajama-clad feet tightly with his little tiny with his tiny face buried between his legs and trembling. I could see his little round blue tail poking through the seat of his PJs. I tried to pry the terror-stricken little creature's hands away from his feet and unroll him, but he started shrieking so hysterically that I stopped. Perplexed, I watched the baby smurf in the throes of debilitating fear. Every time I tried to touch him, he'd flinch and cry out. Blueberry remained in that state for nearly an hour before he finally had the courage to lift his head. I ventured to pick him up at this point and encountered no resistance. Placing him into his sleeping sock, I watched over him as slumber finally overtook the poor exhausted little thing. Apparently the human world, no matter how much I tried to make accommodations, was at times too much for the, the wee blue infant. For the first time I started to wonder if perhaps baby blueberry smurf would be better off elsewhere. Hey Rev, I hate this. Rev, oh uh, my god, welcome. Okay, so How are you doing? Rev's a great one. Met him oh, met Rev him during great. Minecraft. Uh beautiful oh. rabbit hole we're in here. Uh yeah. th this is my personal hell that I install on people called uh the Smurf and Hand story. I'm downloading pain. Yes. <laughs> There's okay. Hold on. That there is something I think that would work. Uh Ixian. Um, here we go. The Piranesi theme from Ixian. Oh boy. Now guess. Now his next post is uh, just a few down. And it says, At last I'll explain the ecology of the Smurfs in my alternate world. And uh, Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh uh, yeah. 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 Oh boy. I love, I love the Smurf ecology system that this man's created. So he spent, he had to spend so much time thinking of this. It's probably kept him awake at night for nights on end. Hold on. Uh, is this the track I'm looking for? Oh no, you're good. No, not quite. Uh, I'm looking for something. Is it this? Something to set the mood for learning yeah. about deep Smurf ecology. Yeah, exactly. Just uh, something to, to go along with this. To pair nicely like a fine wine. Yeah. Swish Ooh. it around in your glass. Check out the legs on it, you know? Exactly. Yeah, y you know what? You know what? I think this track will do. Here we go. Boy. Poor little thing, yep. If the human world weren't such a weird one. Haha, I totally don't relate to humans. I only relate to Smurfs. Only to Smurfs. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a lot to take in. Wait, yeah. I... At last, I'll explain the ecology of the Smurfs of my alternate world. Squeaky Smurf, in part two of this chapter, Tatteret will actually meet, talk to, and handle Dewdrop and Blueberry. Tattleret. This is, gives me more time to study how to draw Raven's character. Wait, are these? Yeah, As look. Raven is entering the universe. Yeah, they're, uh -huh. yeah, right. He's adding people in. Like is making it real, and, and we already the web established is getting that tangled. we already established that this website is in universe as well. Yes, yes. 
Raven child, I had to use some of your drawing to trace since I'm not yet really that proficient at drawing and it would take too long to develop a likeness entirely on my own. I just realized AI art is probably like the fucking Garden of Eden oh for these my people. Oh my god. I don't even I don't even know what they think about AI art. Because like I these would love to know. I bet that they have AI art. I'm gonna look on the forums while we're we're doing this. I'm gonna <laughs> dig around and see if they're already in the AI art stuff yet. This, this the, because this this kind of person, this kind of enthusiast, isn't interested in anything um, original. They're interested in stereotypical. Yeah, that's what they're looking for. And that's what AI does good. Yeah, <laughs> right. It, it like it does it does stereotypical very very well. Um, I keep bringing it up. I need to watch it on stream sometime, but there is a, um, a very good miniature documentary called Flowers Blooming Backward Into Noise that talks about the, uh, uh, talks about how AI models, um, create images by using noise and, huh. uh, and training data. And then, um, and then working up uh, and then some of the problems with this because like it, it talks about uh the similarity between the way that ai generates um stereotypical images based on all of the input um and likening that to eugenics and there is some overlap there and this this is this oh, isn't just what? like well this oh, isn't I can just see someone it. I talking can see it. that makes sense right like the idea being like we are going to take away every nuance and we are going to give you the stereotypical flower, not like yeah. a unique flower or like the many different kinds of flower. We are going to give you the stereotypical one, right? Like there is yeah. no room for anything except the most average. Um, I totally get what you're saying. It's, and, and like, th this isn't just someone talking out of his ass either. Like this is a PhD in the subject, right? Like th this is someone studied. He is very uh, critical. <laughs> Would recommend, by the way. Um, Definitely check it out. It's the, the problem. The problem is uh, you get stereotype with AI because it goes with the greatest volume of tra training that data. That makes sense. Yeah. It's the a problem that, it's that you. It's a. It, that data. is the. That is probably the one problem that AI won't ever be able to solve. Is that um, algorithms like this are reliant upon the data that is fed to them and the data that is fed to them is coming from biased humans mm -hmm. that is always the problem that has always been the problem with um with algorithms like algorithms that are used to determine how um to determine bail for example for people like huh? it's like oh it's fair because it's it's an algorithm taking all of this stuff into account but the data it's being fed is biased yeah, yeah, that yeah, I totally get what you're saying. I know I keep saying that, but I'm like, yeah, no, I get it, I get it. I understand oh. the, the concept now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, the so the song that we were just listening to, it's from the Ixian soundtrack. Um, that track was called 11 minus 273 degrees. This. Yeah, it, I, I'm using it. It fits the, everything so perfectly that this I performs. Love, so who knew it would yeah. pair together so well? I love the Ixian soundtrack. It's so good. Um, anyway, he, he, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just interested. I, I go off on little. Oh, you're so. good. No, it's okay. good. Again, we good love too. the it's tangent perfect. and we're learning. We are all okay. learning. Oh, it's a severe problem with AI medicine. Oh, that's terrifying. Ooh, ooh, don't like that. My lady friend from the Blue Moon Nursery and I found out about a conference hosted in part by Smurf, Smurfs Matters Understanding and Relations Foundation. <laughs> the organization was a new NGO set up to address the issues involving Smurf human interactions, limited as they were. We took my car. Blueberry and Dewdrop sat in the back, snugly in a special car seat that my friend devised. She truly had a knack for making small items. It was a three-hour drive further up the coast from the nursery to the conference center. I'm gonna... Here, we'll do this one. Security was tight, and I had to register and pass through a metal detector. Also, I wasn't allowed to bring any container large enough to keep a smurf hidden in. <laughs> as one does, as one does. You know, no concealed Can't smurfs. Smuggling smurfs, right. yeah. 
<laughs> Smuggle and Smurf sounds like <laughs> it, it sounds like a uh, a strain of weed. Smuggle and Smurf, it does, it does actually. I'm on their Broward County Tic Tacs. I'm on them Smuggle and Smurf. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah. We're smoking filtered <laughs> crack, you stupid piece of shit. <laughs> Apparently, the single greatest human threat towards Smurfs was trafficking, especially of baby Smurfs due to their exceptional rarity. We were allowed to bring our respective baby Smurfs in with us. Amongst a crowd of philanthropists, zoologists, and politicians, my companion and I received much attention, for we were the only ones in possession of a baby Smurf. My friend waved some onlookers off as we made our way toward our reserved seats. Our shy baby smurfs weren't used to the sight of so many humans in one place, and they clung fearfully to each other in Dewdrop's little wicker baby carrier. I'm just imagining, like, uh, pi um, Mary and Pippin being, like, carted off to the Entmoot. <laughs> They're just so tiny like the smurfs are just so small. they're so small they're very tiny they're like, very they're tiny so they're very small. small they're small tiny tiny small uh they're so tiny and small lilliputian hina hi hina hi hina how are you doing i love a hina bovina yeah we appreciate hina in this house <laughs> Is the music too loud, by the way? No, it's just not perfect. It's end. just low. Actually, I think we can adjust it further, but like, mine was perfect. <laughs> there. Okay. When the speaker was introduced, I at first couldn't see anything, but then something small climbed onto the podium, and suddenly an image materialized onto the auditorium's large projector screen. Magnified on it 100-fold was the speaker, a tiny blue-skinned woman wearing a pink dress, shoes, and signature Smurf cap. The speaker was a Smurfette. So that's what an adult Smurf looked like. The petite creature introduced herself. Smurfy afternoon, my name is Tattlerette. I imagine most of you are here because you want to better understand Smurfs and the consequences of recent human-Smurf relations, which only began to have significant impact less than a decade ago. It's like the writing laws for the Smurfs. Right, like, like I, I think that this is what it is. Um, he's passing, think... he's passing bills. The legislature and whatnot. <laughs> We need protections. Um, do, do you think that they're legally allowed to like? They, they, they're their own territory, independent. Is is it kind of like Native American land? Are they allowed to like have tiny casinos on them? I think we have put the Smurfs on reservations because we'd have to. They're too much of a liability to be out out of their reservations and out of their pens because they're so small they're that so we little. would trample oh God. them. Oh they gosh. can't survive outside of their designated areas. Yeah, so as long right. as they're in their designated area, it's like killing a praying mantis, you'll get like fine. But if they're in like, you know, Utah, whatever, <laughs> it's fine. You know what I mean? Because they've escaped custody. their pen. Yeah. What? They need protective custody. They're an endangered species. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. This isn't though, come on. If you think there's anything weird about putting Smurfs in their designated area to keep the Smurfs safe and certainly not to keep the Smurfs away from us, then uh -huh. you're the sicko, you know, of course. I, I am certain, I am certain that this is going to be handled with utmost sensitivity and consideration. Yes, yes. I imagine most of, yeah, uh, the azure complexioned Thumbelina then commenced her speech with remarkable articulation. She began with the sporadic interactions between man and Smurf during centuries past. The significant incidents didn't occur until satellite images began finding Smurf villages all over the globe. Hold the fuck on, aren't they tiny? Well, obviously the space satellites, which are obviously strong enough to spy into your house, can yep. obviously zoom in and see every blade of grass in your backyard, so they can obviously see the Smurf villages. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, I... from space. <laughs> 
She mentioned the incidents of a dozen villages being discovered by poachers or smugglers, and how Smurfs had become the new hot item in the exotic pet market, especially baby Smurfs. She also mentioned international resolutions to define the basic rights of Smurfs in order to help protect them from abuse. Nothing had been made official, but a handful of biolabs had made an agreement not to use Smurfs for science experiments. So they said biolabs, and I immediately was like, excuse me, in vitro Smurfs? Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Humans oh my giving God. birth to Smurfs, that would be so... Oh, boy. Have you... No, have you guys heard of Bistro in vitro? No, never. Oh. Never in my life. Everyone? Let's hear Should it. we... Should we show them the throat tickler? What is... You it's can't the throat just say tickler. that and yeah. not expect us to have curiosity. What is the throat tickler? Bistro in vitro is a fake restaurant. That, that For it babies is, in the it is an art. It, it is an art. No, it, it is an art exhibit, like an online art exhibit, where they explore the possibilities of in vitro meat, lab grown meat. Okay. Ah. And uh, they look at some of the culinary possibilities. Uh, let's take a look at the menu. There are so many of them. Uh, but there is one in particular that stands out. Okay. The throat tickler. Oh, that thing. Oh, that's... Alright. I feel like I... How was... Oh, boy. This unique creature is wet, slippery, and wriggly, and occupies the gray area between a sea anemone and a sex toy. The oh, throat yes. tickler beckons from your plate with its come-hither motions and clings to your lips as you slurp it down. Because they have no organs or nervous system, throat ticklers are not truly alive. Their seductive movement is caused by sodium altering the voltage differentials across cell membranes, causing the muscle tissue to contract. A dash of salty soy sauce gives the throat tickler's tentacles a sensual surge. Never before has a tickle in your throat been quite such a hedonistic experience. All right. Very odd. I can't, but it also says it's a dessert, so it just makes me wonder, like, what does it taste like? Maybe like a fruit roll-up, you know, it's that same color strawberry red. Maybe. But it's showing the person eating it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I don't like that one bit. It's got to go down faster. It's, it's taking its time, you know, for you. She's really struggling with that, too. She was, yeah. I This this shot has all the energy of, like, something from Doctor Who. It's got, like, a very, like, uh, sci-fi TV show feel. Yeah, definitely like British sci-fi TV show. That, that we should we should take a we should take time to like look through all of these. I think you'd appreciate this. All this meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does these are really, really good. Yeah. No, it, it it's a really fun sort of like thought experiment. <laughs> what was this you just put in the group chat? Oh, I was looking for the AI art and I didn't I didn't find it, but there was just some like just funny guy art. I just I really liked how that was like, oh, I don't know if this is controversial because the bit. OK, so basically it was so hard and weird. Uh, it, oh, this is totally fetish. This is fetish stuff. But, I mean, look, he's like he's in a cast. He's, he can't move that much. His mobility has gone. He's the size of a human. But the, the, the caption on it is is specifically, it, I just got a giggle out of it. It's based on my fanfic where a human size potion exists. Honestly, I feel, I feel so weird with such a thing in my universe, maybe because I've seen similar things in other fanfics, and I'm not sure if the idea is controversial like, or not or whatever. Con controversial. <laughs> yeah, the, come the, does he the think doctor. The Smurfs rights committee is real. Right, or like, or I, I think, I love that idea, but I also love the idea of there being infighting in the Smurf community about the idea of human-sized Smurfs. I love that too. That, yeah, that yeah, is... truly. It's like, what's more controversial, human-sized Smurfs or Smurf-sized people? Oh. Mm. That's the kind of question that will make all the people on the forums make this face. 
Yeah, this it doctor looks like, looks an like adult this swim guy. show or something, or it like does. a web comic. I was gonna he say does. this guy, this doctor looks like he deals with this Smurf a lot, and the Smurf's super psychosomatic, and he's like, tired of his just shit. Running like, today, he's done with just, him. I don't know. I think it's like the flowers, but what if it's like a brain aneurysm, and the doctor's just like, look, you're gonna be fine, dude. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> Wiki how are it? Oh, yeah, maybe. Wiki how are. Oh wiki my how god, dear. I, I want to do more Wiki how with Mike. We'll sometimes like go through weird ass Wiki how articles. <gasps> Good That's time. Cool. I did oh, something so like that, fun. but I redrew VTubers in the Wiki how pictures. Oh my god. And it was really. That's silly. so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, you could you could fuck with people like that, like how to make your dick bigger, and you just like get get Ethel in there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, mentioned the incidents of a dozen villages being discovered. She also mentioned international re resolutions to define the basic rights of Smurfs in order to help protect them from abuse. Nothing had been made official, but a handful of bio labs had made an agreement not to use Smurfs for science experiments. The music is too angelic. You're probably right. <laughs> How about this? Is this what I'm looking for? Still too pretty. Still too pretty. What about this? Ooh, this is eerie. You could do politics to this, I think. Yeah, yeah. I thought back to the day I had found Blueberry in that box meant for a lab nearby, and shuddered to think what might have been. Driving past, I had seen the laboratory picketed by animal rights groups on several occasions. I love, I love the idea that it's animal rights groups fighting for Smurfs. But I needed right, the like, Smurf representative. Like, no one can agree if they're people or animals in this universe. Like, right. I think that's a big problem. No one can agree. Right, yeah. It's We were talking about this earlier, how Smurfs sort of are in that liminal space between animal and human. It, it, it I love the implicate. I think about being a Smurf inside, like looking out the window and there's like an animal rights group being like, Smurfs are people just like cows that's and chickens. So funny. <laughs> That'd be so, I, like, like arguing at, like, use more humane methods to slaughter them. <laughs> They're like sentient creatures oh, looking out God. like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, where fucking, where was I? Nothing had been made official, but a handful of bio, oh yeah, I thought back to, oh, da da da, when Tatter, when Tattleret at last reached the topic of baby smurfs, I was especially attentive. It's unknown where baby Smurfs actually come from or even how they come into being, except that it's by some type of enchantment. What is known, that they are always delivered to a Smurf village by a stork. There are two things that seem to cause such an event. The first is the astronomical <laughs> phenomenon known as a blue moon. It's said that on the night of a blue moon, a baby Smurf or even twin baby Smurfs come to a village where love is most needed. It sounded very beautiful. The other way, she continued, is loosely referred to as signaling the stork, which is performed by a married smurf and smurfette in private. I'm sure all of you know what I mean. Okay. Smurfs this is... canonically have sex after marriage. Only, oh yeah, when a married smurf and smurfette love each other very much. I like the idea that, uh, the, the idea... I like the idea that Smurfette, like Smurfette, like the Smurfette in the Smurfs is like, it also refers to females of the species. Yes, yes. So it's like, ah, yes, hello there. Like, hello there, Papa Smurf. Oh, oh hello there, Uncle Smurf. Sup, woman. Basically, basically. My but you know what? It's just like real life, truly. Mm -hmm. Woman. Maybe we could invite some women? Uh, let me see. 
We Smurfs appreciate the goodwill of humans like yourselves, since we become rather vulnerable when our evasion techniques fail in the face of modern technology, she concluded. A moment of silence passed, and then Tatteret, Tattleret, oh what a fucking name, Tattleret announced. It has come to my attention that there are two baby Smurfs here in the audience. Would their guardians mind coming on stage so that I could see them? My friend and I stood carrying the wee little blue creatures in the wicker basket. They had been sleeping all the way through, exhausted as they were from the car ride, but suddenly they realized another Smurf stood before them, and they excitedly waved their tiny arms toward Tattleret and crying desperately out in tiny voices. We made our way to the stage as two plainclothes security guards flanked us. Aw, they're racist. Oh god. <laughs> All right. Once more, you got it, Smurf in yeah. hand. Everyone's just being so encouraging. Yeah, they're not they really picking it. up on any of the red flags is the weird thing. They're just kind of like, wow, this is great. Wow, <laughs> naked baby Smurf. Like, they're not understanding this is some deeper madness going on. Right. I, I feel like may maybe they're just glad to have someone making stuff or be there at all. Kind, kind of like how a, a man who has has no experience or like can't get a woman to talk to him will just ignore every red flag yeah because like yeah. oh my god you're talking to me yeah all right. oh oh you, you want you, you said you need like two hundred dollars for like for a taxi back home oh no absolutely like i, I got you covered right that <laughs> yeah exactly yeah 100 yeah that, yeah that sort of shit can I ask how you found this? Um, ask ask these two. <laughs> I had found it somehow, and then I lost it and re-found it again. I wish I could remember how I found it, but oh boy, it's something that I love to keep in my back pocket. I truly do. It's like this this appeared like like that photograph in Memento that says don't believe his lies. Basically. It just basically. appeared in your life. <laughs> It did. It knew what I needed. By the way, um, I, I want to call you. I, I want to call you guys out. Um, if you, if, if you all are enjoying Koki and Meat's presence here, um, they are a part of a group called the Three AM Crew. Oh, thank um, you, thank you. Yeah. And if, if you're liking them, their names are down in the title of the stream. Go and give them a follow. Yeah. Um, their chaotic energy is amazing. Yeah. If you guys are still Love here from all these she's weird another thing. member too. And South. Yeah, and mm. Southside, yes. Yeah. They just had a big debut, actually. Mm -hmm. A big debut weekend. Oh, so please did, go did. go and give these two love. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Might not be saying <laughs> yeah. that's after soon, though, because, okay, so right now we are on page three. Uh, even if you want to, uh, like, condense, we could probably skip this chapter where he's basically just patting himself on the back because he knows how to take care of baby Smurfs so good. Right. Because here we go on page four. Page mm -hmm. five is where I really think you should clinch. Okay. But we're really, we're starting to get into the thickening here. We're getting into okay. the thickening. I'm, I'm skimming. This is very... Okay, this is fascinating, by the way. My computer has been down and I lost all of my previous work and stories, including the latest story. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, again, we, we were talking about how by doing... This person wants to be a saint for doing the thing that they want to do anyway. Right, like I want a baby Smurf to take care of and protect and be small, and they they want to be um, patted on the back, like you were saying, for it. And and this is just more of this, like dick stroking. Now he's getting like validated by an adult female Smurf, you know. Don't you yeah, love when yeah. an adult female Smurf validates you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, very cute. How cute. Uh, squeaky, oh, squeaky Smurf. Oh, responding to them. Right, my computer is working for now. Not even the professionals were able to save my data. I'll download all my works from this site eventually and then save them to multiple media. I have no working CD burner, but I'll find someone who does. Um, 
Dewdrop is the- okay, yeah, someone not reading. Fucking read, bitch. And asking, yeah, yeah, Who read his story. Mm-hmm. Okay. Page four is where we're headed. Thanks, Surf in Hand. Oh, yep. it's just straight into the story now. Yep, oh. yep. He starts speeding up. This one is another one with a couple stories on the same page. And okay. page five is really going to be the start of the full Everything. descent into madness. This oh, is, yeah. uh, this is the, you know, it's, it's a little calm before the storm. Yeah, okay. this, is, this is the last time you're gonna be able to like not have a tight feeling in your chest. <laughs> okay, I, I have um I have Pillar John ready. I good, good. I gotta say, um, is this the beginning of like crazy smurf person, like crazy cat lady style? They're just gathering. Oh, he smurfs. doesn't he doesn't get like a ton of smurfs or anything. But that would have been another direction. That would have been... I think if he stuck around longer than he did, that would have been... There, all of these guys would have had their own threads and everything, I'm sure. Right. Meet Strawberry, the frisky and spunky little baby Smurf needs a loving home. She's very playful and curious, but most of all, she loves to cuddle and have her tiny blue Smurf tail played with. Will you take her home today? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah, all right. She this ad sponsored loves... by Huggies diapers? Sponsored by Huggies. Now available in Baby Smurf. Oh, man. We can give our Baby Smurfs cancer now. And a special hole for the tail. Yeah. I... I'm noticing some repeating themes. Yes, mm -hmm. there are... Mm -hmm. Certainly themes that do Little repeat. Details he likes to focus in on and uh, yeah. really elaborate on in different ways, yeah. I've noticed something. Uh-huh. The posts from Smurf in hand, he's begun to separate replies from the story. The story is just being made as its own post now and you have to yeah, figure it out. Yeah. But it's doing something weird to the reading of it where... It becomes harder to, to discern when they are just replying to people and when the story starts. Like, you can pick it up pretty quickly, but it almost gives the effect of, I am just talking about my life now. Yes, 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 yes. You feel that, like, like the form is starting to suggest that. Not, not like, explicitly, but implicitly. So... You see, just picking up Strawberry... Yep, these strawberry posts are basically strawberry getting adopted. Now, I think where we actually should read is, um, let's see, you're going to see the lovely picture of the three Smurfs that he now owns, you know, sleeping, yep. snuggling. Uh, then the adult Smurf coddling the babies. The Notice, emphasis on both of the tails for this art, mm -hmm, both of them mm -hmm. shows them on full display and even one of them getting played with of course yeah like one of those presenting the tail yeah exactly and then you're gonna go to where it says i decided to introduce a new baby smurf character into the story oh boy another baby smurf that needs healing yeah let me make a quick cup of tea i go feel like it, i'm go going to it. need it you're gonna need it this is it's only gonna get crazy from here. Yeah. It's, it's already crazy. It's only gonna get more crazy. Oh boy. And then. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we We're go. Get to here one it's of our coming. favorite baby soon. One of our favorite babies. This baby, one of our though, favorite babies. is still this one's pretty still good. solid. This is actually a good lead up to the to best. That's baby. what I'm saying. This is the yeah. last like valley, and then we all know page five is just. Uh, st Lord. Right, like the, the, this is um, the, the, you guys are giving me the sign that's like do not like do like it's the cave diving sign. You know, don't go diving. Yeah, in like this there's cave. not treasure here. Do mm. not go. Mm. This is not a place of honor. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Like if you have anything sacred in your room, just move it in the closet for a little bit because like it, mm. everything's gonna get tainted, dude. Uh mm -hmm. uh. Hmm. -huh. Mm. 
there's the music. I decided to introduce a new baby Smurf character into the story. It's a bit long since it's more like two chapters, so it has two pictures. It's about another baby Smurf that needs healing. Pom Pom was the first baby Smurf with a disfigurement that the Blue Moon Nursery had ever acquired. The shy male infant had been abandoned on a country road and found by the son of a farmer. Oh, like a bag of kittens. Like a bag look, of yeah. kittens dumped off on the side of the road in the country. Yep. Look, look, look at uh, on stream. He's like peeking un up underneath. Uh, he is. Oh, God. Because he, he's seen the horrors. He has seen the horrors. Mm-hmm. The road next to the lad's father's farm was a favorite place for humans to dump their unwanted pets. One evening, while the young man was out performing pest control, he chanced upon the angry sound of some small animal fighting, and the agonized shriek of another small creature obviously in pain and distress. From across the road, he saw what appeared to be one rat attacking another rodent. Though both animals were the same size, the screaming rodent wasn't putting up any sort of fight at all. It was simply cowering as the aggressor chewed on the hapless creature's hindquarters. The lad raised his air rifle for a shot, seeing this as an opportunity to take out two pests at once. The lead pellet struck the earth just behind the attacking rodent and sprayed it with dirt. Startled, the rat scurried into the field and out of sight. As the marksman readied a shot for the pest left behind, however, he caught a better glimpse of it in the moonlight and hesitated. Curious, oh he approached God. the creature and was shocked. The tiny thing had no fur, and its skin was blue. Its hands and feet were similar to those of a human, only they had four digits instead of five. I'm leaving the eyes there. The creature made no effort to elude him either. It merely hid its face in its hands as it lay on its stomach, shaking and sobbing. Against his better judgment, he picked it up to examine it more closely. The terrified little being stopped sobbing and removed its humanoid hands from a tiny, tear-streaked face looked up at him. What? Wide-eyed in terror. What? I get the feeling he gets bored writing these toward the end oftentimes, or gets excited to post it. Uh, yeah, I think he gets excited because, I, cause, you know, now that he's got, you know, I think that he's posting a lot more frequently because he's getting a lot of feedback. So I think he's uh. wanting to get, and also he is very close to a crescendo so i think he's excited to right. you know, get some of this yeah. stuff out of the way to pick up the mm -hmm. pace he's rushing yeah, just a like, little bit yeah just it, it, like, it's it's, it's kind of like part. right it, it's like people fast forwarding through porn yeah basically yeah, 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 that yeah, yeah. yeah. he the knows that, that he is setting up for something yeah and this is him like i feel like this is him like turning up the temperature on the water a little bit because you know now we have our first smurf with a disfigurement a disfigurement yeah mm -hmm. exactly and so he's <laughs> he's waiting on bated breath to introduce this concept to you guys. right yeah, yeah because you know right. they, we've already found you know he started you know oh there's a smurf with bruises yeah oh, right. there's a, you know yeah. it's it's been slowly it's escalating yeah, yeah. Slowly he wants yeah. to be their savior forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mm -hmm. like, okay, now, like, I get to save them from progressively worse fates. Exactly. I get to yes, be more, yes, like, yes. but every time, like, the, the dopamine hit is weaker, and so he's got to keep escalating it. Exactly. Yeah, like, it's gotta go every... It's got to go sicker and sicker, yeah. Right, he, he's entering, what, it, what, what is the serial killer term? He's entering berserker mode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's getting there. He's starting to foam at the mouth a little bit. Yeah, and this mm -hmm. is this is that tonal shift that I was, I was kind of talking about earlier where right. you're gonna be like whoa whoa this is pretty dark you know like and yeah. and and he's gonna start uh basically being like that's on you uh isn't that a shame that these people do this like it's gonna be so funny how could my they? brother in christ you are the one writing it <laughs> yeah like, that's literally what it's like it's like you are <laughs> writing it and yeah, he's like it's, it's literally like the eric andre meme where it's exactly. like who shot hannibal yeah and it's like done that and it's like you literally like you shot him you yeah. are shooting them exactly yeah. the smoking gun in hand he's like who could have done something like that welcome in savi by the way hi savi 
<laughs> Thank you so much, everyone coming in. Every, everyone, um, everyone who came in. I know that there are a lot of your regulars in chat right now. Um, that yeah. thanks for coming in. You you all are welcome hey, here. Nuts and meatheads. Yes, I'm glad. <laughs> There's a lot of them that it's been a while since we've done a deep dive on this, and so it's spoken about in whispers always. Mm. But it's a lot of people's first exposure, and it's yeah. again, it's just a fun. Ah, you feel you really feel like you're rappelling down the well here, you know? Right. Yeah. I like we're we're digging up the Onrio. Yeah. And um, and it's starting to get more and more unnerving. Right. I I'm feeling it right now. Yeah. It the tiny thing had no fur and its skin was blue. Its hands and feet were similar to those of a human, only they had four digits instead of five, making them easier to draw and animate. The cre <laughs> the creature made no effort to elude him either. It merely hid its face in its hands as it lay on its stomach, shaking and sobbing. Against his better judgment, he picked it up to examine it more closely. The terrified little being stopped sobbing and removed its humanoid hands from a tiny tear-streaked face looked up at him, wide-eyed in terror. Watching the news about a raid in the area on exotic animal smugglers, he remembered the discovery of a baby smurf and what it looked like. So that was what this thing must also be, he thought, turning the petrified creature to look at it from all sides. Upon studying it, he established two things, that it was a male of the species, it was completely naked, even its smurf hat was missing, and that its fleshy blue tail had been completely chewed off by the rat. Carrying it back home and telling his father, they arranged to send it to a veterinarian. Soon afterward, Pompon was taken in by our nursery. Pom Pom has, we've very much established that the tail soothes the Smurf, the tail right. calms them down, the tail is a, a very big comfort thing. So now they've arguably cut off something very important to this very, smurf. Right. Very yeah, important, like, yeah. Yeah, I, I think that there is, there are things that are universally understood to be, um, to be bad things, right? Like, oh, this, this poor smurf has been beaten and, like, yes, is yes, wrapped yes. up and, and, like, the rope is digging into it. It's like, the, these are more universal, but I think that we're, this does mark a turn in that in that Smurf in hand has built up the importance and um, the comfort of the tail, like you're saying, and now he's beginning to impinge upon it. Exactly. 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 See, he, and it's like, again, this is the beginning of he is not hurting the Smurfs. Yes. Yeah. But yes. this people. rat has chewed off this tail that you have exactly. built up. This would be a very traumatic event for the right. Smurf. Yeah. Right. It's and like you've built it up into this. This what does this remind me of? It I feel like I've I've had a story like there are stories like this where someone creates a problem for a person anonymously and then uh and then comes in to save them from the problem they've created yeah 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 well it, you know it's almost kind of it's you know gaslighting you know yeah, the, yeah 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 i definitely like i remember reading a fantasy book that was just misery porn growing up and i put it down halfway through mm -hmm. fun after a while just, Isn't that the plot of Braid, kind of? <laughs> oh, there's more! My lady friend who worked as a caretaker at the nursery as well as making outfits for the Lilliputian blue babies sewed a tiny blue pom-pom onto the drop seat of the injured Smurf's pajamas to simulate the tale it had lost that traumatizing night. Oh, they're training the Smurf to have, uh, phantom sense. In VR. <laughs> Do you guys have... Oh, I guess that's that. That's quite a question, right? Do you have phantom sense? Uh, in VR, all Sometimes the time. in VR, yeah. VR, it does it to me constantly, yeah. Okay, gotcha. I know... I, I, I'm sorry about... Like, I, I stopped myself because I'm like, wait a minute. That's kind of a personal question for some no, people. No, no, you're... 
you're good. Okay. You're good. Yeah, no, you're good. No, not that. But I mean, that's kind of what VR is all about is like experiencing this thing that's not real, but wanting to experience it as like closely as possible, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. After all the time I've worked here, I've come to realize just how partial baby Smurfs are to their tales and to other Smurfs' tales, she said. It will never be the same for the poor little deer without his actual tail, but this substitute is better than nothing without anything back there at all. A Smurf simply doesn't feel like a Smurf. Oh, God. Yeah. So, like... It this is literally beyond, like it's a dehumanizing, yeah, a desmurfizing yeah, moment. Yeah, mm. you're getting. Th this is like the Smurf equivalent of someone's face being burnt off. Yeah, yeah. it's like that's their what identity. they're trying to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's Ooh. like declawing a cat. Yeah, just like it, oh. just with no purpose. I was about to find out just how right she was. One day that I volunteered in caring for the baby Smurfs at the nursery, I was tasked with bathing the diminutive blue infants. I'd never actually seen Pom Pom without his PJs on. It was my friend's day off and she was undoubtedly enjoying it with her baby dewdrop. I'd brought Blueberry with me. Strawberry reached out with her tiny arms to greet me with a hug when I entered the room. By this time, all of the baby Smurfs had become accustomed to me and knew that I was kind. I took down a clipboard with tasks to be completed and decided that bath time ought to be gotten out of the way so that the little creatures could play, nap, and eat for the rest of my shift. I'd become quite nifty at peeling off the baby Smurf's pajamas, but when I got to Pom Pom, the little creature squeaked and struggled in desperation. At first thinking nothing of it, I stripped him naked and set him on the counter as I began to fill a miniature bathtub. This music is like too much right now. I need, oh, we wait, need something new. Going, you're, are you like it's peeping perfect. the horror right now? I'm pe well, it's like, it, it just keeps going. Um, yeah. We need... Actually... Let's transition. Mm -hmm. I feel like th that that was the sound of the descent, and we are entering the waters now. Okay. So I think it's time. Here we go. At first, thinking nothing of it, I stripped him naked and set him on the counter as I began to fill a miniature bathtub. I was so engaged with getting the water to the proper temperature that I'd failed to notice what was transpiring between Pom Pom and the other baby Smurfs. They were staring at him, and at, and at his rear end in particular. While every Smurfling seemed to realize that Pom Pom lacked a tail, actually seeing his naked posterior was still always a spectacle. Feeling the gaze of his peers, the morose little blue creature first sniffled and then burst into tears of misery as he clutched one of the bathtub toys, a tiny waterproof Smurf doll. Even he was ruefully staring at the misshapen stump that used to be his plump little tail. When I finally turned to look, baby Pom Pom Smurf was sitting in a puddle of his own tears. I hurriedly picked up the poor thing and washed him as fast as I could, pulling his PJs with the false tail back on him before I cleaned any of the other baby Smurfs. Later, as I drove home with Blueberry blissfully nestled in my coat pocket, I thought about little Pom Pom. I began to wonder if there might be a surgical procedure that could, that could at least restore the semblance of a Smurf's tail to the pitiable tiny being. All right. Yes. He is in a puddle of his own tears because everyone pointed and laughed at his misshapen stump of a tail. Oh, yeah. You are disgusting. <laughs> you are weird. It's so... Okay, so here we go. <laughs> now, I want you to... Now, this is, I think, the last Smurf in hand on the page before we okay. really get into the... The waters are going to be up to our knees. Okay. After the after this next section. Oh yeah, I feel like I'm going like caving, and the water is beginning mm -hmm. to rush in. Oh yeah, but he's so deep that he wants to find a surgeon. 
who right. can restore the tail of Pom Pom. Yes, I, I, I need to know where this goes now. The the, the, the tiny they they did surgery on a Smurf. Imagine Smurf jury. Truly. At f- okay. Let me see. At first, I wondered if my own baby blueberry Smurf could heal him, like he had miraculously mentioned to do Drop's troubled heart. The magical wee Smurfling, however, had made no move to help, seeming to be as puzzled at his tailless peer's predicament as the other of the nursery's tiny blue inhabitants. Thinking about it, I realized that of all the possible miracles I've heard of in my lifetime, not one of them ever involved restoring a lost limb. Even in the world of miracles, it appears amputees received short shrift. Until has he heard of Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast could ret- could heal a thousand Smurf tails. Oh. There definitely, there's a clickbait article, I'm sure, already as is. Wait till he finds out about the Blue Moon Nursery. <laughs> Save so many. Why is Mr. Beast not saving the Smurfs? Even the name Pom Pom is a descriptor of its disfigurement. That That's like someone having their face burned off and nicknaming them Melty. Exactly! Exactly! Like, it's, have- it's a, the, like the, they keep dehumanizing him, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I've actually given thought to this. Like, if my face was disfigured, I'd wear a mask. You can get a pretty cool Would mask. Would it be like a president actually, mask or like a cool anonymous mask? or like I'd a... become the Lincoln looker. Oh, Lincoln oh, Awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's sick, yeah. Okay, I, actually, funny enough, no, when I was younger, my face was disfigured. <laughs> a Dude, bit. what happened? Um, you said I, that with I such felt... enthusiasm. <laughs> I, my face is fine now. It, it, it's fine. I just have, I just have some gnarly scars. Um, yeah. I have well, not they're not so gnarly anymore. Now it's just like a white upside down check mark on my forehead mostly. Um, but I, I fell down onto some pretty rough terrain, we'll say. Oh, uh, and then I like it scraped a bunch of skin off. God, at least I'm okay. if only fa- you would have, have had a, a squishy Smurf tail to land on. If only, if only, if uh, only and not my face. <laughs> No, I'd like lean into it, right? You have to. You I've... gotta own it. Yeah. Such a lame way to get like rough facial scars. Just like uh, it's not like oh I fought. It's like no I I I did like this happened in a battle. Now nah, I fell. It's gotta pull like every... the typical like oh you should see the other guy you know. Right. Yeah. You should see the other guy. The other guy was a ramp, and it, <laughs> it, it it's fine. It's doing just fine. <laughs> Still standing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> It's probably still fucking there, knowing that, knowing that school. Anyway, uh, <laughs> okay. After making a few phone calls to various veterinary clinics, I finally found one that would actually examine Pom Pom and see if he could receive a prosthetic tail. Taking Pom Pom to the clinic, I let him ride in my coat pocket with Blueberry. My own adopted baby Smurf had become used to the noise of the car's engine, but Pom Pom hid at the pocket bottom, trembling and whining most of the way. The examination was even worse. Pom Pom squirmed frantically in the grasp of the veterinarian as the naked little creature was poked and prodded with all sorts of devices. Finally came the good news. Yes, I believe we can restore his tail through a technique known as tissue expansion. We can install, insert a small silicon balloon expander back there under the skin and gradually fill it with salt water over a period of time. The Smurf's skin should gradually stretch and grow. Making the balloon roughly the same shape as the creature's tail, it can then be left in to keep the tail's shape. Over the next few weeks, I ferried Pom Pom from the Blue Moon Nursery to the veterinarian and back again for his treatments. Though the procedure was not nearly as uncomfortable as true surgical restoration would have been, and fortunately a mere fraction of the price, (laughs) Pom Pom still screamed whenever his new tail was accidentally bumped another- was accidentally bumped another baby smurf. It would never have the pleasant sensitivity of his original tail, but the taut blue skin was still rather sore at this stage. I discovered that baby Smurfs have an alarmingly low pain threshold. 
No, my God. Whoa. See, yeah. why are you suddenly so concerned? See, it's like he really so does weird. just like, you are the frog in the pot, and he's been like slowly turning Cricking up. Breaking it up a little. Slowly. And then like right about now, you're starting to see a couple bubbles, and you're like, uh-oh. Wait, what? And it's almost too late to turn around, because you're like, where the fuck is this going to go? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, Redline, call that body Dysmurphia. What? <laughs> oh my Perfect. God, he's been suffering. Ban Redline, please. Funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Over the next. Yep, uh, let's see. Uh, I discovered that baby Smurfs, yep, have an alarmingly low pain threshold. No doubt these. Tender little blue beings were never ever meant to be hurt in the first place. Oh my god, see again. For the Smurfs, never ever meant to never be hurt. Meant. What a what a very odd thing to see? just mention. Just they should never ever 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 be hurt. Oh, that's to absolve him of the guilt where he's like, yes, I wrote it. Yes, but I'm not the sicko doing it. That's the people right. in the story. That's why there's villains. Yeah, that's why I'm good. I I can't help but think of the ten speed of God's blood and burial in like yeah. Co Coheed. Yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. We're going ten speed and I got yeah. blood and burial. We are going this, this down. Is, this is buddy. fucking Coheed and Cambria, like the writing writer shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like creating horrible things. <laughs> This, oh my god, that's why this feels familiar. This is literally just Coheed and Cambria's writing writer. No, no, uh, no. Imagine if that's it what is. happened to this person. Because, like, oh what, this is god. 2008? That'd probably line up pretty pretty well, No, honestly. no, no, no. He, oh god, the lead singer of Coheed's way too nice. <laughs> oh, he seems like such a sweetheart. Oh my god. I've seen maybe him live, like, writer. multiple times. Maybe he's not sickle it's, enough. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> He's like the dude is like a wife guy. And oh, like I know. Loves his kids. Such That's a sweet cute. Kid. Mm hmm Like oh. it, it's what he's one of those people you only ever hear good things about. Uh, True. Yeah. Cl uh, Claudio. Bless Claudio. <laughs> Un unfortunately for the Smurfs, the world itself was becoming an increasingly cruel place. When I brought Pom Pom back to the nursery for the last time, I gently set the soft little blue infant down amongst the other baby Smurfs, his new tail poking through the drop seat of his baby PJs. My lady friend had removed the Pom Pom that once served as his tail and namesake, affixing it to the top of his little Smurf hat instead. We'll always call you Pom Pom. Oh, it's like scarred. Uh, yeah. Boy. Yeah, I love that they dangle the pom pom tail that they had over pom pom's head now, like mm. almost as a reminder. Remember, you are broken. Yeah, remember where you came from. <laughs> could I be or be real quick, or do you guys want to take a beer? No, be real quick, like um, one last for before break. the. Yeah, I got. Yeah, it's up to you guys. No, absolutely. But, let, let, let's take a BRB. We're like second break, four and a half hours in. Yeah. Because we are really about to... It's this about, is no turning back as soon as yeah, this page loads. It's, this is... The shit hits the fan on this. Let's okay. take five to brace ourselves. Yeah, okay. guys, go out, yeah. go get some fresh air because it might be the last bit of fresh air you'll be able to muster up. I'm just telling you <laughs> <Yeah>. guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, I will take this advice. Everyone, we're going to take five, uh, and then we're going to fucking dive. <laughs> yes, we will. The we're going yeah. down. We are going we down, down, down to rapture. We're taking you guys down with us. <laughs> we have a phrase for this in this stream. The dark waters rise. Yeah, oh boy, I can't wait. Everyone, stand up. Stretch your legs, stretch your arms, get yourself a stiff drink. We'll be back in a couple of minutes.
it's a good thing I didn't say all those slurs I'll customarily say after I leave my mic.
Oh, we're back. Hello. Oh, boy. We are, are you all ready? Oh, I hope they're ready. We you guys are... get your last look at humanity as you know it, because your world's about to get turned flip upside down, guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. I am clenching <laughs> so hard. Okay, we're going... We're going to swap it up just a little. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Has a tail, yay! I like this. Now he's so happy now that he has a tail. It must feel congratulatory Tooligan. for the writer, right? Like, oh, something bad happened he loves to him. It. But you did a good thing for him. Exactly. I am, yeah, adorable chapter. I, the thing that I'm really interested in is you were talking about how weird this gets. What is the forum's reaction going to be? They are still like thinking it's a cool story. They're still here. No one's concerned yet. Okay. I'm nervous. All right, page five. I decided to wait until I had this whole tale finished from its harsh beginning to happy ending before posting it. I didn't want anyone's last thoughts of this precious, precious baby smurf to have to linger for over a week on the little one's hardships before I provided the conclusion. So considerate of his fans. How kind. It's so kind. The Ordeal. I arrived at the municipal shelter and signed in to enter the area where the animals were being housed. Another SMURF supporter had tipped me off that there was a Smurf baby being held here, and that its treatment by the staff was callous at best. The Blue Moon Nursery had room for one more baby Smurf, and I had been authorized to rescue the little one if possible. Any place with lots of larger animals, especially of cats, made baby Smurfs very nervous, so my lady friend was caring for Blueberry back at the nursery during this excursion. I passed cage after cage of dogs, cats, and rabbits until my guide brought me to a dingy little corner where there sat a small wire cage just big enough for a single hamster. I was stunned by the sight before me. There in the confines of that little cage was an unusually small runt of a baby smurf and an adult smurf. I'd seen a smurfette before when I'd met Tattlerel. Ta Tattleret. Fuck me. I don't know what kind of name it is. Is it supposed to be a pun? I don't know. I have no idea. But this here was a male of the species. The pitiful little baby Smurf had been trying to cover her smooth bare crown with a tuft of mildewed straw from the cage floor. By the forlorn and anxious look in its eyes, the sparse covering provided a poor substitute for the feeling of security baby Smurfs derived from their special little hats. Suddenly conscious of my staring, the grown Smurf's cheeks flushed in shame. The poor little creature had been divested of his traditional white pants and hat for sanitary reasons. I was about to protest the humiliating way that this sentient being was being treated when a new horror commenced to take place as a brutish staff member approached, appeared with a bucket of soapy water, two clothespins, and an extension hose. The Smurf's eyes grew wide in fright, and picking up the naked baby runt, clutched her tightly and backed into the far corner of the cage. You can't smurf this to us again, the tiny blue adult's voice squeaked in protest as the terrified baby Smurf started bawling. The worker ignored its pleas and opening the cage door reached out to grab them. No, not the baby, please. The runty blue infant yelped in pain as she was gripped tightly by one of her soft round ears and wrenched from the arms of her protector. The tiny thing was then repeatedly dunked into and swished around the bucket of soapy water, screeching and spluttering each time her little head broke the water's surface. When the little smurfling was lifted out for the last time, it was affixed to an overhead piece of twine by a clothespin clamped onto her tender pea of a tail. 
Jesus? <laughs> but y why? Y they should never be hurt. They should never be hurt. Never yeah, who would, would hurt them? Who them? would hurt them? Mm -hmm. This isn't right. Who would hurt these? Who would hurt creatures? them? Who? These darling little cherubic little lily pollution little creatures. Who would do this? Complete innocence. Who would rob them of their innocence like this? The adult Smurfs was grabbed next, squirming as he was subjected to the same routine, except that a piece of string was used to bind his wrists behind him, and that he was hung by his bulbous, fleshy nose. Is this supposed to be humorous? Like, is this supposed to be... Is this supposed to be... I, I get the feeling that this is, like, meant to be cartoonish physical humor, but at the same time, they're Fred, being Fred, you held... have not seen the pictures attached to this post. No, this is serious. Oh. This is, like, Apocalypse this Now. Is, this is real serious yeah, hour. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Now. This is no, Koki, this is not Apocalypse Now. This is Jacob's Ladder. They this are is going Jacob's through Ladder it. seriousness. Yes, yes. In the Vietnam hospital. <laughs> Suicide is painless. It brings oh, all man. many changes. And also, can we talk about you can't smurfing do this to us again? Smurfing do this, yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Sorry for those who don't know, the song I was singing was the opening to Mash, which was a a a, a um a situational God. comedy set in Vietnam. L oh man, oh it's such uh -oh. a oh. We lost Mash. meat. Meat is dead. Where am I? I'm here. Am I okay? Ash is great. Uh, uh, I think you need. Yeah, you need to come back in. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm still there. Okay, there we go. I got you. Oh yeah, VTube Studio got you. Come on now. I I didn't I didn't want people to think that I was just like advocating self harm. <laughs> I realize, wait a minute, this is a cultural reference. Yeah, because at the same time, get. like, oh, yeah, I don't yeah. think I've ever, you know, I, of course, I know MASH, but then I, I don't think I've ever actually heard the words to the song. Oh, yeah. The, the, the lyrics are, um, suicide is painless. I knew it was it called brings suicide on many is changes. painless. Yeah. Oh, of course. And, and I can take or leave it as I please. Uh, the game oh, of God. life is hard to play. I'm gonna lose it anyway. <laughs> yes. Someday I'll. Someday the final card I'll play and I'll have nothing more to say. Oh my god. It is dark. It is, it is, it is. I mean, it is a situational comedy set in, um, set in Vietnam, so. Oh my god, I just got slapped with VTuber, VTube Studio Weekly Server Steam Maintenance, maybe close. Oh. I've never seen this. I've never seen that. I've in my never life. seen this. I like how it says, please, uh, please plan your collabs accord accordingly. Accordingly. Well, we could um, well, switch to Fuji's uh, if we need yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, all, you could also go ahead and do like OBS.ninja. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me go ahead and get that up. Or is, did I say Vietnam? I meant Korea. It's, it's the Korean War. Excuse me, not Vietnam. I did I the same thing another <laughs> another time. I like mixed up the Korean and Vietnam War. Oh boy! If you want to keep reading while I'm uh, plopping in, feel free. Yeah, I, I will. I will. Uh, just give me the link, and we'll keep reading for now. Uh, I couldn't even begin to imagine how painful it must be for the Smurf's big tender nose to be so tightly clenched by that clothespin. The adult male Smurf's tears froed flee froed flowed freely. I, I could move my body freely as he sobbed in abject misery. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. The wee little baby Smurf's hysterical sweet squeals tore at my heart. Her soft, sensitive smurf tail was being grotesquely squashed by the clothespin's grip while her delicate, teensy eyes stung from contact with the soapy water. Finally, the man pulled the trigger on the hose's spray head and aiming it drenched the miserable little blue creatures with ice-cold water. He then took down each of the wet, shivering smurfs and dropped them back into their cage. As the baby's crying died down to a pathetic whimper, I spoke up. I need to take this baby smurf to our nursery. She can't survive the treatment in here. I didn't dare overtly protest further, though. I wanted no red tape from these people to impede my rescue effort. You kind of already fucked that up, dude. My oh, no, guide no. respond. 
Hmm? You don't want to impede. Don't want to impede? No, at all, of course. My guide responded, The baby is going to a pet store tomorrow. They already signed for it. He seemed to anticipate my next question. I don't know which shop except that it's local. I left the shelter and immediately began looking up the address and phone numbers of every pet store in the area. I wanted to make sure I found the poor little smurfling before someone bought it. Most people didn't realize how much care a baby smurf required, and after the novelty wore off, they were usually dumped at shelters like this one. I thought that these were rare. I, I, again, I, there's a little bit of inconsistencies, but, you know, he's got his universe and he loves it. Well, I guess. All right, let me give you uh, this link. There's that. Okay. And then the color is... Beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. I thought about the adult Smurf. There wasn't much I could do. I'll, I'll, I'll finish this bit uh, before I get you in. There wasn't much I could do for him at the moment, but while my guide was distracted, I dropped a paperclip into the Smurf's cage. It had a simple-looking lock on it, and perhaps the Smurf could open it. Anywhere had to be better than that place. Oh my god! Uh-huh. Yeah, you said... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh uh, yeah, this is why we were like, brace yourselves, guys. It only gets worse from here, by the way. By the way. Oh, good. Uh, just uh, worse and worse and worse and worse. Oh, my God. From cage to cradle. Yeah. Around oh. the corner, I heard a sharp rapping on glass. Oh, let me get you in. Again, how did we're he, finally like, here. again, him drawing this? Like, this is such a departure from the earlier drawings. It is. It's very different. And it's like, it's, again, uh, it's almost fucked up that he would think like this, where he's like, like, he's coming up with these scenarios. And again, there are worse scenarios coming. But he's worse. thinking oh, about oh, these wow, scenarios worse. where they're like, holding one by the nose and holding one by the tail the and drawing them right. crying. Yeah. And look at the one with the bound arms behind the back, too. And they're completely naked. Braying, hosing them down with cold water? Yeah, this is torture. It's incredible. But again, he, he's not responsible for the sickos that do this to them, alright? That's... It's like, it's giving him a chance to be the hero. Exactly. Like, this is what I would do. I will okay, say, I do on. like that he's still using the mixed media with, like, the real life clothes mixed pins. media. Because it's, like, you know, less effort on him. All he has to do is draw, like, the upset Smurfs and shit, you know? She's getting right. very good yet. He's getting yeah. very good at uh, drawing them. There. Okay. You are in. Oh, hey, Ash. Yeah. Uh, we are getting some fucking Smurf lore. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, this is the good stuff. A good treat. We are just, we are, the waters are coming in. We're about at our, we're getting to our knees. But yeah, again, I'm going to say, if you guys want to put your life jackets on, now's a good time. You know, right, you know very obviously. I love how we were like, you're like, is this humorous? And then you see these pictures and it's like. It's not, Fred, it's not. But humorous. again, imagine <laughs> drawing these. He had to sit there and draw them. I know. I wonder if these are still in a notebook somewhere. Wouldn't that be like a wild item to like auction off on eBay is literally God. the notebooks that contain the sketches for these? Yeah, right? Yeah. Like a serial like, killer's diary. Exactly like his manifesto on eBay. This is... Mmm. This is like... Henry Darger if Henry Darger was like less likable. <laughs> I, I don't no know. He did pretty terrible things. He did pretty terrible things to his characters as well as a um, as a creator. This actually does have Henry Darger energy. Just so like wait, wait, what is he? What did he do? I, I'm not familiar with this Henry word. Darger is like one of the most famous outsider artists. Okay. Okay. Uh, who lived in isolation and like wrote these incredible stories. Okay. Because Henry like... Darger did some weird shit with his characters too. Make no mistake. Um, that man was weird. Around the corner, oh, from cage to cradle. Around the corner, I heard a sharp rapping on glass, punctuated by someone barking, Freak! That was just following. Mike. That was just Mike. That was it's... just Mike, yeah. And a freak! Uh, followed by adolescent chortling. I rounded the corner, too late to catch the culprit. It was late afternoon, and the window began to belong to the last pet shop on my list. 
On display inside a hamster cage was the obvious object of the teenager's torment. Startled by the sudden noise, the bewildered little baby Smurf runt had tightly curled into a quivering little blue ball. The shop owner had decided to tie a single pink bow about the little thing's tail. Entering the shop, I immediately inquired about purchasing the diminutive creature. As it turned out, while several patrons had been curious about the runt, no other offers to buy it had yet been made. Money exchanged hands and I left the store with my new pet. I had to leave it locked in the wire cage during the drive to the nursery lest the poor creature panic and crawl underfoot while I was trying to drive the car. Reaching the nur- Jesus. Reaching the nursery, I set the cage down on the examination table. The nurse removed the little blue rodent. Rodent? <laughs> He's starting to show his true yeah, feelings. his true colors like, are coming out his writing. <laughs> out of nowhere, like... He's like been so like polite. He's called them like <laughs> cherubs, baby angels, everything. And then he's like, well, then there's this blue rodent. The, the mask shit. is slipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, the, the mask is slipping, yeah. We've got the deformed freak and the rodent. Basically. <laughs> Reaching the nursery- okay, uh, yep, the runt was kept in isolation for a couple days while its bruised tail healed and my lady friend sewed it some- sewed it some especially small clothing. In the meantime, I checked back at the animal shelter and discovered that the adult smurf had somehow unlocked his cage and escaped during the night. <laughs> uh, wait. He left him the paperclip. Okay, sorry. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I hoped he'd eventually made it safely back home. It was no that some birds would allow Smurfs to ride them. Over the next few days, time, the traumatized little being t learned not to fear the humans at the nursery. It would probably always be a little skittish, but the time had at last come to properly introduce her to her new home. What the shit? <laughs> what? That's the completely normal photo that does not look like some sort of sex kitten trafficking photo of the baby not. Smurf in the pet store. Yeah, on all four, he's crying. It's stupid little, honestly, I'm gonna say it, slutty little tail bow. It, that's the only thing it's wearing, of course it's slutty. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's the weird thing, is that, like, it has no hat. And we've already established so hard that hat means, no hat means naked. In distress. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, in distress. And, like, tail sensitive. What the uh -huh. shit? Yep. Yeah. The other Smurf babies crawled and scooted over to the, ti to the tiny runt as I set her down in her lovingly made little pink outfit and hat. Curious squeaking ensued as teensy blue hands gently grasped at the newcomer's plump nose and tail. Having been accepted by the other babies, the little runt was soon crawling and tumbling about on the thick playroom carpet with the others. Their happy little baby smurf noises and giggles filled the nursery. When nap time came, the little runt clumsily tried to climb into a small wicker basket where Blueberry already lay. I slipped my finger beneath her soft little bottom and gently lifted her until she rolled head first inside with a squeak. Tucking the little one beneath the blanket with Blueberry, I stepped away. Blueberry now turned toward his new napping companion and began to softly coo as he nuzzled the runt's cheek with his soft blue nose. The little smurfling appeared to truly enjoy his affection. Her adorable wee blue face beamed with happiness as she began cooing as well in a sweet little way I'd never heard from any baby smurf. When the two Lilliputian infants finally drifted into a peaceful slumber, I noticed them holding hands. So this is supposed to be the baby yeah. at like at the pet store. Yeah, exactly. Then, um, Do read the caption though, there, there's a little asterisk that's kind of important there. Yeah, pest clothes, toys, and accessories are optional and sold separately. Yeah. So the clothes this is optional, like, completely optional. This is like comedically cruel. Yes. Right. Yes. Like, it's like this, cartoonish villainry. Yes. Like, like a this dick is... dastardly mustache cruel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now 
I must okay. say, I am very excited for what comes next because. Yeah. Uh, it's good. Chat knows a very infamous phrase, a very infamous three word phrase from this story. Uh, oh, and it yeah? Is, Diapers don't thump. This, yeah, this is a famous quote from it. Diapers do Diapers not thump. Don't thump. And oh boy. What? We're going to get yeah. there in a second. We're, mm -hmm. You're going to understand you the context thought of that, diapers You do thought not that thump. holding them up by their noses mm -mm. was cruel. It's only going to get worse from here, Fred. Fred, we're only at the fucking... Yeah. We, we finished the, the whipped cream, man. That's it. Yeah. We're just getting yeah. to the ice cream. Yeah, we're starting to get it to the ice cream now. <laughs> after, after this one, we are in the ice cream for sure. <laughs> Enigmas, welcome in. This will probably be probably be a bad time for an edible. <laughs> he can handle it. He's, he's, he's a regular. He can handle it. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's probably best enjoyed that way, honestly. Oh, dear. Okay. I will take the edge okay. off. Okay. Okay. We need... Hold on. We're gonna... Here we go. Diapers oh, yeah. don't thump. They don't thump. They don't I, thump. Look, look, look at this. They're like, oh, those terrible people. This, yeah, what, like, those terrible Smurf, people. In palm, Smurf in hand has them eating out of his hand. Exactly. Exactly. He's exactly. got them on the exactly. hook. Exactly. I think. Again, okay, five you know what? pages in. No one has said anything any red flags yet but completely like ignoring the red flag factory right in front of them it's where they make them there are two thoughts right now the first one is that i can't help but think of elon musk's father who um just had a child with uh his adopted daughter that he adopted oh when she was four. Oh no um, <laughs> That's terrible. That's, there's that. Um, unless I am completely, uh, completely wrong about this, I'm I'm gonna double check this. Um, yep, Elon Musk's dad, 76, confirms secret child with stepdaughter. No, 76, stepdaughter, is, kid. Yep. No, say it ain't so. Wow. That's yeah. This is a... the other thing that I'm well. thinking. The other thing that I'm thinking. I think that when this person was writing these stories at first, the feeling of power came from having. I I, I think that I think that he started to like having the feeling of power over the Smurfs, like. I am a generous, gentle caregiver. Right. Right. Like right. I like I could hurt you like those people have, but, but I'm again, not like them. He is the one hurting them. He's the one creating he the universe. He's the one. Exactly. Exactly. This is his hell that he's created. He's created himself. Mm-hmm. And I think that there is an escalation that is happening. I oh, think. Boy, there sure oh, is. I think, like I well, said, I, I, we just I'm got not, to the first scoop of ice cream, Brad. Oh, We're oh, at the I'm, first I, scoop. I, I, I am not just talking about the story. I mean, I think that this person has gone from enjoying having power over his characters to having power over his readers. Look at their reactions. This right? is like, true. You notice, like, once he started getting more feedback, he really upped the frequency. Yeah, yeah. he did. He's, He's like, oh, you like it. the direction this is going in? You guys like this? Okay, all right, I'll keep that in mind. Right. And yeah. And it just keeps getting more extreme. I think that he likes this. Cool, cool Smurf, how pleasant knowing. Uh, oh. Yeah, I appreciate all the feedback. The part with the clothespins was emotionally difficult for me to illustrate. Revealing what insensitive brutes some humans truly are makes the importance and urgency of the Blue Moon Nursery's mission very clear. I haven't yet decided on a name for the Smurfling runt. Some, 
What? That was very cruel to treat those smurfs like that. Your story is getting more and more interesting. <laughs> to read further chapters. <laughs> He's got him hook, line, and sinkered. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting fan art. This is yeah, fan, fan art. art. Look at this how amazing fan this is. Art. Okay. This is incredible. This is fan art of the Smurf SWAT team that saves the baby Smurfs. Yeah, these are OCs. Do not steal, guys. I am so happy right now, you two. <laughs> Boy, I knew you would be. Again, you were the first one to greet this with glee, and that's with, like, how a we big knew grin. you were right. Yeah. You are truly embracing it. I I feel alive. <laughs> Oh boy, just keep, oh boy, oh boy. You know, keep huffing because we are really, oh, the, oh, oh I can hear the, I can hear the dryer. I can hear the dryer. Um, okay, what do you mean the dry? You'll see, the dryer is gonna be a, a essential part of the story very soon. Yeah, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, oh, you know me, I just got my my laundry in the background and I can I can hear my dryer, you know. <laughs> Why is the music getting louder? <laughs> perfectly, my, perfectly timed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the cleps that's one of my many catchphrases you know oh i can hear the i can hear the train coming in chugga 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 <sighs> chugga choo choo okay I all right fred are you this. ready for the first scoop of ice cream because there's plenty more ice cream after this this is not a one scoop float oh man we, they, we've got neapolitan here huh? yeah. most of the bulk is in the nine pages and we are on we're st going down but we're on five so like we are really getting like we're chunk 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 like all of the first half of this was lulling you into a false That's sense of security yeah and to build it up play. but I... then this this is where it's going mm -hmm. right no we're, we're getting to the misery porn yeah, right yeah this is it oh yeah christ okay at one at what point do we escalate to everywhere at the end of time. Uh oh, brother. Um, you know. I'll hold on to it. I'll hold on to it. That that's in my back pocket. I think that would be. Let me see. Let me skip. What's at the top of page six? That's gonna be. Oh yeah. That's a. That's gonna be a page sixer. Okay. And then, well, actually, 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 actually. I think that's a page seven. Please save it for play page seven. Okay, okay. That's yeah? when we'll break it on. Yeah, yeah. Page okay. seven really is one of the is Is it our favorite baby? Oh page seven. it uh that is when the favorite baby starts appearing, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Page oh, yeah. seven, page seven. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. There we go. Yeah. yeah. The infamous image is on page seven. Okay, that's what I assumed. Cool. Okay. We're okay. getting closer. We're like almost at the bottom of this page too, I think. We, and, uh, well, like halfway through. Halfway, yeah. This one's a bit of a loaded post, but this is really this... again, we're only getting to the first scoop yeah, of ice cream. This here. Is, yeah, this is yeah, we only finished the cherry and the whipped cream off. This is this is uh hope you have a lot of room for dessert. This makes me, again, like they're just going straight into the story and not like denoting that this is story. So when you start to read it, you're like, wait a minute, is this just them posting? Because this they is post. just his blog. Yeah, right. at this point. Yeah, this is his home. This is one away from home. During the following several weeks, our newly rescued baby Smurf Runt had become the darling of the nursery. The sweet, tiny being loved to rub noses with the normal-sized blue infants. Its tiny, squeaky voice was so endearing that the nursery staff never tired of hearing it. Is she gonna have her, like, voice box ripped out or something? No, no, no. Not, not, not that, but just go ahead and read. The fragile, undersized Smurfling was treated with the utmost care, even above and beyond the extreme gentleness we already afforded each baby Smurf. Thanks to our devoted care and frequent feeding, the runt slowly recovered the baby fat she'd lost from her harsh treatment at the municipal shelter. She had an extra small baby bottle just for her little hands from which to drink fresh squeezed Smurf so Berry juice. So small, so 
tiny, so, small. so insignificant, just a blip. Most of the time, though, one of us would carefully hold the bottle for her, patiently waiting for her to finish regardless how much she dallied between her noisy, messy slurps and gulps. As some of the laboriously prepared fruit juice dribbled down her chin, it was wiped away with one of the tiny, soft, organic cotton napkins that my lady friend had made for the wee blue ladies. Whenever really the trying lovable, to butter you up before the horror. Oh yeah. I am getting that sensation. Whenever the lovable little runt became upset or frightened, myself or another nursery staff worker would speak to it in soothing tones and cradle the soft, warm creature in a cupped hand. Taking its plump, pea-sized tail between thumb and forefinger, it would be given a series of little squeezes. We gentle roll the soft, supple extreme extremity betwixt our fingers and caress it. In response, the precious baby creature would lower its head, close its eyes, and emit a happy cooing and gurgling noise. The baby's tail is very tender and must never be pinched or treated never. roughly. Never. This is laying it Not on a little once. thick here. Never. Yes. Gently never. stroking never. the baby. Yep. Don't think about it. You gotta never be gentle. You can't to. touch it. Never going to, right? It's like when your parents tell you not to look at the sun, you're going to look at the sun. Oh man, there there are like entire people who are like sun gazers and say like the, like the, what the mass media and and the the <laughs> clinic, the medical establishment tells God. you not to stare oh, at the God. sun. But no, th there's like an entire like sun gazing, um, sun gazing. like thing. Yeah, that, I, that's like I a whole pseudoscience. The, uh, what are the? There's the other one where it, it, perennial sunning. sunning? Because the, there, there's like sunning for your your butthole too. Like that's like a whole movement also. Like not just looking gazing upon it, but like letting your hole flash the sun. Oh yeah, yeah. No, like asshole cancer is all the rage. Yeah, apparently. Why are they not calling it black hole sun? Because it's actually perfect. Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> What we at the nursery loved most, though, was to tickle the little thing. The magical tinkling of the creature's laughter never failed to delight us. We'd use any excuse to hear that precious Smurf's merry laughter. After her diaper changed, the wriggly little creature would be rolled onto her back. I'm just realizing how reticent he is, use, he is to use the word Smurf. And you after- know, he wants to. You need to be reminded. Yeah about how small it is. And after poking its soft little tummy, someone would always tickle the extra sensitive, parchment thin, light blue skin of her underarms. She'd let out a gleeful squeal and try to protect the ticklish spot by crossing her tiny limbs while rocking back and forth and giggling hysterically. Right, uh, you might wanna start, uh, you wanna start your clinch. Yeah, if okay. you're not already clenching, folks, this is it. Okay, I, I'm realizing that I, uh, I I fucked up the window a little bit. Hold on, because we can see more of it if I do this right. I don't know what happened to the window. I, like, fucked it up somehow. Oh, you know how easy it is to move stuff yeah, around it's so in OBS. Easy to, yeah, OBS is such a rude guy. Rude. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's so pissy sometimes. There we go. There we go. Perfect. On this particular afternoon... Oh, you know what? Let's, uh... One more time. Music has been so great for setting the mood. It actually is perfect. It really has, like, that unnerving quality to Experiencing it. Experiencing this on a whole new level, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm, uh... We're, we're going to... Let me see... Not this one. This one actually is copyright claimed, unfortunately. Oh, what about this? Oh, yep. This is this is also copyright claimed. Damn it. Uh, what about this? Uh, this is a little bit too much. Damn it. I feel it. like I know that song. What is that from? Uh, the Music Man. Oh, okay, Fire and Ice. Uh, it's okay. I feel like That's it's okay. like a video game song, like Mega Man or something like that. Yeah, it right. It like to me like an or orchestra arrangement of something. <laughs> it, it did. I feel like we need to return. Here we go. Yeah. 
On this particular afternoon, the little ones were playing a popular game of hide and seek. With a playful squeal, the runt dove into a into in a pile of the nursery worker's uniform schedule for the washer, which I just sat down for a long no. The runt hid quietly in the heap without my realization. I gathered them up into my arms and carried them to the laundry room. I set the pile next to me in front of the dryer while I emptied the washer of its recent load, the Smurf's diapers. Somehow, the curious little creature had climbed into the dryer from the mound of clothes sitting before it. Without looking, I tossed in a sizable armload of the Smurf's recently washed little diapers. Each baby Smurf required an unbelievable amount of diaper changes per day if it was to be kept clean, dry, and happy. Neither was the noxious odor of a baby Smurf soiled diaper for the faint of heart. Only a truly loving person could shoulder the burden and properly care for the fussy, vulnerable little creatures. Our constant toil to keep the baby Smurfs healthy and happy was only possible because of our love for the little creatures. To the devoted staff and volunteers of the Blue Moon Nursery, these sheltered and coddled wee blue infants have become the center of our world. We had a motto at the Blue Moon Nursery. Baby Smurfs are magical beings created for one sole purpose, and that is for each of them to be loved unconditionally. I shut the dryer door and setting it to maximum heat, pressed the start button. The diapers would stay toasty warm when dry. The baby Smurfs so loved the feel of a fresh, toasty warm diaper on their on their smooth little bottoms after a changing. Returning to the playroom, I got down on my hands and knees, searching every nook and cranny for my diminutive playmates. I asked myself aloud in mock befuddlement, now wherever can those little Smurfs be? I was answered by one or two suppressed giggles. Every time I found a little blue body crouched behind a stack of alphabet blocks or under a cradle, the wee ones squealed as I exclaimed, gotcha, and tickled their noses, ears, and tails. Systematically locating the hiding baby Smurfs, I plucked them up one by one and set them down in the playpen. Some of the simple little creatures actually believed themselves sufficiently concealed because they have merely hid their eyes with their wee hands. What morons. Smurfs are stupid. Oh, they're, they're so dumb and so tiny and so, so insignificant. <laughs> their endearing naivety made me chuckle. I, I'd found all but one of them, the latest addition to our little family, the female runt. I wondered why I hadn't yet found her. Was there some place I'd overlooked? Whereabouts had I last seen the dear, mischievous pipsqueak? My blood froze with apprehension when I finally became conscious of a previously unheeded thumping sound emanating from the dryer in the adjacent washroom. Diapers did not go thump in the dryer. <laughs> Diapers, they don't, don't. Go th they don't go thump. They Later thump. on, we'd, we'd play back a recording from the baby monitor in that room during the accident's investigation. Just audible above the rumble of the clothes dryer's rotating drum, we heard the runt's frantic screams from within. Before the air had eventually become too stifling, hot to breathe, that is, each panicked, tortured cry was abruptly cut short by a dull thump. The wind must have been knocked from the screaming little creature's lungs each time she banged into the dryer's hard, scorching interior. <laughs> In a near panic, I sifted through the hot but still damp little diapers and found the runt lying motionless with eyes closed in the pile. Her cute little pink smurf hat had been knocked off of her head. Fearing the worst, I ye yelled for help. I was holding the baby smurf in my hand, and when I yelled, the infant stirred and a quiet, quiet whimper escaped her lips. Then, with a ragged gasp, she went limp. At that point, I didn't know whether the baby creature was alive or dead. A couple nurses and my lady friend burst into the washroom. The nurses told me to follow quickly, and we all marched across the playroom past the startled baby Smurfs confined to the playpen. 
I follow the three women into the examination room with the runt. As terribly worried as my lady friend was for the runty smurf, she dutifully returned to the playroom, trying to calm the shaken Lilliputian babies with a great deal of tail kneading and petting. Yeah, great, like, just associate that with uh, panic and terror. I yeah, know, no, a, I know. Great. So good. Laying the motionless runt face down on a special little sanitary cushion on the exam table, I caught a glimpse of its body as the nurses carefully snipped away the creature's romper as I explained what had happened. When they had snipped away the runt's clothing, I drew in my breath at the awful sight of its bruised and reddened skin. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah. Uh. Photo ominously coming up at the bottom oh, of the page as well. I think this is one of the good. Yeah, this is the oh, one I was Oh, this expecting. is one of the real yeah. sick drawings. And it's just one of many. One of many oh. sick drawings. And then you're just like, he drew this. He had to draw it. The guy had a vision and he had to get it out on paper. And he had to render it and he had to use his mixed media tools. He had to use his true hand. Yeah. This is his real God, hand. his fingerprints are FBI, blurred. Yeah, I was going to say, but can, do you think the FBI can, like, do that thing where it's, like, uh, zoom in that they do on, like, CSI where, like, it's blurry <laughs> and then it gets sharper the more you zoom in? God. Here's here a recreation of uh, what they did to try to revive uh, the baby. What is this? No, they did not. They did not <laughs> soak it in milk and throw it at the wall. Oh my god! It needs milk for its skin condition. It's wow. only organic vegan milk. It, truly, from goats. <laughs> when the, okay, let's see. Uh, it looked like it had been scalded from head to toe and swatted around by a couple of ferocious alley cats. Along with most of the Smurfling's body, its tender round ears, plump little bottom, and even its sensitive tail bore painful looking contusions and redness. As the nurses slowly turned the tiny creature onto its back, I saw that the runt's bulbous nose, soft cheeks, tummy, and toes hadn't been spared. She also had a black eye. Perhaps worst of all to see was to see the delicate skin of her underarms that we so love to tickle have been most dreadfully singed and bruised. The Phantom of the Opera is there. Uh, it's so, like, inside, he's so detailed. <laughs> inside the dryer. <laughs> I was dismissed and joined my friend in soothing our wee charges. The other Smurfs, including Dewdrop, Pom Pom, Strawberry, and Blueberry, were quite alarmed. I'm s I shouldn't be laughing. Oh no, no, you should, but <laughs> this is so it's ridiculous. So like, it's so it's it's okay to laugh. It's it like is. a way to cope. It's you so have to cope <laughs> like this. You have to cope like this. this you have to. Just, you have to let it out somehow because it's a fucking adventure. This is just. This is just misery porn. <laughs> <laughs> this is. This. <laughs> but you know, he's normal. I can't. You haven't even scrolled down and seen the picture yet. That's the best no, part. No, I of haven't. This. I'm, I'm saving it. I'm saving this. it. I this am is so, saving so it. So amazing. You're laughing now. You're gonna absolutely lose it. When you're gonna you lose see it. the picture. You're gonna fucking I'm, lose I'm, it. I'm like, oh, okay. Y y you know what's happened? Th this has already been like, oh my god. No, th like this is like weird and terrible and gross. Yep. Like we've been climbing the hill. It's like it's like We're the opposite. It's the opposite of the uncanny valley. It's like the atrocity hill. <laughs> where like. You get over, you get over the edge, and then it's just like the more miserable it gets, the funnier it gets. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Because like, at the core, Mount it's Rushmore just like these and seeing all the dead smurfs. bodies. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna copyright that. You have the uncanny valley. You now you have the misery hill. You get past a certain level of misery, and then it's, then it's funny after that. And then it's it gets funny. funnier. Yeah, it gets, it gets funnier, funnier as you go. The worse it gets. <laughs> No one can use it. It's like React. It's it's like when the Fine Bros tried to copyright the word React. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I was just, okay, uh, Blueberry in particular seemed to sense something was very wrong and proved inconsolable. My baby Smurf's incessant whining heightened my own anxiety. The exam room's door opened just enough to show one of the nurse's faces. Her expression was inscrutable and all she said was, You better take Blueberry and go home. <laughs> With the cadence was... of someone like, like, sit, like telling you like an officer that he should like, Oh, you're, you're going to want to just, you know, put down your badge for the day and go home. Yeah, you you're going to want to... <laughs> You're gonna want a closed casket funeral for this oh, one. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh no, <laughs> Mr. Pa Mr. Parkson. Oh my god. I I don't know. I needed like a middle-aged man's name. Worked. It worked. Oh, the picture approaches. Halfway through the trip, the sun had set. Blueberry hunkered down, hidden in my coat pocket, and whining the whole way as I tried to soothe, soothe him. I kept a hand in my pocket with him to comfort the anxious creature, gently squeezing and stroking its quivering little blue tail. When we reached home, as I picked a blueberry out of my pocket, he wrapped his tiny arms around my forefinger and tightly clung to it. I tiredly eased into a rocking chair, and sitting my baby Smurf down on my lap, I rocked the chair with the tiny blue infant still clinging to my finger. At some point in the night, both of us must have fallen asleep. Here you go, Fred. Here you go. All right, if Fred. I'm gonna do, if I'm like, I, I need, you know what? Brace yourself. Smurf from the dryer. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. They both fall asleep as it clung to his oh, finger. Oh, no, no, this is the one from the dryer. <laughs> oh, this is the dryer. Yeah, okay, this is the dryer. My bad, my bad. This is the one from the dryer, this yeah. This so fucked. <laughs> yeah. Who would do this to me? them? Who would be such a sicko? Who would do this? Who, Who would, would do, do this? this? This is so sad. Who would hurt a little baby? Oh, my <laughs> God. I'm sorry if I like peeked my microphone. No, chat. it's totally oh, no. no, it's no, it's actually the most insane thing. And the fact, the <laughs> fact that there are steps to this, you know, and through none of the steps did he ever question himself, you know, never. Like he, he you know, he had to take the, either. He needed to take the picture. He had to cut it right. out. He had to draw the baby Smurf. Like there's just right. This this feels weirdly premeditated. Right, like there were multiple moments where he had, for years. he yeah, had to, to decide, like let it out of his system. and he had to decide to continue at every turn. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. imagine like your like your family walks in on you drawing this. Do you even explain it, or do you just like kind of be like, "Mom, get out"? Like, do you even try to explain it? Oh my God, snooping! Stop! Threw that Smurf into a dryer. Motherfucker looked like a Resident Evil Five <laughs> campaign extra when that cycle was done. Oh my god. <laughs> is that our ra is that our raid message? Could I think be. it might be our raid that message. Might be a good like one, the yeah. details of like there's bruising but then red parts but then the brown and everything else. Right. You stole it and we have to use it as a raid message. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no. That works. It's it's got to be. It's got to be. Mm -hmm. I am okay. I need to know. I need to know what the forum's reaction was. You were saying you were saying all right ready as yeah. as the music comes to a crescendo <laughs> really good yep. chapter <laughs> really good chapter ugh she yeah. looks like she took a lot of uh, a bit of a bruising in that last yeah. pick that's our boy uh vic george who would be like oh nikki nikki baby it must be very scary for a smurfling to be put in the dryer. I'm just, I'm kind I'm just, of... <laughs> I'm just fucking imagining... Ah, thump! Ah, thump! Exactly! Ah, thump. exactly. I'm just amazed there's not a single reply that just goes, bro, dot, dot, dot. 
bro. Yeah, no, that's the proper response to this. There is no other response. Bro, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, there's literally all these people, though, that are like, oh, that's so tragic. Wow, this chapter was good. That poor baby. And, like, it's just, it's the insane picture is The picture is good, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Please stop. I have my... such sights to show you, and you are in my puzzle box. In the storytime morning, my main human character will learn of the Runt's condition. My next chapter will focus on the long, painful, and often lonely road of the Runt Smurfling's recovery. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Jesus Christ. No, me is Hellraiser. Yeah. Oh, my God. Fucking Pinhead. Oh, yeah. Oh, my Christ. Poor little Smurfling. We're right back into it now. Oh, oh, oh my God. We're right oh, back yes. into it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's hard and heavy. It's hard and heavy. Mm. Og the Misnery. This is the road to recovery. Yeah. This by is the 10 morning? days later, by the way, since his last post, just to keep you guys okay, in the Okay, okay. Cranking yeah. out these chapters. Yeah. Really had to turn this over in his head. Make sure that he got it just right. What do you think this person does? I wish I knew. The thing like, is, I think he makes is license like, plates in a prison. After these posts, like he has no more posts. Like this is just those cases of like he came, he wrote his story, and then he's gone. I have a headcanon for this person now. You? This person when they are not writing this specific Smurf fan fiction, their day <clears throat> primarily consists of taking all of the plates out of the cupboards, stacking them <clears throat> into one large tower, and then putting them back. Like, sorting them back into the cupboards and it's then doing insanity. that again. Like, that, that's what he does. He's in the kitchen just taking out the plates, stacking them, and then putting, like, sorting them back in. That, that's his day. Thank God he found his story and his love of art because now he's also, you know, he's already drawn the bruised Smurf. So now right. he, and since this chapter, he says, you know, this is the road to recovery. He has, uh, you know, he has the ability to draw bruised some more. Right. I, I wonder, I wonder what it felt like to have made, Again, his power is increasing. It it's brings a whole new meaning to Smurf in hand and his profile picture because you see, like, he is gripping the Smurf and the Smurf is if panicking. It's all getting very sinister. Right. By the morning, I... Thank you for coming in, Mooney. Thank you for the kind words. <laughs> By the morning, I'd phoned the. No I okay, like I know, I know a lot of these names are new, and I I know they're probably from your viewership, and I just want to say your viewership is lovely. <laughs> they're all good. Your they're good. Yeah, they're good. They're really <laughs> funny. Quality, quality people. <laughs> I. I'm always like I I protect my my viewership. Like they're they're very precious. And, yes, yes. And I'm like, okay, good. Like, you're good for them. I, I, I keep them like Smurfs. God, sometimes don't say I that. Sometimes Do you I accidentally, accidentally put them in the dryer? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes they come out with horrific burns, but it builds character. <laughs> By the morning, I'd phone the nursery, sick with apprehension. To my relief, I learned that the runt had survived, but barely. Why do they? Do they not even have a name for it? No, they are just calling it the runt. So the we've runt. really runt, come a yeah. long way to dehumanizing these guys. Like now right. we are not even giving this one a name. Right, like this is a vessel for suffering. Yeah, this one's easy to yeah. hurt because it's not blueberry, it's not right, dew yeah. drop, it's not pom pom. Yeah, you don't you don't name your livestock and you don't name your like misery characters. But yeah, yeah. Run to the dryer be like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dynamante, I think that it's not how it started, but I think that this is escalation. Yeah. 
Like, because I, I think that there's also sort of a writer's pride in being able to elicit an emotional response from people. For sure. It's I, like a bragging right. It is, but like, this is the cheap version, right? Like, oh, this easy. is. Um, I, I think that a lot of writers, especially fan fiction writers, love writing misery porn because it elicits an emotional response from their audience. And a writer's, yeah. um, a writer's validation fre frequently comes from their belief that they have elicited an emotional response in their readership. Yeah. I think that that's what's happening here. This is such a common trap. Because the trick isn't eliciting an emotional response, it's it's being able to uh, select which response. Mm -hmm. They're all and so sympathetic with him still. Again, we are six pages in, he has put a smurf through a dryer, and they are still saying, oh my god, poor baby, like, your story is so good. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're so into this. Right, like this. This is the gritty Smurf reboot yeah, like that they, they all love wanted. it. By the morning, I'd phone the. Okay, right. Um, the nurses ha nurses had labored all night to save the creature's life. X rays didn't reveal any broken bones. At least her skin was so badly seared and bruised in places that even gently touching it caused the baby Smurf to recoil and whimper pitiably. During the next few weeks, the nursery staff and I worked to help the badly injured little runt recover from her traumatic accident. The creature had to either lie on its side or its stomach on a special little bed because the slightest pressure on its burnt and bruised tail would cause the remarkably sensitive appendage to explode with pain, eliciting an awful yelp from the tiny blue infant. Okay. This is one of those things, right? Like, you're, it's written... Now it's getting like extra gratuitous because they're like, yeah, they're it's like it's been, pain. he's, yeah. The escalation is just really something because, yeah. again, by the when we started this, there are still things that are going to happen that are more crazy. That's why Crazier I said save the big song for page seven because that is That's, the crescendo, yeah. But the building, you could not have thought Oops. that this was where this was going to go. At no. all. No way. And it's slowly like he's treating them less and less like little creatures. And like he's calling them like rodent and, and runt and stuff now. Instead of the this precious little angel baby boo boo boo. Right. Boo, boo. Like he's he's really like yeah. like really giving it to you now. Right. Yeah. It, it, it's not about it's not about the character anymore. It is exactly. about the, what the character can experience. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Which is uncanny. I, I think I think that's the word I'm looking for. One thing that I want to point out um, about the writing is that up to this point, um, he has explained, oh, like, I touched its tail and its reaction was very positive, right? It was very happy about oh, it's it. Like, tail it, negative, it, it tail negative, tail negative, tail negative. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that, that's, that's actually not, um, not the big thing. And that it obviously was getting there. But there's something linguistically that has changed that I find quite interesting because I do so much writing right I have to be conscious um the thing I notice is that up to this point whenever someone has touched the tail the focus has been on the reaction right like this is written in the first person and the smurf is uh, is like giggling with joy or glee right like there is some visual response it is uh like, it, it is how the first person narrator is experiencing, um, experiencing this, um, mm -hmm. like the reaction to it. But look what's changed. Her skin was so badly seared and bruised in places that even gently touching it caused the... Oh, wait, it was... Um, here we go. Uh, oh, it repeats itself. That's why I got confused. Oh, of course. Would, uh, the slightest pressure would cause the remarkably sensitive appendage to explode with pain. Now, like, and then it says, like, it, it would yelp from the pain. Up to this point, it would just go straight to the yelping, right? Like, the pain to yelp. But now, he really wants to emphasize the idea that this thing is in pain. 
because like he's not just showing it he needs to tell you he needs you to know that this thing is in oh, pain oh it's he so twisted you. he needs you to know not only not only is it in pain but this is just pure pain right it's like unalloyed pain it's just screaming and wailing right it's it's like it, he needs to let you know not just is it reacting because it is ex like because of its experience he needs you to know that it is pain and he suffering. will tell you, he will tell you flat out. This, what, what this tells me, like, what, what this kind of tells me is that he is deep in now, right? Like, he is sunk into this. Yeah, this is very much like the scene where he's been writing this story. We're all in the mountains together. We walk up behind him and we see that, you know, this is his shining moment. This right, is th this the moment is... where he is hitting the bottom and he's just going full depraved. Right. I, I think that this might, yeah, like Hina's saying, this is the turning point. This is like, this is like the Donner party, right? You're, <laughs> like, this is the moment when, like, the Donner party's fate was sealed. Yeah. Like, there was no going back. The decision had been made. I'm pouring 100%. more tea. Eh. Oh, I need to refill my kettle. Uh, by time. Okay, good. We could do this. By time for me. All oh, right. yeah, no problem. No, I so, no, literally just like chat. 10 seconds. Yeah, oh, no, yeah no, we got you. So are you guys, you guys hanging chat? in there? Are you guys Have enjoying you... your story? Yeah, yeah. Entertain us. Uh, it's very special. Very yeah. special story. And it's, it's incredible. We're, what, f almost six hours into the collab, and... We're just getting to the insane part. But it was like, a bit insane the way. You have to break it down. You have uh -huh. to break it down. Yep. yep. I'm, I'm feeling fucking great, though. By no, because like, it's like, the adrenaline. I mean, oh, it's same. truly so bizarre. Like, it's just so. Mm -hmm. It's such a roller coaster. It's such a roller coaster. It's. Mm -hmm. Again, now that you see how amazing this story is to this point, like, are you kind of feeling well? I'm like, I don't understand why other people don't want to gaze into this horror. Right. <laughs> like, I, I think, like, speaking as a writer, right? Like, I write for a living. Of course. Um, these, well, it's one of the things I do for a living. Um, I am fascinated because. Novice writers give so many tells and they don't <laughs> realize that they're giving these tells, right? Like huh? now they're capital like the thing's name is now Runt. The Runt. Yep, the Runt. The runt. Yeah, it, it's not even it's not even her name. It's just the Runt. Right? Mm -hmm. The um what like what 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 other what other examples like there are plenty of examples right like it's not the a her, creature yep. the yep. the stepchild the rodent yeah. Yeah. yeah also uh people have been pointing out in chat they're referring to her as it yeah it like fully dehumanized at this point mhm mm this is um this is revelry that that is the best way I can describe this. He is reveling in the suffering of these pure innocent creatures. Completely. The fact that yeah. he's drawing this to this degree is just so again, they're like these these pictures again are pretty tipping. But again, like I said, seven is the absolute crescendo and the artwork that he does is just at no point when he's reading or drawing this does he think like I want to be a fly on the wall. I want to know yeah what is going through his mind Re as he's drawing these pictures and putting them together. Redline, remind me what is that from? The furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. Fuck, what was that from? I'm losing my mind. That is so familiar. Also, mm -hmm. Spectral is right. It's a Smurf. You're right. It can be a human when the author wants it to be. Oh my god. Now gosh. we're okay. straight, pretty much calling Dark Souls. Them pets. It's Dark Souls. Okay, it's Dark Souls. Thank you. I haven't actually played Dark Souls. Also, by the way, um, my moderator, Spectral, in here has <laughs> a. Um, is very into VR and um, uh, is mute, but communicates with like uh, text sometimes, but is very emotive. You have 
got oh, to see him in action. It's so You've crazy to see, to see like it's like it's he like advanced so cool. puppetry, you know? Yeah, yeah, he's amazing. No, Spectral is actually amazing. We've we've got like when when we do VR stuff, you have like we have got to figure out some way to get Spectral in there at some point so you can see. Yeah, Ash knows. The runs seared weight. I I want to put this on loop. Before it. The run seared, chapped, and bruised skin made changing its diapers an agonizingly, agon, agonizingly painful ordeal for it. A sopping wet and soiled diaper would cause a baby smurf intolerable discomfort, and before long the wee one would be irritably squealing for attention. The poor runt, however, learned swiftly to stifle her complaints. The runt's silent suffering merely delayed the inevitable dreaded diaper change. Sooner or later, the dirty diaper's unmistakably noxious odor would betray her condition to us, undermining the helpless runt's feeble ploy. See how humiliating I... this is for her now? This writer has not written with such relish up to this point. <laughs> Really savoring the flavor here. The sniveling little creature would look pleadingly up into our eyes, beseeching us please not to hurt her yet again. That sorry gaze of hers pained my heart greatly, and I'd often envision it whenever I closed my eyes. We'd always perform the diaper task as gently as we possibly could, but there simply wasn't a baby's wipe in existence soft enough. The undersized Smurfling's scorched, chapped skin, already stinging and inflamed by her baby mess, was appallingly sensitive and she'd yelp louder and louder with each wipe. Even the extra gently formulated baby Smurf powder stung her sore bottom. This once routine, and often even fun when we used it as an excuse to tickle her, procedure now always began with apprehensive whimpering and culminated in miserable howling with rivers of tears. Miserable howling! Look at this! Look at what this sick fuck drew! Yeah, look at this fucking picture. What? Just look shit. at this picture. Look at the bruises, the red bottom. I don't the even know finger, what is going the on real at the bottom. Finger the finger with the with the wiping and the crying and the shaking and the shivering. And it's like it's in so much pain. It's just crying. And is he implying that like the skin is getting infected? Yeah, because she's like holding it in. You know, like she doesn't want to get the diaper changed, so right, she's obviously like, getting some sort of diaper rash as well. Yeah. Diaper rash. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is, oh dear. Yeah. Ah, the picture. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck it's is this? Therapy. It's therapy. It's therapy. <gasps> no. As with Pom Pom, the runt's remarkably low pain threshold that, oh right, this was the one that had, that was like particularly sensitive and was put through the dryer. Yeah, yeah like oh, had yeah. to really <laughs> <try it out. laughs> This one's just being, just metaphorically pissed on more. This is so fucked. Uh, and frailty reinforced my convictions that these helpless, magical creatures were never meant for the harsh world of humans. Stuck in bed away from her playmates, the wretched creature became morose and frequently shed tears, moaning and blubbering most plaintively. In order to mitigate her ennui, I would uh, oh yeah, I would personally treat her to a Smurf finger puppet show every afternoon in an earnest attempt to cheer the wee Smurfling. Oh, uh, he was VTubing for them. Yes. <laughs> you you all are my uh, are my runts. And and the I am runs. your puppet show. We are your puppet show today, every <laughs> We are D don't worry, I will I will make sure to put you in the dryer. I keep you warm. Chat chat goes thump. <laughs> uh, it's so ominous, just diapers do not go thump. What a literary genius it's of a such line. A it's so the what dread an that you line. feel as he's building up to it, you know, and then he yeah. says, "Diapers don't go in the dryer." <laughs> dryer time. It's so I'm just, 
I'm just imagining like chat going through dryer now. Wee thump. Yeah. Wee thump. That's just like. You're tough. Uh, that's like, you know, like they have two. We were going to read like two sentence horror stories on stream and like we were looking. All of them were terrible. That They're is bad, honestly yeah. the fact that like I was like, if, if if you just wrote, I was looking for my baby in the dryer. Yeah. Diapers don't thump or laundry doesn't thump. That's a way scarier that's two way sentence scarier. horror story exactly. than anything. And the dread that he's building when he's like, they're playing hide and seek. It's so crazy. Yeah. No, that's actually like, I hate that that's a good line. Yeah, it's yeah. so it's good. It's way it's too so good well for crafted. this. It's well crafted. <laughs> it knows. The story knows. The story's become sentient. We're was, waltzing uh, uh, through the Garden of Madness. I, I, have, you, have you guys seen um, any of the art of, um, of that people have made of like the representation of my chat? Little owlets, little round owlets. Oh, I haven't I seen them, but, that's so, but that yeah. does sound precious. They're, they're very cute. Um, I just, the idea of them tumbling through the dryer is fucking... Because, <laughs> you know, they get like fluffier, you know, and they're like little puff balls too. Oh my god, maybe, maybe I could um, use some of my uh, my funds, because like some of the money we get goes into a fund that goes back into the stream. Like we can spend it on stream assets. We're like, we're it, our, our contracts are like totally open. They don't give a shit if we talk about them. Um, they, uh, maybe I could do a comic of me like throwing owlets into the dryer. <laughs> Like, they're wet, like I've washed them and I throw them in the dryer and they're just like thumping in there and I pull them out and they're just like fluffy. Yeah, that would be <laughs> precious. A way better fate. Yeah. That'd be so cute. And it's a nice Bump. little nod to this stream. Yeah, it'd be great. Maybe we have like Smurf brand. <laughs> or divergent or something. Just Smurf very scented. With, uh, diapers and bruises. <laughs> Smurf very scented dryer sheets. Mm. Yeah, Smurf free. I, I don't know if I like the idea of making the Smurfs canon in Astraline lore. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone's gotta do that. it. Moist Owlets, yeah. Oh, that's good, actually, Owlet. Oh, God, <laughs> that's perfect. Moist Owlets. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> I bring Calling that her puppet the box. wretched creature. The wretched creature. Yeah, that that is also very Dark Souls. The wretched creature. I'd bring that puppet box into the exam room, and before the runt's eyes transform my fingers into Smurfs, baby Smurfs, Smurfettes, and friendly talking animals. The tiny baby creature would watch with great interest and sometimes clap and giggle a little, but those merry outbursts often made her sore ribs and limbs ache terribly, and she'd abruptly cease with a pained wince. Jesus. Literally the cannot laugh. Cannot laugh. The loathsome Smurf sufferer. <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes I'd be allowed to bring Blueberry with me into the exam room so that the babies could babble and hold hands. Blueberry always had a very soothing effect on the runt's nerves. My adopted baby Smurf's concern for his little playmate was readily apparent, and he never seemed quite at ease while at the nursery, unless he had had a chance to see if the runt was okay. Also, he alone somehow understood never to touch any of runt's numerous ouchies. We simply couldn't trust the other tiny nursery denizens not to poke at the runt's ugly, sensitive sores and contusions out of curiosity. So it has. The it word has. choice has done a complete 180. Like, mm -hmm. it is just from delightful, beautiful creatures to the ugly, sensitive oh, yeah. sores of this just gormless creature. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh my god, Kekun the second. Mary, oh I love you, dog army, dog army, my little ink dogs. Fred, watching the owlets go thump in the dryer. <laughs> gotta know, you gotta know. Okay, hear me out. Mary's like, I feel like you treat, like you treat your chat really horribly, Frederick. Like the <laughs> poor owlets must, like must feel terrible. I just like grab one and chuck it at his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're multi-purpose. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
You know, Snakey, I would believe that nothing bad actually happened to this guy, and I'm willing to bet that this guy is actually perfectly mentally sound. It's just, he has fallen into the trap of cheap emotional responses from his readers. I think that, like, all, all this is, is a writer wanting, uh, wanting, uh, uh um... He got affirmation. an inch. He, want, he wants kept, affirmation. And they kept letting him have an inch and an inch and an inch. And now he's realized that he can just say anything and they're cool with it. Mm. He has to keep upping the ante. Mm -hmm. Always. There, there's, there's like a, a, a suffering creep. Uh, oh no. Not all of our beloved baby Smurf's injuries have been physical. We'd learned from the night nurses that the runt had started to suffer recurring nightmares. They were probably about the accident. Her little limbs would begin twitching as she softly whimpered. The whimpering would grow louder and her limbs spasms more violent until she'd awaken with a choking gasp, followed a couple seconds thereafter by a loud, piercing scream. The outburst would also rouse and set off the startled baby Smurfs sleeping in the adjoining room. Sometimes she'd roll over in her sleep onto her fragile, injured tail. The resulting pain jolting her from slumber caused the little Smurf to wail and cry to the point of exhaustion, eventually dying down to hoarse sobs. Though I myself never knew exactly what transpired in these terrible nocturnal visions, the reader will be afforded a rare peek into the fragile psyche of this baby Smurf. What? what a sentence. Yep, like I said, remember remember up here, we were seeing the pain. Um, like, literally saying the appendage exploded with pain. Well, he can't help himself now. He is about to describe literally what went through the baby Smurf's mind while she was in the dryer. So not only yeah. is he writing his own sick story, he is now writing from inside the mind <clears throat> of the baby Smurf that went into the dryer. Yeah, this is... If this is misery porn, then this is the money shot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be right back real quick, but... Oh, okay, sure. I'll, I'll keep reading. Continue your descent, please. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. Like you sinking down into the floor. <laughs> The runt slides down the smooth surface of the dryer's interior. It's kind of fun, and she wonders if this is some new playground equipment. Suddenly, a heap of damp but clean diapers falls upon the runt and pins her down. A loud metallic clang startles the baby Smurf as the dryer door closes. The alarmed runt tries to cry out, but the mountain of damp cloth muffles her cries. Suddenly, that slick floor starts moving beneath her, and, and she's lifted up into the darkness. She cries out, flailing her little arms but finding no purchase as she falls, slapped about the face by the tumbling wet diapers. Her cries are cut short as she hits the hard floor with a dull thump, her breath painfully knocked out of her. Over and over, the helpless, confused, and terrified Smurfling runt endures the frightening, painful cycle within the pitch-black confines of the running dryer. The metal walls and flying diapers start to warm, and before long are scalding hot, burning every bit of bare blue flesh that touches it. Soon, the organic cotton of her very own romper is charring the skin beneath. The air becomes as scorching as well, and with each tortured breath, her lungs burn until she chokes, no longer able to scream. Incredible, isn't it? It's incredible. I guess <laughs> what really gets to me yeah? is that this is, yeah, g good music, right? I'm, I'm happy with my music selection. This... We already got the scene of the baby thumping in the dryer. Yeah. Like, this is beyond gratuitous. Like, he decided it wasn't enough that we had to experience it once. We had to experience it's, it twice. It's gonna be worse, too. This is just the surface level. Are too. you fucking I'm kidding me? I'm not even joking. Me? I, I Fred, wish I could say I'm fucking joking. I'm not fucking joking. is the actual <laughs> crescendo. I'm telling you. Oh this is... <laughs> 
This is the ramp, and we are going it's down. Still and then page seven, up. we yeah. are going to go into the darkest part of this man's mind. And that's why I said, you gotta save the song. Oh, it's Game of Smurfs. Over time, dead patches of the runt's burned skin sloughed off and were replaced by thin but healthy new light blue skin from beneath. As the pain of each washing and diaper change subsided, the runt's mood became more restless. We began placing the runt alone in the playpen so that it could crawl around without fear of getting our sore spots poked at by the other babies. The weakened creature's gait was still a little wobbly when she had recovered enough to finally be reintegrated with her fellow Smurflings. It was a day we celebrated with fresh made Smurfberry pudding for the little ones. All the nursery staff had shown up and we each took turns carefully squeezing and stroking the recently healed Smurfling Run's sensitive round tail to her immense delight. Unfortunately, the Run's night terrors never abated and she would wet herself at least twice as frequently as the other Smurflings. Because of the formerly painful experience with diaper changes, the poor runt still feared them, and the miserable little creature would suffer in silence no matter how soggy she became. It became standard policy among the staff to check the runt at least once every hour. In time, however, we could tell if the traumatized Smurfling had been soiled for a while just by the singularly glum expression on its tiny blue face. Again, it. This is weird. little creature just sitting in its own filth. Hold on a second. Uh, wait, I, I know what this reminds me of. I know what this reminds me of. It's, uh, 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 wait, 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 hold on, brain no worky. I understand, we're pretty deep into the, we are, the well is yeah. deep and dark. It's... This, here we go, got it. This is it. It's... It reminds me of the trailer for Cruelty Squad. <laughs> There's oh. one particular bit Where is it? Here, it's like here. Here we go, little ape of uh, suffering. Little yeah, ape of yeah, suffering? truly, the yeah. little ape of suffering. Dopamine truly, truly, terrorist. Truly, truly, wow. truly. <laughs> Dopamine terrorist. <laughs> Does this even make you feel something? Truly, that is what we're going through. <laughs> <laughs> Cruelty Squad. I need to play it still. It's one of those I, I want to play, but I think the motion sickness would get me. Yeah. I miss. Yeah. I love so like. I love uh like I really love the PS2 era of games and like I really love like kind of you know jank and obscure kind of stuff too and so much of that is like first person shooter and I'm just like I wish I could do it but I can't. Yeah. Um... Oh my god, okay. Uh, Blueberry and I went home. I was relieved that the worst of the runt's recovery was over. Bring the music down a tiny bit. She'd been in my thoughts every day as she was convalescing in that stark medical exam room. I just hoped that in time her hurts on the inside would heal as well, but these magical little beings were simply never meant to suffer horrors like this in the first place, and the final prognosis was uncertain. I prayed nothing like this would ever happen to my sweet little blueberry. The Who would do this? This is- Who this would is do this to them? This reminds me of, of um, a cla like the classic uh, 
time tra- uh, what the time machine. Have either of you uh, read that book yet? Not familiar with it. Um, he the the main character travels to a future where there are um. What are they? Oh shoot! I'm forgetting the names of the different like branches of humanity. There are like dark underground dwellers, um, the Morlocks, who um, who feast on uh, the sweet, innocent uh, people of the um, of the above world when like on uh, nights of the new moon, when it's completely dark. The Morlo- uh, uh the Wedeli. I, I what is it? Um, shoot. I'm forgetting the name of the of the people in the above ground. The Aloy. I was thinking <laughs> the Aloy. They are gentle and sweet and innocent and spend their days frolicking in the fields. Um, and this is all I can think of. Just like they can barely think. Before bedtime, I gave Blueberry a bubble bath. The special liquid soap made my baby Smurf's little body quite slippery, and he squealed and giggled as I tried to hold on to him and wash his ticklish places. I grabbed him like a bar of soap, and he went shooting across the room. (laughs) It doesn't say that. He wore a special plastic bath hat, which I plucked off just long enough to wash the smooth crown of his head. I had only a few extra seconds before the tiny creature grew acutely nervous about his bare blue scalp. Bending down, I planted a quick kiss on the top of his little head before replacing the cute little security bath hat. Blueberry closed his eyes, shrugged his thin little shoulders, and emitted a happy giggle in reply. Unbeknownst to Blueberry, I often removed his smurf hat during his nap time in order to kiss him. Okay, now there is one more very important thing on this page. We get our first person questioning him. Okay. Yes, this is important. Okay, so you're going to scroll down just a couple. He's going to thank Raven, Child, and Squeaky, and then there's someone named WTF with a Gargamel icon. Yep. Okay. And then you'll see... Then you'll see... Everyone comes in to defend him, and he does address the troll. So it's a couple of posts we'll definitely kind of want okay, to glance okay. at. Okay, okay. Can I point out one thing? He registered yeah. and made this account this day just to say this is fucked up, basically. His his member status He's probably a user. 12-4-2008. And the post he made here is 12-4-2008. He made this he's account a, specifically oh my God. to tell him he's awful, and he stuck around after this, too. Oh, no, he only made one post. He only made one post. But I oh. bet that's someone like someone's oh, alt is. account, and maybe they were too scared to say they something. They might have been. This might have been it. This might have been like I just have to make a a, a sock puppet real quick. Uh, maybe you people are crazy. That story about the Smurfling is obvious and highly disturbing sexual overtones. I fear. I fear for your sanity, all of you. But in the meantime, here's a picture. Yeah. So this goes back to the UNICEF ad. It does, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I, I immediately thought of that. Yeah. The, and Ravenchild incredible. immediately rushes in. Yep. Yep. Take more than a cotton bud on the end of a finger to put this right. Yeah. And then, oh my god, people rush to his defense. What the they fuck? Do. Everyone here has a right to post their creative efforts. This is Smurf in Hand's universe fanfic, and his art is rather cute, in my opinion. Your image. His art is rather cute, in my opinion. His <laughs> I art know, is. I is, know, I know. His art is rather cute, in my opinion. His art is rather cute, in my opinion. Oh his boy. art. Is oh not. His, boy. His art is rather cute, in my opinion. Maybe if you just look at the faces. Oh, maybe. the madness no, is overtaking. Even. Yep. These people are now, like, brainwashed and totally groomed into believing that this is, like, normal Smurf content. Right. Like, this all is as it should be. Yeah, this You're is a in- couple months in, by the way, because we're in Vic December. George it started, comes what, back August? in. Yeah. Your image has nothing to do with his story, and your comment is very inappropriate. Therefore, my advice to you is if you can't say anything positive, or at least have a constructive, advised criticism, then don't say anything at all. I don't know. I feel like sometimes destruction is constructive. 
this <laughs> he's this this is sort of like the what uh, the prophet right a, a prophet fulminating about um about how like the end is coming and everyone just wants him to shut up but he is the one who is like trying to save them just all of these pages this long for someone to just come by and say hey, hey man this is fucked this is a little weird. Yeah, it took him this long. This was months and months and months. And finally being like, yo, not only is this weird and has sexual overtones, but it's fucked up. And everyone's like, oh, no, no, it's not. Hey, you're the weirdo here. You're the weirdo here. They're all defending him now. Hello, troll. I... <laughs> troll? <laughs> troll? Yes, troll. Okay, man. Could anyone not be trolling if they think this is wrong? Oh my god. To the troll, what a bizarre interpretation of my work. You'd best cease fretting over our sanity and start worrying about your own. For your own sake and for that of society at large, please seek psychiatric treatment for yourself post Yeah, you take your meds. You're the crazy one. You get help, freak, you sicko. I am fucking losing it. To any moderator, while I realize that my creating this story thread here is a privilege, for which I am very grateful and not a right, I hope that I am not out of line if I humbly request that the troll's comments, as well as this one post of mine, be removed and any future posts by the troll subsequently blocked from this thread as it disrupts the ongoing story's mood. Yeah, wow. you yeah you wouldn't want to damage the wanna, mood. No, yeah, wouldn't want to no. bring down the room or anything like this that. Atmosphere. He's built yeah. up this atmosphere. This dude, oh my god, it's the sanctity. This has become a sacred task. Now please read what Squeaky Smurf said. My goodness, sexual overtones, you say? Oh, please, Mr. Mrs. What the fuck? Give us a break. That's an old Brazilian expression. I, to look for horns on a horse's head, which fits you perfectly, because that's what, what, just what you, because that's what, that was just, oh, that's, that was just what you've done. You think it's sexual <laughs> because you want it to be. Yeah, Actually, see, this is you're the reverse the gaslighting. One. See? Yes. It he is. does this now where and it's like all you're of these the sick people freak. are swooping in saying they it. They are defending him. It's so insane. Yeah, you're the one who's seeing Goodness. sexuality and like <laughs> you're the one who's not seeing the the fucking weird creepy like what the fuck? It's so it, it relishes in yeah. the suffering. I just, I, I can't be the only one seeing that, right? Like this is, there is, <laughs> there's like, there's a weird. No, you are the weirdo if you think it's weird. That's what yeah. they say. You're the weird. Why are you so weird? Is. Why are you to the troll? This is what weird? a bizarre interpretation of my work. I just love how condescending that is. Right? Yeah. I just what a love bizarre how... interpretation. Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker uh, reads um, uh, 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 reads uh, Lolita and is like, "Oh, what a sweet man." Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> oh, this man's just trying to help her. What a sweet guy. Delightful fellow. <laughs> wow, Humbert Humbert. What a funny little name. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> oh no! Can't wait for the next chapter of this story. Oh no. It'll be a rather long wait. By necessity, the upcoming chapter is quite a bit longer. It will require plenty of illustrations. Yes, yes. Is this <sighs> like... This is the yes, climax. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, we're getting yes, there. We're getting there. Yes. We're getting there. Yes. But we still have... Uh, a 
few more steps to take before the big finale. Yeah, Ender Cobra. No, absolutely. He he consistently uses multiple adjectives to describe the pain to like Love properly. Adjectives. Yeah, he to properly encapsulate the feeling. This Swarlock comment is really good too. Of the I wish you hadn't put that picture in here, meaning the UNICEF picture, that's more disturbing than you think and not funny at all. It's insane to me that they don't see how disturbing it is to torture the little babies. Exactly, yet the exactly. Canon Smurf Media is oh that's too far. Too far. <laughs> too far. Right. The this ha what the fuck is this? It's more disturbing than you think. What? What is this? I'm going to... I'm going to... Oh my god. I'm going to vomit. Smurf in hand, since your specialty is writing Smurf fanfics leading, featuring Smurf babies, and I've already commented with you about adopting a baby Smurf, I'd like you to be the first to know. Today, besides Christmas Eve, became even more special to me. I got not one, but two baby Smurfs. Okay, now we're gonna do a couple posts down. Hold on, and there is the archive do. Smurf we who arrive. comes in. And the archive Smurf has written a very thoughtful post in response. Incredibly thoughtful, with many emojis and lots of capital letters, and they are also very upset with the uh, with the UNICEF picture. Oh, I see. Hold on, I'm just adding something to stream to take a course, quick look. Of oh, course, fantastic! Of course, of course. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Oh, that Beautiful. Would make a great Seven TV emote. That, it's that so. Sure it's really the horror that they've seen. Yeah, it really summarizes this, well. It's almost like the fan art with the doctor. D you, you, got, you guys want this as a BTTV? You want it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, okay, if it gets you're... uploaded, I'm putting it on my channel immediately. Okay, hold on. Let me just... Let me get, let me get it just right. It's fantastic. It uh, really is get, just the... Yeah, that's good. What the fuck is going on here, face? I, I'm, I'm titling this, uh, this file Smurf the Fuck. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, yeah, yeah. Link us and I'm, I'm gonna call it dryer. <laughs> <laughs> Diapers, don't I'm doing it. <laughs> it is remarkable the number of things I do just because chat suggests oh, it. Oh, of course, of course. Here we go. Smurf the fuck. Um, emote code dryer. Beautiful, beautiful. This music is so perfect. I think I, I think I might have made a good choice. We've arrived. There it is. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, it's so good. I think I got it just right. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Okay, let me grab. Beautiful. Let me go get that. Just dryer. It's called dryer. Okay. Dryer in all caps. I like Rayfell, welcome in. I like the idea that people just stumble in here like they just fell out of the dryer. Well, that's what they did, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> We're looking at a Smurf fucking torture fic. Poop sock. Really bringing us together. <laughs> I'm glad, y you know, we, we met back like during Limes's 2.0 debut. Right, right. right. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm glad that this is what it took to bring us together. The Smurf forums, of course. Yeah. No, this is fantastic. Yeah. This is yeah. a really Beautiful a good place. bonding extra. It actually uh -huh. kind of helps us measure your threshold for this kind truly, of truly, truly. Yeah. Oh no, that's fair. I mean, and I mean, you know what? You are welcome to continue testing it and, and come <laughs> on and share more stuff because. I, I, I think I speak for my chat when I say you are fucking perfect for this stream. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, anybody you who wants more to than... see my weird things is great. You have been more than welcome. Hey, you wanna you wanna touch my skeleton dick and my butt and all my weird stuff? <laughs> I bet you do. 
<laughs> yeah, I bet you do. Uh, I also, just everyone defending this is fucking brain rotted, right? Yeah, like, no, so brain rotted. So, so like, oh, brain rotted. Great. There's no way. I don't understand how none of them. I don't understand how none of them see it. Fucked up like a bridge in the country with a pelvis full of energy. Arrange you out like an enemy. Oh my god. There is oh, Merry here we Christmas go. and Archives Happy Hanukkah. For, yep, here we go. Um, oh my god, look at all these names. Barbaduk Brainy slash D Evolution Smurf. Is that, wait, what? D Evolution Smurf? <laughs> wait, that phrase is familiar. D Evolution? Who knows? Does anyone know? I, I feel like that is a term I've heard before. What about Smurfus nor Smurficus? Devo. Devo. Hold Boingo on. Boingo Boingo Smurf. It's from the film Evolution. It's a, well, de-evolution. Diva, hold on. It's a Pokemon thing? Mario, well, no, th this was in 2000 what? 2008. What, okay, d well, I don't know what de-evolution Smurf means. Also, Space Harrier Brainy. Also, Oingo Boingo Smurf. Slash Tuner Smurf. Slash Smurfus nor Smurficus. <laughs> Is this Titus Andronicus? Of, he's no. got a lot of, uh, lot of, uh, I was gonna say personalities. Yeah. A lot of aliases. I, at least they're all in one, right? True, true. To what the fuck? WTF, you are discriminating the Smurfs. How dare you be mean to Smurf in Hand's story? You made us very sad, mad, and disappointed. This is not a troll comment because you see, if you go to the bottom right there, it says he has 1,476 posts. So this is a completely serious reply. Completely. Completely serious. Jesus Christ. <laughs> This Mike needs to see this. That's what my chat has been telling me. Their dream is for them, for me and Mike to go through this. Look, I might be able to arrange that. You know what? I think what? Because it's gotta get there. He's gotta see it. Mike has learned to trust me when I uh, when I suggest something to him, right? Like I, I'm I'm kind of his filter. I think the only thing that I've shown him in like the past couple of years that hasn't been a banger, like hasn't been a banger with his chat, is um, uh, Sarah Palin forever. But I think that was just like a little too, like rhetorically complicated. Um, I'm not sure what that is <laughs> either. Oh, it is very obscure. It's, it's super obscure. No one's seen it. No one's seen it. Like, um, it, it's the same person who did Flowers Blooming Backwards into Noise. Uh, they wrote a story about someone, uh, about a girl who was born into uh, a, a never-ending Sarah Palin rally that resets every three hours. Oh, and, God. Uh, like Groundhog Paul, Day? Yeah. It, it, it's just every three hours, though, right? Like, everything just resets. Wow. And, it uh, the visuals are all done with Mid Journey, and, and like are super uncanny, and uh, the voice is an AI of Sarah Palin. <laughs> it is this. it is specifically like this dude is super critical of AI, and so he's using it to be like this is fucked. This is like a Sarah Palin rally <laughs> on repeat forever. It is actually a fantastic story would highly recommend you know, okay check out the flowers blooming backwards and stuff all right so we've got him saying you know you're discriminating against the smurfs right i think it might be time everyone yes yeah, this might seven? i'm worried Are we going i'm to worried that seven? this might be jumping the shark for this music choice but please forgive me if this is jumping the shark a little but Bring us in. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. The time has come. Page seven. Oh boy. Oh 
Oh boy, yep. Oh boy. I'm not much of an online story reader myself. I just make the shit. Post awareness, page seven. <laughs> okay. Here we go. This is two day. No, this is the day after Christmas. Oh, fantastic. Oh, Merry Christmas to the thread, then. Fantastic. I was spending yet another happy afternoon playing with and helping to care for the baby Smurfs at the Blue Moon Nursery. You know what? I need a cup of tea. Like, I need to refresh my cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Oh, no, by all means, please do. This is the. You this definitely is... should. I'm gonna need this. Make sure your oh, pipes are yeah. thoroughly lubricated, because we oh, are yeah. about to. This is gonna get uh, like hearty part of the story. Yeah. Uh, we might be crying big at some posts. point. We don't know. Big this posts, but big beautiful. story here. Big drama. <sighs> okay. God, this page is. They're all very. These are the longest posts by far, but these are the full depths of the man's mind. Okay. Deep breath. Just remember, it will continue to get worse. Oh, good. I really should have secured some alcohol. I have no alcohol. In <laughs> I don't, I just don't drink, so I just don't, I don't keep it around. You got some well, mouthwash? Mouth this wash. is driving <laughs> you to drink. Have, because it's that alcohol. insane. From point A to where we are now. So <laughs> insane. From this yeah. man getting a baby Smurf on his doorstep to yeah. where this leads us. How far the evolution has gone. Actually, uh, I'm gonna go run and pee really quick, but feel free to okay. read the next part without me. I'd like, I'll be just a moment anyway, so okay. feel free to yeah, start. Yeah. I'll be back in a sec. Okay. You, we can, you can start easing in, you know, just, yeah. oh boy. I was spending yet another happy afternoon playing with and helping to care for the baby Smurfs at the Blue Moon Nursery. Sitting down on the carpeted floor, I produced a book as a couple of the curious infants approached, one crawling and the other scooting along on its rump, squeaking for me to pick them up. They were pom-pom and strawberry. A baby Smurf possessed two common methods of locomotion. It could crawl on all fours, or it could sit upright and scoot itself along for short distances. Strawberry in particular preferred scooting about the playroom floor on her little rear end. Who wants to hear a story, I asked in a friendly sing-song voice. The two tiny blue infants waved their tiny arms and piped up, squeaking eagerly. Strawberry and Pom Pom loved to sit huddled together in my lap and gaze attentively up at me, their soft, warm blue tails quivering with joy as, uh, as I read to them from a baby storybook. After everything we've read, I'm not sure I like the word quivering oh, here. No, no, because he's used it in positive and negative ways. The simple little creatures probably barely understood most of what I read, but the colorful pictures and the rhythm of my voice as I spoke softly to them in motherese alone was sufficient to soothe and delight the wee critters. I'd even given the two sweet little smurflings their own miniature organic cloth pretend books with non-toxic dye so that they could read along with me. Sometimes I'd see the little deers holding those wordless playbooks and squeaking in cute intonations as if they were actually reading them in their best imitation of me. Just fucking hand them real books, right? Like get them no, acquainted with No, they're not. They the, no, that they need organic cloth with natural dyes. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, last sentence. I mean, last I, paragraph before the ball starts rolling. I, I'd like to point out that there has not been one thought of concern for their upbringing. Like, just the caring of them is the point. Yes. They, they're not, like, they they're don't not seem to care any much about their learning. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, oh, look, it's Pom Pom's little fucked up tail. His nub. <laughs> I, how much, like, what, what do you think this person would think of someone who got top surgery? I have no idea. I just have absolute, like, it's like, 
I'm sure it's all a metaphor for something, but... <sighs> Who the fuck donated a sub to Quivering Palm? Oh, God. <laughs> Machacha Fulgrim. Fuck <laughs> nice Chacha. Yeah. Nice Chacha. When I prepared to leave for home, I cuddled each of the soft, warm, tiny blue babes for a goodly amount of time, giving Strawberry's responsive tail a series of gentle, tickling flicks. I gave Pom Pom's tail a gentle squeeze as well. The bulbous, fluid-filled sac beneath his posterior skin had eventually been filled with a synthetic gelatin, providing the delightfully soft and squishy consistency of a genuine Smurf's tail. See, now that's purely for the humans. Like, he doesn't care if his tail is squishy. He's not getting feeling from gelatin. Yeah. Uh, though the pleasurable sensation of a true Smurf's tail would always be absent, Pom Pom still appreciated the affection on, a, on an emotional level. To him, at least, he had some sort of a tail for his cradle mates to grasp onto and kind humans to stroke. Can I... Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, 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 please continue. I have... I have disabled friends. And I gotta say, the phrase, the, the pleasurable sensation of a true Smurf's tail would always be absent. That's like, a little fucked? Yeah, he's like a always little... talking down to him. Like, he's always been kind of talked down to because he didn't have a tail. Yeah. Why have you disabled your friends, Fred? <laughs> like, you know what he was, friends. like, saying, like, a miserable, <laughs> like, he's calling it, like, a miserable <laughs> stump, you know? Yeah. Right, it's just, it's just fucking different, Like, man. that's calling someone who has, like, one leg or one arm, like, saying, oh, yeah, well, cover up your miserable stump, we're going outside, <laughs> you know? Right, right, it's just, like, I understand that, like, you will never, like, be a, like, you will never have a true leg, but this is real acceptable. leg or you know yeah yeah like, like all of won't... us right yeah they are defined oh starry feathers put it really well they are defined by their deformities tailless runt true right <laughs> that is messed up that he uses those like to to really just be like and the little runt did this and you know it's mm -hmm. it's really funny that he he uses that in such a way Right. Like, he's not even I mean, hiding it, is what it, what's the funny part, you know? Right. Well, my, my experience with, with my disabled friends is always, like, I don't, like, for me, at least, it, I don't know, it, it I never really think about it much. It, it think, I, I think about it like this. Every person I know needs accommodations. It can be one thing or another, right? Like, mm -hmm. Like, some people want to be referred to in certain ways. Some people want, um, or, like, some people don't like talking about particular topics or have particular things they're sensitive about. You just don't talk yeah, to yeah. them about. And, um, and to me, I, like, just my experience is people with disabilities just need accommodations, but, like, so does fucking everyone. Right? Like, that's that's not unique. Every Like, everyone needs accommodations. Like, so if... That's true, that's like, true. Like, so if someone's deaf, you just make sure to speak slowly and clearly. Mm -hmm. Right? If, if they have if they have hearing aids, or um, if you're walking with someone who has, like, some sort of um, leg injury, you walk slower. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, that's... Yeah. That's not hard, right? It's... Those sorts of accommodations, like, if everyone needs accommodations, then why is this any different? It's so. It, it it take it doesn't take very much consideration either. And but like, also they have this whole council for the well being of Smurfs, supposedly you know well, brought mean, up th several chapters ago. Well, this is bringing like this is like bringing race into it, right? Like we're we're, it's like the ADL of Smurfs. <laughs> yeah. I guess just, it is so, 
It's so weird to me to see, like, disability described in such a way. Yeah, it's, it, I mean, all of his descriptions are just so strange. It's, it, it's taking, I think it's like taking an infantili- infantilizing language and applying it to a sentient being. Right? Because these are allegedly sentient beings, but as time has gone on, they have become less and less sentient. Mm-hmm. Have you noticed that? They have less and less true, agency. That's true. It's less about like the character development and stuff too. Like he's just basically talking about what's happening to them, but not like about how they're uh, aside from them crying right. from reacting. There's no right. character development for the story, which is necessity right. for that kind of stuff. So I'm I'm just I'm just gonna throw this out here. Because what happens to the Smurfling after it grows up? Is it still his Smurfling? Because he's treating it like a pet. Um, And if that is true, if that logic holds true, then what he's doing is keeping sentient pets. We have names for those. Yes. Slaves. What he wants, this is a, like, this isn't just a fatherhood fantasy. Because that, I think, I think we're pretty well beyond Ownership that. Ownership fantasy. This is slavery fantasy. Mm-hmm. And I, th- I think that's what's weird. Is like, the story has not metastasized into this yet, but that is its trajectory. That's gonna because get so much worse, what, man. It was gonna what? Get so other, are you kidding me? <laughs> Wait. Okay. Tell me. Have I? Have I like? Have I hit on anything? I mean, there's, like, the overall themes and tones of the ownership, of course. But it's going to get... Think uh, This guy is kind of a simple being. Think on a simpler level. I think we're giving him slightly a little bit too much credit. Like, definitely he's manipulating his audience. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. And he knows he's getting emotional responses from them, and he Mm -hmm. likes it. But just think on a little bit simpler of a level, and it's about to get so much, so much worse. I don't like that. When I prepared to leave home, leave for home, I cuddled each of the soft, warm, tiny blue babes for a goodly amount of time. We already read that. Right, the gelatin. Uh, tucking them snugly into their cradle, I fluffed their adorable little non-allergenic pillows for them to rest their weary heads. I promised to visit them first thing tomorrow morning. Luckily, I have been able to schedule another volunteer visit for early the next day since it was a weekend and the two baby Smurfs and I would have another wonderful day. Or so I had thought. And here, uh, here we go. We go. It was early morning after the one and only night that our security guard couldn't. Uh... Here we go. Ends up in the air as we go down the hill on the roller coaster. Uh, it's coming hard and fast and it's gonna keep going for the next several posts oh no Blue, uh, due to mystery. Okay, so the security guard couldn't make it due to mysterious car troubles. Blueberry had fallen asleep in my coat pocket during the hour-long drive. I pulled into my parking place and pushed the intercom button outside. Wait, I thought it was half an hour. Away. Whatever. Pushed the intercom button outside the front door to identify myself and be buzzed inside. There was no answer, so I tried again and again. I thought perhaps the nurse was in the powder room, so I patiently waited for a few minutes before repeating still no answer and now i was worried without the guard the nurse had spent the night alone in the nursery with the baby smurfs since i was only a volunteer even though a very trusted one i still couldn't be issued a key i thought about calling one of the other nurses or my lady friend who lived in town to let me in and investigate but before i could dial a number i saw a car who the fuck gifted a sub to stuck in the dryer <laughs> Hey, boy. Good to see ya. Before I could dial a number, I saw a car roll into the parking lot. It was the stern weekend day nurse reporting for her shift. I told her there had been no answer, and she let us both in with her key. Did I forget to mention that the city that we were in was Christchurch? The nurse... (laughs) 
<laughs> the nursery was eerily silent as we like I, I'm tr I'm rolling through my head what this could possibly be. Oh, this this is oh my like God, he is sicker than you can even imagine. I what how bad does this get? Can't tell you. How bad does the oh no you gotta The nursery get was you gotta, eerily gonna... silent as we split off to locate the night nurse. I repeatedly called out for the nurse by name as I walked down the main corridor and was answered by a thump and a cry of my name from within the broom closet. Get me out of here! The babies are in danger! I unlocked the closet. Oh, hold on. We're... I'm turning this up. I unlocked yeah. the closet and the night nurse burst out, running down the hall in a frenzy and into the Smurfs' playroom. I followed her closely behind with growing alarm, mindful of my adopted baby Smurf still nestled in my pocket. He was now awake, and I could feel him shifting about and stretching with a baby Smurf yawn that was a little more than a, that was little more than a soft, tiny peep. We located all but two of the little baby Smurfs cowering in nooks about the nursery playroom. The poor incontinent runt had wet herself hours ago, and most of the other poor little blue infants were terribly overdue for a diaper change. We couldn't, however, locate Strawberry or Pom Pom, and after an hour of searching the nursery, we came to the chilling conclusion they'd been Smurf-napped by whoever had shoved the night nurse from behind and locked her in the closet while putting something away. The nurse had heard the wee one's panicked cries, unable to come to their aid. The police were phoned and within the half hour, the nurses and I made our statements in turn in the front office, all the while trying to calm and clean the traumatized baby Smurfs as the these new strangers investigated the nursery, particularly the closet and playroom. Hi, Jaw. Blueberry was especially sensitive, and picking up on the mood of the other Smurflings and noting the absence of Strawberry and Pom Pom, started whining anxiously. Over the next three days, the mood was very tense at the nursery, and humans and Smurfs alike were affected. The poor little Smurfling runt started crying day and night from tummy cramps, and after checking and rechecking her diaper throughout the day, and it was surmised that the creature's insides weren't moving. One of the nurses handed me a little bowl of Smurfberry pudding with something added to help the wee one get back to normal. Unfortunately, the Smurf Berry's flavor could, could not entirely mask the dis disagreeable taste of the special additive. Anything that didn't taste like those sweet berries from the Smurf's fabled, fabled shrubs was simply unpalatable to the fussy little creature's hypersensitive taste buds. I had the unpleasant but necessary task of force-feeding the tiny blue infant this special concoction several times a day. This is laborious to read. <laughs> the little thing frequently gagged and almost choked as I tried to get it down its throat with a- God, I don't fucking care. <laughs> God, I don't care. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, yeah, I'm skipping. No, fuck this. <laughs> no, this is not a game. No, the whole paragraph is like <laughs> this dude trying to feed a baby laxatives. <laughs> Are you sh- No, she's not shitting. I'm- a God, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You broken by my puzzle box. Oh my Christ. On the fourth day, the night nurse and myself were called into the police station for a follow-up in the investigation. This was written in a way that, like, unintentionally reveals that he knows nobody wants to read this. <laughs> a whole paragraph about it <laughs> gagging while you try to feed it medicine. Yeah, again, if you think it's weird, then you, That's on you are the fucked up one, okay? Yeah. How dare you have those thoughts when I use such descriptive words? I'm telling you exactly what's going down the thing's throat. 
Who the fuck gifted a sub to Blue Runt? <laughs> <laughs> Someone oh hiding behind an anonymous uh, username there, I see. I'm gonna put you in the dryer. <laughs> if I figure out who you were, I'm... This is... You know what this is? At this point. This is akin to um, that one time that Quentin Tarantino wrote that like, like, cast himself as a character who, like, drinks tequila off of a woman's foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. It's like, he's just, he's just indulging. He's playing the obvious. Right. It's like, who are you fooling, right? Like, who would hurt them? Who? Who would hurt these lovely creatures? Right. Like, who? Who, who could would ever hurt them? Imagine? There's like, who I, I am a good thing? dad. I am a good dad. On the fourth n day, the night nurse and myself were called into the police station for a follow-up in the investigation. Since there didn't yet exist any statutes clearly defining a Smurf's sentience or rights, the police had to treat the matter mainly as a case of burglary and animal theft. If ever caught, the perpetrator would get more jail time for simply locking the nurse in the closet than for any atrocities committed against our beloved Smurflings. Sir Jeffrey Bengals just gifted a sub to Constipated Baby. <laughs> good, good, yes, yes. Nuclear Bomb versus Coughing Baby. No, don't gift a sub to Praise Daddy. <laughs> Oh my god. No, don't do this. This isn't necessary. Earlier this morning, our cyber specialist located these video clips hosted on a server somewhere outside the country. It had been already accessed several hundred times before he was able to hack the site and take it down. While the server may not be local, we have reason to believe that the video clip itself was shot and uploaded not more than a two to three hours drive from your nursery. Fred. Yeah. Smurf. Snuff. Film. Yeah. Smurf snuff. Smurf red room. Smurf torture live stream. I'll be right back. <laughs> Uh, 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 for BRB. Oh god. Oh my god. Yeah. It's <laughs> such a treat. This is the cracking. This is the it. cracking. We're literally though. at the, the apex of this. This is We are we're like, we are we're not even up to baby Snickers yet. We're not even I up know, to baby Snickers. Oh yeah, we're almost there. He's gonna lose we're almost it. There. He's we're almost gonna lose it. it. <laughs> like absolutely. All right, all right, all right. I am, am going to run and uh, pee real, real, real quick. Yeah, go for it. I'm gonna chill. Can I read the paragraph he skipped? Sure, let me go see. Let me go grab that. Okay, that was, wait, that was here. Over the next three days, the mood was tense in the nursery. Wait, it was this, I think, right? The per. Okay, yeah. Over the next three days, the mood was very tense at the nursery, and the humans and Smurfs alike were affected. These poor little Smurfling runts started crying day and night from tummy cramps, and after checking and rechecking her diaper throughout the day, and it was surmised that the creature's insides weren't moving. One of the nurses handed me a little bowl of Smurf berry pudding with something added to help the wee one go back to normal. Unfortunately, the Smurf berry's flavor could not entirely mask the disagreeable okay. taste of the special additive. Hi, welcome back, Fred. Uh, anything that didn't taste like those sweet berries from the Smurf's fabled shrubs was simply unpalatable, and the fussy little creature's hypersensitive taste buds. I had an unpleasant but necessary you... task. Oh, they asked me to read the paragraph that you skipped. Oh, <laughs> why? Because, <laughs> uh, you know, the kill time to, you know, where we, you know, for uh, dad to pick us up at the baseball game, you know? Yeah, yeah you know... Uh, me meets BRB, but we can continue. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know that I could angry piss, but uh, here we are. 
Oh, dude, angry pisses are the best. Don't you feel like so much relief? Like you almost forget how to piss right before when where it's like, oh god, how am I gonna piss? I forgot how to do it. And then once you and let it your out, your body, just like, your body teaches you again. Yeah. And you're just like, mm, take that. Mm. <laughs> thanks for the raid, Sapphire Moon Dancer. Um, but your your viewers certainly are not going to thank you for it. Yeah. Um, Welcome to I our last? nightmare. Okay. The nurse and I sat in silent apprehension. I have to warn you, the subject matter is very disturbing, but we need at least one of you to identify the victims in order to proceed with the investigation. The detective opened a file on the computer desktop and the movie snippet filled the screen and began to play. He's going to describe this in excruciating detail, isn't he? I watched the video clip in horror. Nothing could have prepared me for what we were about to witness. There was Pom Pom and Strawberry. Pom Pom's darling little hat with its fluffy blue pom pom sewed on it. Sewed on was unmistakable. The terrified little blue infants each were hog tied and dangling in midair, crying their little hearts out. Strawberry's adorable little pink PJs with the word Little Miracle printed on them were torn off and lay on a rough looking workbench below. Occasionally, we'd hear a man's coarse laughter between our beloved Smurfling's tortured sobs. Wow, they used the correct apostrophe there. Seeing from the video how much the- oh my god, there's a drawing. Uh, Alright, I'm back. I'm back. There's a fucking drawing. There's a fucking drawing. Oh, there's a oh, drawing yeah. for everything. Oh, Dude, yeah. Th yeah, there's a drawing for Remember, everything. he said these were going to be some big chapters with lots of drawings. Welcome, welcome, Fred. Welcome in. The Titanic is sinking. The orchestra is playing. Thanks for the 500, Vimstyre. Uh, okay, uh, we are skipping to uh, stage three. Actually, we're going to skip... Yeah, we're skipping to stage three right now. Okay, all right. Yeah. Brother. Seeing from the video how much the two baby Smurfs' diapers sagged told me that they'd been unpleasantly sodden and soiled for a very long time, perhaps for a day or even longer. Poor little Pom Pom flushed miserably as his ersatz tail was ridiculed. The cruel man jabbed at it with his finger. What's with your misshapen tail, you deformed little blue freak? This is actually his, Mike. It is, it's Mike. <laughs> his masked captor sneered. Oh my god, he's even masked! It's masked. Yeah. It, it, it's yeah. fucking, yeah. it's Jazz Mister. It's Jazz Mister. What's Jazz Mister? Oh, Jazz Mister is uh, his VTubing rig. Oh, oh my yeah, bad, my yeah. B. Yeah, yeah, the one that he uses uh, on occasion. His masked captor sneered in a digitally dis disguised voice. Then the helpless smurfling, soft, tender, bulbous... Why is it always three adjectives? Always. Bulbous little blue... No, wait, this is five. Soft, tender, bulbous... Wait. <laughs> soft, tender, soft, bulbous, tender, little, bulbous. Blue little blue... That's fine, noses. yeah and tails, which they so loved to have caressed at the nursery, were each viciously pinched, jerked, and twisted repeatedly. A smurf's nose was tender enough, but there was nothing so sensitive as a smurf's bulbous tail. Don't, don't give the sub to deformed blueberry. Oh, come on, he's not that deformed. Are you shitting me? I blanched at those tied smurflings' sharp, frantic screeches of pain. They were like nothing I'd ever before heard, and I would rather have gone permanently deaf than to hear those poor, suffering, tiny blue infant creatures' shrill outbursts of unmitigated agony. Again, Are you ready five. for the picture? Now, I want you to remember he drew this. Hold on. What the shit? 
drew this. <laughs> These are his hands. What the fuck? Oh. Dementia can't come soon enough. Beautiful. In the next scene, they ho more. In the next scene, they howled as each was taken in turn by their floppy, round Smurf ears, which were which were also were given a series of merciless wrenches and twists. Oh, the grammar is degrading. Like it's the part where he's starting to, to rush to it again. Remember, yeah, like yeah, he did yeah. this last time too, where he's. I just gotta get yeah, to the good yeah. part. I just don't care. I'm not perfect. Mm -hmm. The baby Smurf's soft, round ears were roughly twisted and wrenched out of shape. The delicate thing soon exhibited severe bruising and swelling. I was dumbfounded by these dark scenes of wanton cruelty. Why anyone would be amused by the cute little baby creature's sufferings was beyond my comprehension. This? Oh, Fred, there's so many. This? There's at least one, two, three. There's three no, more no, pictures no. in this post. No, no, hold on. This oh, right good. here is a self-report. Oh, it's gonna get so much worse. Why though. anyone would be amused by the cute little baby creature's sufferings was beyond my comprehension. <laughs> this motherfucker <laughs> is calling out his the readers. Gun in your like, hand. Yeah. This motherfucker is calling out his readers. It's like, you people are sick. Smoking. The, this this is no, th th this is him calling out his own reader. Like, this has to be self-aware at this point, right? Like, he has to... Th this can't... He can't be this, like, thick. He's using he's, his he own hands. I think he... I think... I don't he knows know. what he's doing, but he's using the... What is it? The, the deniability? He's using, like, the plausibility as, like, a little blanket for himself. Where it's like, no, no, you're the sick of it. You're the sick of it. Yeah, you. It's you that's you. disgusting. You. you just don't get you. it. <laughs> you just don't get it. <laughs> Strawberry was then untied and allowed to fall. The diapered Smurfling's posterior hit the workbench with an audible, wet, and squishy-sounding plop. The diaper was yanked off as the tiny blue infant was pinned face down on the workbench's nicked and greasy surface. The man's other hand came back into view, brandishing what appeared to be a short section of flexible plastic track for toy cars. As Pom Pom dangled above, he stopped crying and gaped in abject disbelief as Strawberry was slapped repeatedly on the rear with the length of track. The Lilliputian's in Lilliputian infant's face contorted and went purple as it yelped with each sharp resounding smack. The shocked, soggy, and sobbing pom-pom was untied and dealt with next. The poor smurfling thrashed and screamed wildly as it was spanked. When it was over, the two stunned and exhausted little creatures lay face down, sobbing breathlessly. Their tender, <laughs> plump little blue bottoms were covered in reddish welts. What the <laughs> shit? <laughs> oh... This is so fucked. Who conceives of this? <laughs> I don't know. Only if the sickest person that there could be. The only the sickest person. Moony the Spoonie, thanks. Thanks for the ten dollars. Don't worry. Right is I'm still going. This Pardon if I'm putting this in the wrong place. Not used to Twitch, but I'd like to ask consent to pray for your sanity. <laughs> Consent granted. I could use all the help oh, yeah, I could please. get. Divine or otherwise. Who the fuck gifted a sub to Strawberry Jam? <laughs> <laughs> Macho. Don't gift a sub to Spank Me Daddy. What the shit? <laughs> no, this is. Holy shit. What the readers... Okay, no. This has to be the line. 
This has to be the line. It's not that. Fred, Fred, Fred. We're still on scoop one of ice cream. Well, that's probably yeah. scoop. We're working on scoop two, but there's still like four scoops left, dude. Yeah. Neither of the tiny blue creatures have ever been remotely treated like this before. Have they, do we have to read all of this? Mm. What? I think it's best. I think I think well, it's best. There we is a it. big crescendo at the end of this post, so okay. yeah. Yeah. It's it, this is one of the it. prime images at the It'll end of this off. post. Okay. Yeah. Straw uh, great, great. I'm I'm here for the payoff. Great. <laughs> Stra <laughs> Strawberry especially had never experienced any real pain in all her sweet young life, nor had any human ever abused her, and the shock of this nightmarish cruelty after being so mollycoddled at the Blue Moon Nursery threatened to destroy her fragile psyche. From off camera, their tormentor's raucous laughter eclipsed Strawberry's and Pom Pom's plaintive mewling. In a later part of the clip, Pom Pom had been grabbed and was being dunked head first into a pail of water. He was held halfway under as he writhed wildly. I could see his legs kicking frantically in the air and his bruised and swollen smurf's tail panicked quivering. The diminutive baby creature was powerless in its torturer's grasp and was merciless, mercilessly immersed for intolerably long periods of time. Upon the brink of drowning, the suffering little infant would be brought up only long enough to have any water squeezed from its aching little lungs and to take a couple desperate gasps of, of air before being shoved back underwater. Now, oh, here's a photo. Just one. Just one. We're at the last photo on the post after this one is really a peak, but here you go. Really <laughs> <laughs> waterboarding babies. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it, it gets worse from here. It gets worse from here. Oh good, smurf juice. <laughs> what? <laughs> I simply had to... <laughs> Go ahead. Chilies, sand, bleach, a spoon. <laughs> this is literally just that scene from fucking. Oh, it's that scene from Utopia. I simply had to turn away from another awful sight of the final <laughs> clip, but not before I saw someone's hands unscrew a bottle of hot pepper sauce and deliberately rub it into helpless <laughs> Strawberry's delicate, moist little eyes using a cotton swab. I was the same type. I was the same type of swab we would use to gently clean the baby Smurfs' big, soft, floppy ears during their bath time. Her piercing shrieks exploded from the computer's speakers and froze my blood. Periodically, these terrible scenes were brightly illuminated by the brief flicker of what must have been a camera's flash. Holy shit. <laughs> Strawberry's frantic writhing and shrieking was unbearable to witness as the poor, blinded little baby Smurf's eyes burned from the red pepper sauce. This is so f don't get this into <laughs> strawberry pepper. <laughs> Ban pig meat protection. Oh boy. <laughs> no, don't give this up to red blueberry either. Smurf sauce. <laughs> don't get. Okay, there's a gift sub to Smurf sauce. Smurf sauce. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> Question: Is yeah. Dante's a real hot sauce? I don't think so. I feel like it has to be, right? The infernos of hell. Be, right. Someone's got to have called sauce. it Dante. I'm gonna look yeah. it up. Uh, yeah, there's a Dante's hot sauce. I, it doesn't look like this, though. I think it was just, like, coincidental. Uh, okay. that they chose that. <clears throat> so, so, hey, everyone. Um, they, don't forget to buy my, mirth, my birthday merch. Oh, my <laughs> or else This is a good time. It. This is a good time. <laughs> Or else the Smurf gets fuck off. So, so uh, birthday merch. How about that? 
What sort of depraved beast would do something like this to an innocent, lovable little baby Smurf? Ooh. I found the very idea, hmm? Would do it! Oh, what sicko would ever think of these terrible things to do to these poor innocent little babies? Who do yay? <laughs> How does Mary feel about this stream? He doesn't know, and it better stay that way. I'll, I'll gladly, if, if Mary wants to come, come to the forums, you know, I'm, I'm sure me and I would be happy to take Mary right down this hole. <laughs> can don't, I, can, don't can tell he animate Daddy. it? Yeah, actually, maybe he could learn some, like, new techniques, like, from some of these, like, internet archive, like, ancient techniques that they used to use. I found the very idea of deriving amusement from intentionally hurting such a precious magical being inconceivable. This reminder that some of us humans possess such a capacity for wanton cruelty made me positively ill with shame and revulsion. I heard a sniffle beside me. Instinctively, I took out my handkerchief and without looking, placed it into the nurse's hands. The lady had only to blot away a single tear before regaining her composure. We'll find them, I tried to reassure her. We'll get our babies home. I wish I believed it myself. I didn't look forward to bedtime that night. I stayed up into the small hours of the night until I was exhausted enough to fall asleep immediately. Those images of strawberry and pom-pom would haunt me relentlessly whenever I lay awake in the dark. Th thanks for gifting a sub to sadist smurf, Jeffrey Bengals. <laughs> Thank you. We've got a Declare. pretty short post for him here. So, like, this is this is a self-report, right? Gotta be. It's gotta be. There, ha this person has to be self-aware, right? I hope. Self-aware? No, no, never. I don't think he ever gets that kind of consciousness. You think this is earnest? I think this is above his like brain capacity. I don't think he'll ever be self-aware. Yeah, this has to be an elaborate troll. Like, if this isn't an elaborate troll, like, I understand that the simple explanation is most often correct, but I don't want the simple explanation to be true. Yeah, yeah. What if I don't like the simple explanation? Reject humanity. Go for the, go for the gold. Yeah. As as it would turn out, the next night I would be visited by a member of Smurf Hardliners, a small secretive group of Smurfs and humans who in the past have made headlines with their more proactive methods of protecting Smurfs' rights. Oh my god. It's, yes. It's SLM. Smurf Lives Matter. Yes, this is literally like the under, like the radical Smurfs that are going to do anything necessary. Or, wait, no, this is... Oh my god, it, it's like... Blue Lives Matter, except literally, Blue Lives Matter. Literally. It, yeah. S Bloom Spectral, you Bloom motherfucker. Mystery. How dare you announce the word Smurfinaries. <laughs> True! <laughs> yeah, this is literally BLM, Blue Lives Matter. The Blue Panthers. <laughs> this is the, that's what this is. Oh my god. Because, like... BLM isn't as, like, Black Lives Matter isn't as, like, proactive, we'll say, uh, as this, usually. Yeah. Um, th this is the Blue Panthers. Yeah, no, 100%. Oh, terrorist Smurf. <laughs> Thank Thanks for gifting a sub to Terrorist Smurf. Excellent, thank you. Great. Excellent, Good. that's my favorite Smurf. Oh my god. Though I didn't exactly have a direct line to their cell, I had left an urgent message for Tattleret. The Smurfette had no official ties to Smurf's more radical arm, but the message was somehow passed along and they had learned of our dilemma. This has escalated so fast. Yeah, we're bringing the SWAT team. What the hell? This is like the plot to an FPS. Yeah. Well, this is the part that, like, we're saying, like, oh, like, we're not even at the good part yet. It's oh, still going to get more insane, God. believe it or not. It's going to keep Are getting more insane. Are you kidding me? It's going to get so much worse. Uh, it's going to yeah, get so it's gonna much It's going to get so much worse. worse. 
Presently, I heard a soft tapping on my bedroom window and looking out I saw a smurf. I was positive that he was the adult smurf whom I had aided in escape from the municipal shelter. I leaped up and opened the window to let him climb in. Instead of the traditional white pants and hat, he wore an urban camouflage knit bodysuit and hat. Slung across his back was a canister of pepper spray with a special trigger to fit a smurf's hands. No doubt this was used to repel cats and terriers and probably people too. <laughs> the adult smurf's concrete textured bodysuit rendered him practically invisible in the streets to human eyes. Yeah, not gonna see a little blueberry running around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got his urban camo. Oh my god. I want to thank you for smurfing me that paperclip, he said in his tiny voice. <laughs> he sees uh, okay, I fucking this amazing. I'm so excited. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh my Christ. I wish Told I could you, have done more for you. It is just a treat. We know about your smurf-napped babies. We also have their possible locations smurfed within a very small radius. We'll try making a move tonight, but before I go, I could use your phone. Of course, I hurriedly grabbed the cordless phone and set it down beside him. Ah, uh, right, when uh, house phones were a thing. Who the yeah. fuck gifted a- your boy Mr. Impotent just gifted a sub to Smurf Team 6. <laughs> that's kind that's of That's amazing, that is a- that's a name, that's amazing. Holy hell. I like, I consistently, consistently, I check to see, like, there's no way that someone made this account, like, before, like, five minutes ago. And they always and do. They always, always do. It, they it's always, always it's like always a 12 year old account. <laughs> it's always real. Oh my god, hold on. Spectral, spectral is a message. Somebody made a cutout of the doctor earlier. Good, good, good. For lovely, our general lovely. use. Ah, oh, beautiful! Fantastic. Okay. No, this is good. Perfect. That's like not the look you want your doctor making at you either. No. You know yeah. you fucked up big time if your doctor right, gives yeah. you that look. Right, like like this is the look this is the look you don't want to see when he's do giving like a prostate exam. Absolutely. Like, well, I'll be damned. Uh, is the music okay? Is the music balanced well? Yeah, enough, I know chat? it's perfect for us. Okay, oh, okay. oh yeah. Yeah. I'm asking well, chat. Chat, how yeah. is it? A smurf has hit the second smurf. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the uh, blueberry was snoring away amidst this whole inter interchange. I think it meant exchange. I don't know what the smurf said, but within minutes a car pulled up into my driveway. The smurf waved goodbye and hopped out the window. Moments later, the car himself and his no doubt human accomplice were gone. I closed and locked the window and lay on my side, gazing at blueberry in his tiny cradle. I wouldn't sleep tonight. Right. Wow. Awesome. Can't wait for the next chapter. Doing oh, really man. great with these illustrations, too. These are incriminating they love comments. It. This, these Absolutely comments on this it. forum, these comments on this forum could be used for any, like, okay, I, I, I think that we're focusing on this from like a prosecutor's point of view, right? right? Like these are incriminating. They're incriminating um, as hell, yeah. Yeah. But I think maybe there's another way of looking at it. These could be used for an insanity plea. True. Right, like, Just like, right, like no, no sane person would look at these images and be like, wow, these are great. Absolutely, this would be actually yeah, a really yeah. great way to get off the hook, honestly. Just yeah, be like, oh, right. look at my behavior well, from 20 years ago. I've always well, been like this, I'm a sicko. Right. To be fair, an insanity plea, um, the, the results of an insanity plea are sometimes worse than prison, but, you know. Like, it just be, because the, the problem with an insanity plea is that if you plea insanity and you get, uh, you get convicted, but, like, are, are deemed insane, criminally insane, you can be locked away in the hospital indefinitely. Yeah, like, they, they don't just say, oh, we're going to put you in for three years of therapy. No, they release you when they say it's time for you to go. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's a wolf who goes over the cuckoo's nest. You got to make yeah. friends with a big man who could throw a sink through the window for R you. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That was a good movie. That was a good one.
I need to read the book, but the movie was really good. Your story is getting more and more thrilling, Smurf in hand. Really? He's worrying about his Smurf anatomy. Yeah, he, well, he wants his art to be good. Oh my god. I'm really Very impressed. thrilling chapter. Oh my god. They love it. They love his story. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay, look. People, creatives, spend their entire lives looking for their audience. This person has found that. Exactly. This person oh, yeah. is more fulfilled than I would say a majority of artists. <laughs> They have found the people. There, there are a total of five people who would appreciate these stories in, found on all the of planet them. Earth. And yeah, and he found all five of them. That is incredible. What a beautiful... That is a Cartman Smurf, yes. A beautiful, beautiful tragedy. Mm-hmm. Wait, that's Cartman in Smurf face. In blue face. Yes, yes. Here's a photo of my baby Smurf surrounded with my Smurf collection. Why are you posting this here? Why are you hijacking this thread? To well, because she's your the one that got photo? the two babies. Yeah, the I baby know, Smurfs. But... She's the one that did the one that it says "I've we've arrived" or something like whatever that photo was. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This lady's just very supportive of you know her Uzi's work. Oh great! Thanks for gifting a sub to Ruffette. Good. <laughs> good. Good. Thank you. Oh boy. So here we're we about come. to get to a. Oh, no. it, we, okay. This is the uh, this is the third scoop of the ice cream. I'd say we still have at least one scoop left after this too. <sighs> okay. But this is the big scoop. Yeah, we are we are in the middle. Wait, like this... we are gonna be. There's two. There's two. Big okay, this is the left. big scoop. Yeah, there, these this is two the big acts scoop of heinous things that are about to happen. Are the big scoops? Well, okay. there's going to be another big scoop in the last, in the yes. last one too. So you're, yes. you're scooping. We're but scooping, the, guys. The, not the the first scoop is going to be oh shit, that's a scoop. But the second scoop after this is going to be insane. And that's going to be the the ultimate scoop after this one. Let's, okay. The, yeah. It's going to be so, your favorite flavor in the middle. Okay. We've been going for over seven hours now, and I yeah. have not eaten. Yeah. You and this take a is a lot. Break? I'm, do you I'm want to divide it into two? What would you like to do? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and heat up some pizza. Okay. Because on, on my birthday, they act, they um they m made my pizza wrong and then like decided to bring me the goofed pizza. So I have two Hell pizzas. Hell yeah. Lucky nice. day. Yeah, right. It, like for It was on my birthday. That's like super lucky that you got two pizzas same day, even if it was... Yeah, like, right? Yeah. It's wild. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to be right back. I'm going to fill my stomach so that I have something to vomit. <laughs> and then we've got we the two this. big posts, and I think that's the end. So the grand, okay. grand, the grand finale. finale. Yeah. I mean, it's still at least probably an hour and a half to two hours of content here, I would say. Right. But, yeah. but like, I no. feel like... Definitely go eat. I'm gonna go eat I'm too. Actually, I've been snacking this. Yeah, time, we'll grab this whole time, some snacks. I'd like, yeah, I'd okay. like a fulfilling meal myself. All right, so here's the plan. Everyone, break, yeah. grab some food. Yeah. Um, message me in the group chat when you're back, and we will finish this Smurf cake. Hell yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have said Smurf cake. Oh uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, spoiler: They don't get baked into a cake. If that's what you weren't worried about, no. Nah, oh no, I, I was terrible, ass. terrible things. Smurf ass. Oh, we've seen some of it. We have, um, it, but like in the context of of babies being spanked with, um, which is not the same. With like Hot Wheels track. <laughs> I definitely would would like smack like my brother and I would smack yeah, each it other hurts. with them. It was fun, right? Like, oh great! Then who gifted a sub to Blue Snuff video? And also, Toasty Bag Biggins gifted a sub to Smurf Cake. Good, Great. good, good. Great. Great. 
They've been around since 2013. You know Perfect. what? Good. Good. Everyone, we'll be right back. Uh, I'm just going to get some food in me, and then we'll continue. Like, everyone's going to get food in them. And we'll continue. Meat is going to get meat. Uh, Koki is going to... I'm pretty Eat sure you... Right, yeah, you live entirely off of, like, like monster energy and, and insects, right? I mean, uh, it's, it's gamer subs and, yeah, cricket protein for the most part. <laughs> olives, too. Olives and cricket protein. Just loves olives, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, everyone. I'll see you in just a few minutes.
Okay. Oh, boy. I have, I have a full stomach and full resolve. Well, I'm we're ready. right here at the end. You just got just a little bit more kicking. And it's all going to be all right. Oh, oh, good. Oh, good. Like, kicking. But when you say kicking, you mean we're kicking Smurfs, right? Like, smashing them under that, our heel into a fine blue paste. That, or just, you know, kicking and screaming a little bit. I mean, both, right? Like, they get caught underfoot. <laughs> both, both, I think both. Ko Koki is, uh, is muted right now. Good, good. I'm an yeah, idiot. Oh, wow, look at you. Oh, you're back. You're okay, fine. Good, good, good. Yeah, I was all like <laughs> adding the conversation stuff too. I was saying, uh, yeah, instead of Smurf in here, it's Smurf underfoot. Oh, oh my god. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, gr good. Good. I, I wanted to hurt more tonight. Well, oh, shall it's gonna we? It's going to get so much worse. All right, let's do so this. Let's do this. Let's do that. I don't like how you're saying that. It does. It just gets worse. That's all I you can say. Best. Don't <laughs> don't give say. don't give the sub to Smurf Popper. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Smurf Art Smurf at Heart. This is so. That is so cute. You're really talented. Who <laughs> the fuck? Who looks really at this and is like, oh, this is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. As I lay awake that night, awaiting news from the Smurf militants, my thoughts drifted back to those video clips I'd seen of Pom Pom and Strawberry imprisoned and abused by that pitiless ogre. Simply the idea of that disgusting fiend rudely disrobing our precious baby Smurfs and sullying their naked little bodies with his rough, filthy hands made me see this is horny. Absolutely. <laughs> the whole thing is, it basically has been and will continue to be. No, this is like, look, th th there is a world where you could have convinced me that everything before this wasn't horny. It was just like misery porn. This is horny. Well, they started off strong with all of the descriptive things, like the, all the adjectives about the stuff going down the throat and yeah. everything, you know what I mean? The pictures. But, uh, yeah, no, this is, this is bad. Frederick, you are horny for thinking that. Ah, uh, I've been... Of course, <laughs> you see. Ah, uh, it is I who must introspect mm -hmm. about why I am reading it this way. In the video clips, I have been able to see the revulsion and discomfort reflected in the, in the eyes of the man's tiny blue captives. The Smurflings would visibly shrink away from the wicked human's violating leers and flinch at the touch of his coarse fingers on their delicate, bare, cerulean flesh. This is the first time he's described them as cerulean. Just and saying. flesh. And flesh. Baby Smurfs by nature were innocent beings and not typically body conscious around their peers or familiars, kindly stewards, be they Smurf or human. My own baby Blueberry, in fact, often romped and rolled about, squealing with unabashed delight, sky clad, sky clad, oh, like blue, fuck off, save for his little Smurf cap whilst I cradled him in my hands or lap. We at the nursery always treated our beloved little charges' bare bodies, especially their private places, with the utmost reverence. Bath time in particular was a magical time for caretaker and cherished smurfling alike, with much squeaking and giggling as we caringly scrubbed the little one's soft skin with extra soft and sterile disposable little sponges. Yeah, no, this is a, this is a sex thing now. <laughs> what the Fred, shit? Fred! Well, how do you feel about it? Yeah, this will... Well, these are more. These weren't included in the original video. What? The reprobate Smurf Napper promptly got down to business with the terrorized little beings, firmly grasped in his captor's hand. But he's creating fan fiction of his own thing now. Pom Pom cried in alarmed bewilderment as he was forced to watch Strawberry. His beloved nursery mate let forth bl blood curdling squeals as her sensitive, bulbous smurf tail was brutally crushed until it nearly burst. I know what sky clad means, it means blue. 
Or wait, yeah, it's just blue. The vile human be oh my god, his beloved- yeah, the, the vile human beast seemed to particularly enjoy hurting the wee smurfling's most sensitive appendages. Their tender noses and soft, squishy tails. To so viciously abuse a baby smurf's tail is perhaps the most painful and emotionally <laughs> destructive act one could inflict, and the wee infant's tail is intertwined with its most basic feelings. It's meant as a special means of soothe and comfort when gently squeezed or stroked, and this affection is just as vital to the tiny blue babe's well-being as their specialized like, spurfberry diet. It's just like a whole paragraph describing the tales again. It's so good. Please don't give the sub to a wrecked smurf. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> the only thing more disappointing than this fanfic is my son. The Smurf activists had eventually pinpointed the IP address signatures left by the Smurf Nappers transmissions to a cul-de-sac where a rundown abandoned house lay. Oh, thank you for gifting a sub to Koki's Stinky Tail. I don't have a stinky tail. It's very clean. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They accurately surmised that this was a likely... I know what we can do with that. Got him. Exactly. They accurately surmised that this was a likely place to hide the captives, and picking the front door lock, they entered stealthily. Searching the house, they found no trace of the man who'd taken the Smurflings, but when they broke down the double-bolted door to the basement, their luck changed. When the Smurfs' rights gorillas finally found our two missing smurf Smurflings in that dark basement, they were greeted by a most horrific sight. The wee babies were stripped naked on a greasy, splinter-ridden workbench in the cold, damp air. Their cute little pajamas and hats were nowhere to be found. Pom Pom's rib cage was c crushed between the jaws of a pipe wrench <laughs> as he strained for breath, while Strawberry had curled herself into a little ball nearby, but facing away from her nursery mate. Both the creature's magical little hearts were glowing, but this phenomenon was much different than the joyous one I'd once witnessed when Blueberry miraculously healed Dewdrop. Rather than the healthy golden light, a sickly greenish aura had materialized around the precious baby smurf hearts. Sickos. Lastly, a thin, jagged vertical fissure had split each heart down the middle. They're dying of broken hearts. Oh my god, Hell Whiskers, you're right. Had Pom Pom remained pinioned betwixt the brutal jaws of that pipe wrench for a few more hours, the poor baby Smurf's arms would become too tired to lift, and its tightly constricted tiny lungs would surely have given out. Baby, th thanks for the $20, Mooney the Spoonie. This story is not using the word skyclad correctly. Yes, they're naked, but it's not in a ritual context. Just say <laughs> naked, please. This is embarrassing. He can't just say naked. He can't. Okay, am I like... Hold on. Yeah. Skyclad. Oh, means naked. Like, bare. Having no covering. Uh -huh. um, um. I thought that just meant they were blue. I'd not heard that term before. Okay, Pom Pom's toes were bruised from the weight of the hard metal wrench sitting on them. His little knees were swollen. Thank you for the $20, by the way. Thank you very much. Thank you. I. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, my. Um, this is going to cover my medical expenses. Yeah, yeah. Pom Pom's toes were bruised from the weight of the hard metal wrench sitting on them. His little knees were swollen and ached at the slightest flexing, causing him to burst into tears each time the res rescuers attempted to loosen them up. His spindly legs were painfully cramped and several days passed before the brutalized wee blue babe would even crawl again. Perhaps worst of all was the state of his prosthetic tail. While mashed in the jagged metal teeth of the wrench, the little gelatin-filled sack, which gave Pom Pom's tail its shape, had ruptured and the gel leaked out. What the fuck? This is so, like... 
next level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The poor it gets worse. It gets worse, yeah. Uh, great. Good. Good. <laughs> you know what? Good. Fine. Great. <laughs> the poor Smurfling was left with a flattened and shriveled length of blue flesh that flopped limply about like a deflated balloon. The destruction yet again of this little creature's prized appendage had a devastating effect upon his psyche, and I knew that we would need to have the prosthesis beneath his skin surgically replaced as soon as his other injuries healed. So this is like the end game of IP2, right? IP2? What is IP2? <laughs> the, like, the, 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 um, the lives, what, the, uh, IRL streamers. You know what? I'll tell you about it another time. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, yeah, I'm not it familiar with that one, so... It is ter- like, mm, I don't think I can actually say his name because he's banned on Twitch. Um... Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, We're, the poor Smurfling was left to the- yep, yeah, uh, dude, the destruction yet again of this little creature's prized appendage had a devastating effect upon his psyche, and I knew that we would need to have the prosthesis beneath his skin surgically- oh, yeah, I already said that. Those last few hours before the rescue have played like a dark eternal nightmare for the two blue waves where time slowed to a snail's pace. Strawberry gaped in mind and horror as she was forced to behold the harrowing spectacle of the cruel man- uh, clamping pom pom, soft little naked body, and the tooth metal gel. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, who uh, thinks about squeezing a smurf in a wrench? Uh, the sickos, you know? This is on you. If you guys, uh, you know, if you find it disturbing or sexual, this is on you. The or author is just telling a tragic tale. This, this has to be the line, right? Like this no, is the no, line. No, we're not. At, we're every, about to approach the line. We're not even at the line yet. We're about but, to spit over the line in a little no, bit. No, I mean like but, the line for all the other foramites. Oh, oh, you'd be surprised. No, you'd be surprised. A fiend forcibly folded Pom Pom's little legs up so that his knees pressed into his chest and screwed the. I don't need to read all of this. He illustrated it. Yeah, he oh, did. Yeah, there you go. You can just look at his beautiful there. illustration of the Smurf being crushed there. to death by the wrench. There, there. This is like. No, this person's broken. Yeah, that moment both their tiny hearts were shattered, and though the simple creatures could not grasp the concept of death, they sensed they were nearing a dark place from which they would never return. Uh, it wasn't until five hours later that the Liberators discovered them. Uh, when the Smurf Rights Gorillas finally located our two missing Smurflings, they were confronted by a most horrific sight. Only during the most dire sufferings and distress of the greatest of joys that a baby Smurf's tiny, precious, magical heart possibly glow, visually manifesting, manifesting the elfin blue infant's feelings. These little hearts have been broken. Dryers don't go clunk. Yeah, we can kind of skim, like, this next chunk, because it's literally just more like... Oh, describing of how awful. Like, we can look at the pictures for, like, the next three pictures, I'm four like, pictures. Like, but the fifth picture. Okay. We have to savor the flavor. Yes, yes. Oh, well, and the fifth picture's description uh, is going to be. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, pic the fifth picture's description is all on itself, so. Yeah, we get you know we can actually cut out this text and just read the text on the pictures on these. Okay, so basically, like the snur the the Smurf nappers escaped, uh, no fingerprints, uh, somehow. Uh, the neighbors and none of the neighbors have witnessed anything unusual. The Smur Smurf napper might as well have been a ghost. Okay. Smurf I... militants come in and they rescue the babies. Yep. Babies get back to the nursery and right. everything mm -hmm. hurts. They had the worst case of diaper rash the the place has ever seen. Right. The Blueberry. Oh, go ahead. Oh yeah, just d d yeah, more like misery porn. Uh, Blueberry uh, is very upset in the pocket, you know, just having, having sympathy. Right. Uh, I think we should probably 
read about here because we want to be introduced to okay one of the characters, right? Okay, okay. Is this where they introduce the character? Uh, after the big star line. After the big star line. Okay, there you go. So, so I would like probably two pick big up star there. lines. Yeah, that's okay. I okay. Keep going. To... Okay, okay, gotcha. He hurt me. Oh. God, this is. <laughs> It's like you it's know, in baby talk, Red. You have to do it in baby talk. This per, uh, this person has like okay. You know how most web comic artists take years to like start getting darker. Um, of there's course. a name for this. There's a name for this. Um, that happened. Uh, there was a specific web comic it was named after where someone was like, like they cut off my dick. My balls too. Cer Cerebus syndrome. That's what it is. Cerebus Hold on, let me see. syndrome. I've never heard of this before. Let me see if I can find this. I want to see if I can find it. Uh, syndrome. Uh, let me see if I if I search cut off. Uh, was it Cerebus that did that? It's a webcomic that started off pretty, like, lighthearted, and then just got really intense. God. If, if I just search Cerebus Syndrome, it'll probably come up. Maybe, um... Oh, wait, no, he was like, I cut off my own. What? Found it! Found it, found it, found it. This okay. is amazing. Oh, fuck. This one's like really low quality. Let me see if I can click through and find it. Wait, no, this isn't it. God damn it. It was the... No, it wasn't the Lost comic. Um, was it not a web comic? It might have just been a normal comic in that case. It might have actually been printed, but it just got really dark over time. Hold on. I I cut off my own balls. Let me see if I can find this. Here, here it is. I was thinking of something else. Your FBI guy's having a field day today. Oh yeah, he's doing great. Uh, this. It was a different webcomic that I'm thinking of. This one. Um. I cut my own dick off years ago. Oh my Balls god. Too. Oh my. It looks like Tiny Toons. Why? <laughs> what comic is Good. this? Does anyone remember? This, this <laughs> character is suffering. He's Jack, suffering for the art. Okay. Artist. Is this ironic? No. I cut my own dick off years ago. Balls too. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, I just needed to share that. Oh, no, you're good. It was a good one. Okay. Some of the hardliners were of half a mind not to even return the Smurf Nap babies to us, unimpressed with our failure to safeguard them from harm. What? Really? <laughs> what? Ah. This reminds me of that one line from a series of unfortunate events. To lose one parent is a tragedy, but but to lose two looks like carelessness. That's pretty good. That's true. Uh, do do do. See that you do smurf better measures to ensure these baby smurfs security, or we may have no choice in the future but to liberate them from your nursery's care, and I mean all of them. The CPS is coming. Smurf Protective Services. S P S. S P S. Yeah. Or it could be Smurf with a C. It could be like a German spelling or something. Oh my god. In a few days' time, pom-poms and strawberries' tails and noses were no longer too sore to be touched if done carefully. <laughs> Despite the added expense of the Blue Moon Nursery, hired an extra licensed caretaker just to stand by during the 12-hour night shift. 
Her sole duty was to cuddle, speak in a gentle, reassuring voice to, and stroke the wee one's little tails and noses whenever they awoke screaming from the frequent night terrors spawned by the recent or ordeal until they settled down. And it typically required nearly an hour of undivided attention from the caretaker to ease the emotionally vulnerable little baby creatures before tucking them back into their electric auto-rocking cradle. The, this procedure wasn't effective with Pom Pom's defective, deflated tail as the poor creature longed for it to be filled out again. Eventually, the nurse decided only to caress and squeeze Pom Pom's bulbous smurf nose in lieu of his tail because the self conscious little tyke merely cried with grief every time he felt someone touch its pathetic, flaccid remains. <laughs> <laughs> A beautiful sentence, right? That's how my brain is feeling right now. Oh, we, we're, don't worry. The coaster will end soon and you will soon. become... I don't believe but you. I don't believe you bang. anymore. No, not I don't without believe... some big bangs. Not without oh, is, a big bang is this coming up. Is this going to be like Dick, Mickey's Dick Smasher? Yeah, by the time we're at the end of this post... You know, this, the, you know what? The end, the, the very last photo on this post... The payoff uh, is going to be grand. It is honestly... The dick the smasher giving one. like one impact on your balls. Yeah, this this like, final image on this post yeah, is gonna be the yeah. most impactful. That and then seen after yet. after this, after one smash, the carts are gonna go back up, and then they're gonna come back down and smash again. One more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah one okay. more time. It, it it's just the, like they're gonna bounce off of each other. Like they're gonna yeah, bounce off and go back up to the top, and then and then one hold more time it and smash yeah. again. Yep. That is correct. Yes, I'd say that's accurate. Okay, gotcha. So like, it's one for each individual nut. Yeah. Uh, no, I would. Yeah, maybe. perhaps. Yeah. Or just like, or is it just twice to make sure they finish the job? Twice to make sure they finish the job. It's, okay, it's probably gotcha. closer to that. Yeah, honestly. Mm. The Smurf hardliners had informed me that because of the repeated near drowning they had been subjected to, the two Smurfling waifs had acquired a phobia of water, even if only an inch deep. For now, on the nurses, from now, for now, for now on, oh my god, for now on. <laughs> the nurses would have to give them sponge baths, wetting and rinsing the sponges at the sink because even the sight of a full water bucket would fill the whiny diminutive beings with trepidation. Their days of merry giggling and squeaking as they splashed about in little basins with floating bath toys and bubbles were over. I hoped not forever. Despite the relief I felt from the return of Pom Pom and Strawberry to their nursery home, there was one detail about the crime scene I learned of that would stick in my heart forever. Oh, the now listen. Oh no. Yeah. The Smurf hardliners had not searched the basement extensively. Shortly after they had located our missing Smurflings, these activists carried them to an awaiting van where the Smurfette and others fed, cleaned, and clothed the two distressed blue infants as they drove. Later, when the police conducted a more thorough search of the basement, someone found the tiny, months-old bones of a baby Smurf skeleton in the <laughs> interior of a grimy old pizza box. No, keep one going. Of the workbenches keep bought pushing, of Fred. Keep pushing, Fred. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. We're almost there. We're almost the there. Keep Smurf pushing. The baby Smurf had been bashful, runty male named Snickers, which had been reported missing from a pet store six months ago. Beside its picked-over bones, there was an adoption ad clipping with a picture of it smiling and hiding under his security blankie. Yeah. That same tattered little blanket was found threaded irreverently through the skull bones eye sockets. And hey, now Fred, now Fred, Are, I need you to don't tell me. Don't I tell need me you to that. overlook the next picture and go to the last picture on the post because this sums up everything and uh, you know, read this beautiful ad for us. You're not prepared yeah. for what you're going to see. Oh I'm boy. I'm turning up the caretaker a little yeah. bit. Yeah, we're going to go past one picture of him crying, and then when you see those words, pet adoptions, oh boy, you're going to need to brace yourself. <laughs> Are you fucking shitting me? No. Uh, just take this picture in. They this told really you that he threw- No, that's not the miasma, you guys. That is the baby blanket it's threaded the blanket. through his eye sockets. The blanket is threaded 
through his skull, through the eye sockets, out the ear holes. This is morbid as fuck. Of that, who thinks of? I'm gonna, I'm gonna thread the baby's blanket through its eye sockets. Who thinks of that? It's, it's so specific. A real fucking sicko does this. It's so specific. And like, I love that it's like a baby Smurf skeleton. And like, they literally drew this. They, they didn't leave it up to the mind's interpretation. It's literally right here. This is baby Snickers. Oh, ahead, pygmy ahead, protection. Thanks for gifting a sub to Rip Snickers. Yeah, <laughs> R.I.P. Snickers. R.I.P. Snickers. Yeah, let him rip. That night after tucking Blueberry into bed, I had to tenderly squeeze and knead the sniveling creature's tail for nearly an hour before he stopped whining. These, these babies are going to have such a negative association with their own tails. I think oh it's my. the least of their worries, honestly. I think they're in the hands of a psychopath. Aw, oh, the poor little Smurflings. I'm glad Pom Pom and Strawberry are back to where it is safe. You did a great job on the Smurf and Smurfette that rescued them. The poor Snickers wonder if anyone will catch these cruel people that are torturing these little guys to death. Don't give the sub to green, <laughs> green blankie and fucking Smurf lost. It's good. Yeah. Smurf lost. Yeah. So yeah. did we read the caption for Baby Snickers? Did we read that, that PNG there? Oh, yeah. I couldn't even begin to imagine what a hellish nightmare Baby Snickers' <laughs> last days on Earth had been. How this innocent, magical little being must have cried and cried for just a little mercy as it was brutalized, getting only cruel laughter in response. <laughs> like, this is so yeah. fucked. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now this is this is one of the dick smashers here. The fact that he has drawn the baby skeleton, skeleton. like the skeleton with the, his fucking security blanket woven between like, his eye sockets. I know. Like that's like nothing he got from a movie either. Cause like I've never heard of that. Right. Like this is clever, which I don't like. D like, don't like that. Much. Oh my god. Okay, I need to see. I'm more yeah, interested the in the replies yeah. than the actual Before posts it. anymore. I must confess that I wept as I was finishing reading this chapter, Smurf in hand. Fortunately, Pom Pom and Strawberry were saved about time. And what to say regarding little Snickers' fate? If captured, that sadistic pervert should take a big dose of his own medicine. Your technique is getting sophisticated more and more, and I love the pic with Blueberry blinking his tears back and wagging his soft and plump tail. Keep on always smurfing! Uh, Poor little Snickers, why? I. Why are these people still on board? I don't know. Why? I don't know. What is it about Smurf in hand that is keeping them on board? They're captivated. He's like a cult leader. He said all the right stuff. This was built up for months. This is January now. This started since June. He's had them along on his little leash since June. It's almost six months of him just being like dropping little art here, dropping free yeah, stuff here. Yeah. And these people Wait are a... bored enough to like read through everything too. And they're, they're hooked. Wait a minute. I hope that cruel man get. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who could this, do this? Whoever. This ever hatred. This hatred is real. Yep. Like this is real hatred. Whomever did this should be severely tortured himself. <laughs> like they are wishing ill on this person. Like they are so in it. They're not like. Reed what Smurf the fuck? Why would you post? write that? Much yeah, there's no to those bro that... dot dot dot. There's no what the fuck post. The only what yeah. the fuck was the Gargamel guy who got banned for saying what the yeah. fuck on this. There's yeah, only one the sane person so far and they got banned. Yeah. Well, I mean, his post is still there. Like Smurf and Hand's request to have his post removed was like went unheeded. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They never 
Much thanks to those that read this chapter and commented. It was an especially poignant chapter and hard to read at some points, I know. Trying to evoke emotion for a character that doesn't exist and make people really care about its fate is one of my goals. Yeah, man? Yeah. Trying to Things evoke will... emotion. This is literally what you've been describing. You described his M.O. to a T here, Fred. I, yeah, I fucking knew it. Yeah, he likes playing with emotions. It's like that's his one goal. But he, but the only way he can do it is through cheap tricks. Because oh, yeah, yeah, let, yeah. Let, let us get one thing straight. Like, I, I, I am opinionated about this. Okay? I, I have a strong opinion about this. And the bullshit that this dude is pulling is cheap. It is, it is, it is not worth it is not worth, like, the storage space on the server's hard drive. <laughs> this this is, like... About his art. What about his art? Do you censor this the is, arts, Fred? This is, like... <laughs> this is, like, the... Can't... Don't, don't censor it. This is the equivalent <laughs> of, like, someone getting... Like, a, a caveman getting rejected and knocking the person out and dragging them to his cave. Uh, uh, get like, that always works. You do realize you're in the works. presence no, of the cave lady. No, oh, excuse no I'm, excuse I'm being me. honest. Excuse it me. works. It works. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 this is... I didn't know how to make it work any other way. So, like, you, you know what? Like, I'm, I'm trying... I'm, Oh my god, my brain is failing me. Usually I... It's cheap, right? Like, it, it is cheap, and it is... it is... It's like soda, right? I, it, it, it is like soda in that it has very little flavoring. They mostly just dump sugar into it. Yeah, it's like if they... You see, like, those videos where they boil it down? It's basically half just granulated sugar, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, Exactly. Yeah, it's... There's nothing. It's empty. Uh, it won't be a complete mend. Oh, thank goodness. But things will improve a bit. Can't let it get too good. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, now miracle. for these next posts... Okay. We can yeah. just read the images. And this is pretty much the end. This is his, like, grand finale on his end, okay. but we can just read the images because it's just arduous. They're, like, little compounded stories, but each image does have, you know, some more red flags to take us on the way out. Okay, great. Wonderful. With a solemn reverence, I cradled the tiny... You know, I can't help but notice the similarity between uh, the hand cradling this baby and... Uh, yeah. The, 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 the hand, Are you accusing hand, him of uh, crimes? Well, I mean, there's no way to be sure, but I mean, you know, we have to take all factors into consideration to, to yeah, bring to, to bring to this hand sizes. this person this is to justice. Sicko to justice. Yeah. It's true. This is modern pulp fiction. You're right. If you think about it, like, okay, digital cameras not that great back then. There wasn't really. This is what two thousand eight. That the the cameras on the phones right. were not great. This guy's sitting here with a digital camera, taking these photos and stuff, and cutting them out all himself. Mm -hmm. This guy's dedicated. Hi, slush, 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 slush. Hi. <laughs> With a solemn reverence, I cradled the tiny, newly delivered baby Smurf's naked body in my palm. Blueberry and I regarded the Blue Moon Nursery Smurf's new little brother with awe as the feeble being slowly awoke, awoke from the fir for the very first time in our world. I felt its tail, a tiny nubbin of soft flesh hardly fatter than a grain of rice, suddenly quiver. Then sleep- Hold on. We're going back. We're going back. All right, all right. This. It stretched and yawned languidly with a nearly inaudible tiny squeak, instinct instinctively rubbing its eyes, which wouldn't open for another 24 hours. This precious being had a singular characteristic that I'd never before seen on any baby Smurf. 
A cute little heart-shaped birthmark adorned the fair cerulean skin of the magical infant's soft little tummy. For the next couple weeks, the fragile creature would have to be isolated from the other babies in our nursery's cutting-edge baby smurf incubator. <laughs> They've got it. It's cutting edge. Once this little one's constitution, which was frail even by baby smurf standards, stiffened and it was strong enough to crawl- These babies just keep getting more frail. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, they're well, pretty resilient You know, they're dying first. breed. Yeah. Yeah, they, no, this is a species in decline. Yeah, Whatever's and their morale's happening. getting lost, you know? Like, they're, they're becoming weaker, so... Right, mm -hmm. like, this, like, the, I, I, oh, okay, theory, ready. Hold on. Uh, theory. Theory. These babies, these, so all of these babies are psychically linked. How, how is it possible that like all of these horrific things are happening and, well, how is it possible that these babies are continually getting weaker and weaker? Could it be Now that their hearts because... are connected in some way. Exactly. Like we yep. have evidence that their, their hearts are somehow like, for lack of a better term, psionically connected. Theoretically, then, it is possible that not only are they linked to one another in close proximity, but long proximity as well. Mm -hmm. Meaning that wherever these babies are birthed, that that psionic link could be having an effect on the babies right as they are gestated. It's a good theory, honestly. You should actually, you should write like a whole sim. sim Sympnosis? Sympnosis? What the fuck it's called? And post it on the forums because the forums are still at yeah, synopsis. Yeah. yeah. And so, like, basically, write it, put it on the forums, see what they have to say about like all of the these these connections and dots and everything. Yeah, that's, that's a good that's a good question, right? <laughs> Just because to blow I, their minds. Right. Um, this could now. We know that there is a secret, uh, like torturer and murderer, smurferer, if you will, on the loose. Now, what do we know about him? Well, he is horrific, but he is smart enough to cover his tracks. He is horrific in the way that he tortures them, but he is meticulous in the way that he makes certain that no trace of him is left over. No fingerprints were found, and his voice on the videos have been distorted. However, he had left the baby's cries just as they were. Meaning that, th what, what can this tell us about this person? Either this person is acting on their own, which is unlikely given the fact that they are ambulating with, uh, with the torture devices, and there is someone taking photos in the background, meaning that this person is not acting alone. One of these two has video editing experience. <laughs> Based on this, I think that we can begin to narrow our search for the killer. <laughs> I hope we can find him. Kida. S <laughs> Instead of L, his name is S. Yeah. Now, before we <laughs> scroll to the next image, yeah. okay. Um, how do you feel about the Smurf uh, open air market in Etchisketchistan? I'm ambivalent. Well, right, I culture. think you should read the next flyer and maybe you'll change your tone. It, it's yeah. their culture. Is it though? You'll see. Oh my god, that <laughs> wasn't a joke. Oh, nothing is a joke. It just sketches. He thought he was so clever. He did. Like, like this is one of those things where this person grinned to themselves as they wrote it. And hit send and they're like, they're going to really yeah. like that one. Yeah. Each day, orphaned baby Smurfs are being trafficked far from their village homes and dying in human captivity. Oh my god, this is where COVID came from. Please, oh no! It came from the Smurf markets of Etchisketchistan. Oh my god. Caged as pets and lab animals, or even poached for their skin and meat. <laughs> These vulnerable little beings frequently suffer disease, malnutrition, emotional neglect, and cruelty. By sponsoring one of our little blue angels, you assure that they will continue to receive the molly coddling, loving quality care which only the Blue Moon Nursery provides. Your generous contributions will not only bring security to our nursery's tiny inhabitants, but will make it possible for us to rescue and care for additional baby smurfs in need. 
Oh my god. You get a posable plush. Oh All right, Thread. Fred. I don't know why thread. I called you Thread. Because, no, I, my, because my threads in my mind are unraveling. We're, we're, we're in a forum thread. I Listen, after long enough... It's kind of like the Lincoln looker, right? Like it after is. after suffering exposure long enough, you uh Oh, hold on. You know what? What? To that end. <laughs> I'm going to play this song. You're about to get um three quick taps to the balls with these next yeah. three images. Okay. So if you want to okay. cup your balls or put like maybe a hat there, baseball cap something, just a kind okay. of he's the brunt yeah. Oh, this well, has to be a this, sex thing, please. This is a sex one. This one, this one is just is a bizarre. Sex one. This one's weird. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is fucking weird. No, this like auctioning off a used baby's cloth diaper. No, 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 no. This is this is no. We are deep in fetish territory now. Yes. It has to be. Yes. Now this is this is the payoff for him. Yeah. No. 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 And like the the, the relish with which he described the smell. Also, like, but gives it away. What about the Smurfophile Shroud of Turin? The last sentence is that. Now that's a hell of a sentence. <laughs> Hold on. You're right. The winning bidder blinked away a tear of sentiment as she held the tiny scrap of washed organic cotton that had gently enfolded the newborn Smurf's nether region and it faithfully absorbed his very first whittle messy. No, this is no, 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 no. Oh no, no. Okay. Listen, listen. There was a world in which you could have convinced me earlier on that this wasn't fetish stuff. Like this was just a writer being like bad. Right. No, no, th there is no world any longer in which you can convince me that this isn't fetish bullshit. Now, yeah, d I, I agree. I agree. I think that there is like that little bit of plausible deniability up until page seven. Page seven is when shit hits the fan and it's just uh, everything is terrible. Shit everything hits the diaper. Yeah, exactly. It's the UNICEF. It's 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 the, uh, yep. the me yeah, it's the UNICEF ad just as yeah. a forum post. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready you, for the next little tap? I, well, I don't like that your boy, Mr. Impotent, just <laughs> gifted a sub to Smurfophile420. True. Yeah, great. Uh, hate mail. Your little baby heart tummy Smurf is... <laughs> in the guillotine, in the Smurf guillotine. <laughs> It was too late to shield my innocent little blueberry's eyes from the demented, photo-manipulated images in the Smurf Napper's harassing email. The sensitive baby Smurf let out a long, drawn-out, troubled squeal before breaking down into tears. What the fuck? What What is that device, by the way? Um, the a... Smurf guillotine. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I, I kind of oh, assume no, no, it kind of no, looks no, no, like no, no. when the, you make buttons. It's a bread. Is it a bread cutter? Oh, wait. Is it a... Paper cutter. Or isn't it a deli Maybe slice? Maybe it's like a lunch that? meat cutter. Yeah, I think it's lunch something. meat. Yeah, I feel like I've seen this. Does anybody slicer, recognize yeah. what it is? Is it... Okay, they're saying deli, deli slicer. slicer. It kind of yeah. looks like it. Yeah. Bagel cutter? Maybe. Here comes the smash, Fred. Yep. Okay. All right. I'm cupping. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, what? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Are you ki Hello Kitties meet Snickers. Even during his final death throes, this bashful little blue rodent was trying to cover his shame. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Ha 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 ha. What the shit? Snickers. This is baby Snickers. This is the little, in case you guys forgot, this is the little skeleton we found. This yeah. is kind of filling us in with a little bit of the backstory. We're taking a step back to see what has exactly happened. Why his baby blanket was threaded through his face. There is something wafting in that picture. Is that a heart? I think that's his soul, maybe. It's yeah, soul. I kind of interpret it as like, kind of like uh, symbolism for like his soul. <laughs> yeah, the author called them rodents too. Yeah. The author also called them rodents. I, I was thinking the same thing. Oh my god. His hidden feelings are coming out. Yep. 
I, yeah. given the fact that he called them rodents himself, I'm beginning to think that this person has, like, a cruelty fetish. Like, that that's it, right? Like, I, I was willing to believe, like, oh, there's the idea he likes being the hero, the protector, but at this point, <laughs> that tell that the murderer is using the word rodent as well, as, as a pejorative, when he used it earlier, I, I think that that's... Yeah. What the fuck? The smurfling runt cowered as the approaching nurse Soam's shadow loomed overhead. Stor short story of this one being constipated. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> oh my god. The I'm... next image is truly very incriminating. Yeah, it's really bad. So anyway, it's massaging uh, its lower stomach. Why is it down so low? Why is the diaper tucked down like that? S so anyway, scrolling past that and moving on. <laughs> he wrote some beautiful acknowledgments for his story at I the end. I saw an acquaintance of mine who's a particularly gifted writer has been following my work and shared with me some ideas of his own. You can thank him for the idea of an extra teeny tiny newborn baby smurf and all its endearing characteristics and special needs save for the birthmark which was my inspiration. Well, while the sponsorship program is my invention, the concept of having a gift shop and the very idea of having fundraising schemes to cover the operational costs of the Blue Moon Nursery are his ideas. Most of his details are quite extensive and can be a chapter in their own right. Don't. Only a tiny fraction of them are mentioned here. He's even conceived an exciting story outline involving an exciting media gala to raise funds where the darling blue babies trade their traditional pajamas and hats for cute little engineers' outfits and ride around on little outdoor model railroad. Uh, Aww, how cute and cute. adorable. What a cute little picture you painted in your head. Great. Yeah. Cool. I, okay. Everything on out is pure comments. Okay, I need to know. I need to know. Was this the final straw? Oh, the final the straws to like. No, it's people... not. It's not the final straws. It's for still anyone. not the final straw. Look at the dates of this stuff too, and realize oh, that yeah. this has been marinating for a little while. It has. Okay, we're scrolling up. Like we're getting flashbanged for a minute there. Oh yeah. This was uh, worked on for about a month. Yeah, and so this is like this whole timeline and stuff like that. Just wait till you see when people start to reject this. You're gonna, it's gonna be comical. It's gonna be hilarious. It happens? It actually happened? I like lost hope. Well. Wow, well. Ravenchild, you certainly wasted no time in reading my latest installment. I do appreciate your willingness to plow through the large amount of text that comprises this chapter. I hope I included sufficient images to make the reading more interesting. I'm, I'm also quite pleased to hear you like the four Smurflings picture. I had a great deal of fun creating it, though I'll admit my favorite was the newborn picture. Yours and other kind words and ongoing encouragement has inspired me to put my best foot forward with this little project. Okay, so just like more support. Da da da. Okay, yeah, maybe. more support, more support, and then he's still replying to people. And then I'm trying to figure out like when the when like the first non-support comes in. Right. Um, so like, oh, like once more, a very fine work, Smurf in hand. Uh, okay. I often wonder how it'll be received each time I post a new installment. It's encouraging uh -huh. to know that despite the oft heavy themes, some people still into oft heavy, you mean constantly heavy. People still enjoy the read. And then the next chapter will be long in coming for I haven't any vision for it as of yet. I feel compelled to try to outdo myself with each subsequent <laughs> post. Yeah, no shit. 
the dopamine hit just wasn't the same every time. <laughs> it's such a good way to put it. It is such a good way to put it. Page nine, uh, one reply down and two replies down, we finally get to people questioning it. But it okay. takes 11 years. Okay, so this is like a month later about the misadventures of a baby smurf. Aww. Yeah. Your story is, is at the same time quite realistic and sensible. It's very and that sensible. Makes one thing. Uh-huh. Realistic and sensible. Okay. Okay, I what a cute story. Love him. Absolutely love him. <laughs> you taking it in? <laughs> what a cute story. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Cute. Smiley face. But I was almost in tears when I saw the pic of baby Snickers. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. So this was the last post. Yeah. Three years later, three years yes. and three months later. Yes. Is there anywhere yes. I can find the rest of this? You can't. It's all completed in this thread. Smurf in hand hasn't posted since 2009. Hope he's do- like, I keep wondering if he's doing fine. Do you know of any stories that are like this? <laughs> this- this one? Like, th this one is like this. Uh, Smurf fanfics written by several Blue Buddies members. Okay. Attention fellow Smurf friends. I'm a huge fan of Smurf and Hand's work and a fanfic writer myself, so I've decided to make a continuation of his fanfic. A fanfic of a fanfic, if you will. Oh, great. Uh. Yeah? Is there more to your Smurf AUs or is there just this story? Isn't it obvious? Oh, Sweet Smurf 2 is, is getting snarky. Oh, you know. You're getting snarky. Okay. Smurf in hand, your story was so sweet, so heartfelt, so beautiful. I cried three times. This tale of these Smurfs' will to survive, their caring compassion. I don't know. I don't feel like they had much will at all. Like, they mostly laughed and then suffered. Yeah, 2015. Yeah, someone came back. Yes, never have I seen such brilliance, such a dense plot line. The hate I felt for that brutal monster. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. I make bad person, bad person, do bad thing, you hate him now. You feel something, me good writer. I'm sorry, was that insensitive to your people, me? No, it was not. No. You're fine, okay, you're fine. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm genuinely concerned. Okay, yeah, finally. In 2019. It took a couple years. It took a couple it, of it years. It took a bit. Took a bit. It took 10 it took, years. Yeah. 11 years. I'm sorry. 11 years for people to be like, hey, this is fucked up. 11 years. 11 fucking years. I heard about this story years before I decided to join Blue Buddies, but I joined this place anyway simply because I like the Smurfs. I think this was a terrible story, by the way. The fetish elements are blatant and get worse as the story progresses. Gratuitous and graphic details about torturing baby Smurfs. How can anyone find this success acceptable? The term torture porn exists for a reason. There we go. Finally, the word was used. And this is textbook porn. Your rules of conduct even state that sexual and abusive content is not allowed on this site, yet this story has stood here for years unchallenged. You wanna know, <laughs> you wanna know why? Because the owners of the site like it. Exactly! Yeah. They're into it. Owner one, owner they two. They posted, yeah, they posted in support of it. The they were here. Mm -hmm. 
We're here. Only logging in just to leave this comment, but I'll be honest, I was a dumb 12 to 13 year old that didn't really know any better or anything about how bad this story was. <laughs> I love the hindsight where they're just like, Woo, wow, it's that like, was wow. weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How did how did that happen? Right. Yeah. They they were uh twelve or thirteen, eleven years later, as an adult, they're like, Wow, that was fucked up. Yeah. The question is, yeah, and this raises an interesting question. Uh, bless Sorry. you. You're good. You are permitted to sneeze. Thank you. <laughs> this is... Yeah. I, I wonder the same thing. Did he have a mental break between writing them, or was this the plan? <laughs> I, it, it had to be the plan. It had to be the plan. He knew. <laughs> Fred, what descriptor would you use for Koki's sneeze? Um, Lilliputian. <laughs> oh, there you go. Acceptable. Acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, th I really think that this person just like started realizing that dark things were getting like a good reaction the reaction that he wanted yeah. and he felt he and he just needed he literally said i need i felt i feel i need to continue one-upping myself yeah and it's he, like he has perhaps. to keep amping himself like yeah. like do it i'll do it himself he said that himself literal words from the author yeah mm -hmm. he was trying to please his audience people are really like they really start breaking it down. Yeah, dude is probably long gone. Yup. Yeah, this person is advertising their I own promote theirs. fan pic, fa fanfic, on their own, on, like on this person's. This is, this is akin. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna teach you all a bit of, uh, like watching streaming etiquette. Not you two, um, chat. Yeah. Don't come into someone's stream and tell everyone that someone else is streaming or advertise your own stream. That is this, that is not the place. Okay? <laughs> Don't come in and no, advertise true. your own stream or someone else's stream on a person's stream. It's bad form. Now, it's different if someone is, like, joining as a guest. Everyone, please go follow Koki and Meet, uh, please, because they are lovely. <laughs> Look, you know, after this, maybe lovely isn't quite the right word. Um, What's well, still about... lovely? We're unique. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Let me use five adjectives strung together oh, to please. describe five our streams. Um, um, little soft azure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget about our blue skin. <laughs> yeah. Bulbous. Bulbous. <laughs> <laughs> Gelatinous. <laughs> I think that, that, that's a good name. That's a good descriptor for the stream, right? Oh, gelatinous! So. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Some kind of a Smurf Salvation Army or Department of Smurflings and Families. <laughs> Honestly, back then, wait a minute. Oh, this is the person who read it. Like, read it. Yeah, also, yeah. back then, I think I just like the concept of having to take care of a baby Smurf in general without the messed up torture and abuse. Yeah. I'm Do you see, like, the creator knew what he was doing, or at least that he could trick people. He abused the Smurflings as long as he could. Oh, Deadwing Dork featured featured it on, the, on his stream. That's what it was. That's how it got attention yeah, so many years later. That's yeah, what it yeah. was. Okay. Okay, got it. Oh, thanks for gifting a sub to Koki Cuteness Enjoyer. Wow, <laughs> no, I wonder who they watch. why is that even a name? Who did that? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder who they watch. I wonder... Gee wow. golly. Gee golly. Wow, goodness <laughs> gracious. <laughs> um, how am I? Do I have to answer that question? Like, 
Like, is that something I have to consider? I feel like I feel like I'm, I'm in a state where if I consider how I am doing, I have to acknowledge it. And I can't do been that through. You're coming after through. reading. We've been through this, right? Like, we've we've been through the dryer. We've gone clunk. Yes. We've changed diapers. We've rubbed hot sauce in baby Smurf's eyes. We've seen Smurf skeletons and blankets Sm threaded through their eye sockets. <laughs> that was wholly remarkable, the threading oh, yeah. through the eye sockets thing. Oh, yeah. Like, it really is twisted. I was inspired. Like, I, I, I think it's... What, it's sort of a hung by his own petard kind of thing, except yeah. like, you know, using something that they like, you know, using a person's own gun to kill them. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Except in this case, it's like a twisted version. I think there's a fine line. Yeah. And this Squeaky story, comes uh, back to defend. Yeah. Squeaky oh. comes back in 2019. Oh my god, so some, yeah, by help said you all need help. If you do not see the overt sexual overtones and the clear sadism in this story, you're naive and oblivious. I have to read this defense. Well, yes, please are do. you Someone's sure Someone's a little you read? defensive here, so yes, definitely. Mm. Well, are you sure you read the whole story? This person... Oh my god. Like, how can you judge it if you didn't read the whole thing? We did. In fact, that's just a fan fiction which tells about babies, baby Smurfs sold as if they were mere pets, so that kind-hearted people adopt them in order to guarantee they are safe from that clueless and senseless commerce, since Smurfs are free and happy creatures from the forests after all, as well as pervert and coward human monsters who rob them in order to intimidate nurses and caretakers and also venting their most rotten instincts. And I'm not ashamed to say that I wept as I was reading some really crude descriptions of mystery treats against these adorable, defenseless little creatures. But there's also a force formed not only by adult smurfs, but good hi- Did they just... summarize the whole story? Yes. More or less, yes, but like trying to As be like, defense? but it's not weird, but it's not weird. It's, this is the story, it's not weird. You're weird if you think it's weird. <laughs> oh, right, that's a thrilling Smurf fanfic involving some violence, all right, but it involves a lot of hope, too. And this is a good point. Did they just pat themselves on the back for making a good point? Yes. But Crispdix comes down and tries to uh, buck back at them again, right here. Crispdix. Yep, the Smurfs live in the forest. Uh, that's where they belong. Humans shouldn't have to take care of them. The fact that the author of this story ignores that fact is yet another point towards the idea that this is a fetish. He is ignoring the very fact that Smurfs have a secret society and it is supposed to be nowhere near humans. Why weren't the baby Smurfs simply given back to Smurf Village? Because then you can't have a weird baby abuse fetish story. You know what? I think they're right. Yeah. I like, on one hand, I'm like, maybe you're reading too much into this because they just wanted a baby Smurf to take care of. But you know what? Yeah. No, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. No, you're, you're right. You're right, Crisp Ticks. I'll back you up on this. Uh, like you, he did mistreat Smurfs in his story. You're right. <laughs> he really did. Wow, you're correct. <laughs> yeah, Juggalo Hank is here to set us straight. Nobody knows about the end of the story. It hasn't been finished so it's far. It's been eleven years. He's not coming back. This person's defense. This person's defense of the story is: Oh, you don't know how it ends, so you can't judge it yet. Before it was, did you read the whole story? Right, and now, yeah, she, now, and, and now her defense is, is right. Well, the defense is literally you cannot. Uh, it is it is morally irresponsible and wrong to attack this story because it's not finished. <laughs> you don't know how it ends. You don't know what's in the the artist's mind. You don't know what they envisioned. You don't know how it's gonna end. 
Oh, Big dear. George comes back. <gasps> Vic George is back. They Are come you back. Shit? Look how low Vic George's member number is, too, by the way. Literally he's, member 300. He's like yeah. OG OG. Yeah, god damn. You don't really know what the writer of the story is going to do. Oh my god. You can tell we start getting some people, you know, that know how to like yeah, yeah. do coming in, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, com coming in from uh, Deadwing And then Dork. Vic George, they argue a of little course. bit. Like yeah. Vic George is still fighting. and It's because they, they're gu guilty, there's incriminating evidence, you know, like that's why he's a little sensitive that he's being called out here, you know? Mm-hmm. I cannot believe that Vic Jor- Oh my god. Okay, look. There is only one thing more cringy than defending this fanfic, and that is creating a meme to attack someone defending this fanfic. Exactly! A JoJo meme. Exactly! And mm. posting it to the- you... to the Smurf forms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 this is a very specific meme you wouldn't understand unless you just went on this journey. <laughs> yes, extremely specific. It's like one of those memes that's like, if we would have seen it at the beginning of the stream, it's like, this is one of those future memes, it'll make sense in, in make eight sense. hours. Right, yeah. Like the the Among Us uh, f uh, fire alarm. Uh, yeah, this yeah. This is a future meme, you won't get it until later. This... No, like, making this meme does not place you above Vic George. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> he used you, Le Funny Mime. You are, you are lesser for this. You as a being, not, not like a, as a being deserving, like, you know, like basic human respect. I mean, like, you have devalued your yourself as, as, a, as a being that, it, as like, as an entity. Right, like as a human, you devalue yourself by doing this below your station as a human. And Vic George gets a little angry. You don't know the first thing it is to be a person like me. So if I were you, I would save face and shut up with your comments. You don't live my life, and I don't live yours. <laughs> I love that this is years later and he's so heated. This is 11 no, years. No, 11 years. 11 years later. Come on, Vic George. Dude, he's... This is his life. Like, Oh, Smurf. no. Oh, no. I Googled him. Oh, no. Oh, no. no, no he's what really what? in it deep, you guys. You guys. Oh, no, you no. Got, I'm not trying to start mean? a new Smurf hole, but he's in it no, deep. He does okay, a lot no, of very me, tragic fan art. Uh, here, if that's not loading, looking, let me just send it to you. Let me let me re let me just upload it for you guys. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, it's not really loading. Yeah, let me get that for you. Okay, okay so no. The title here, of this here, piece need... is "Time Will Set You Free." No, we're digging. We're digging now. We need the music. We're researching. This is Vic George. You don't live his life, and he doesn't live yours. So leave him. Oh the fuck my alone. god! Don't give this up to Vic George. <laughs> This is by Vic George. He has oh like a lot of these. Oh my god. I don't yeah. understand. Yeah. Oh He's... my god. Yeah. And you can still be free if time will set. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You're the literary expert. Why don't you tell us? <laughs> I... it, it, it means that he had a stroke. <laughs> it's really deep is what it means. <laughs> oh my god. Vic George is incredible. Vic oh my god, Vic George. Oh my gosh. I wanna find more of his stuff. Oh my yeah, keep keep going. Whoops. I'm gonna keep, keep digging. Going. I'm gonna keep digging. Okay, uh, his yeah, profile yeah. says he likes computers, video games, music, books, and cartoons. <laughs> oh good. Oh okay. I what a, a person like this enjoying cartoons? No fucking. Can you way. imagine? Uh -oh. Uh oh, we've got some uh -oh. Oh. sexy Smurfette actually. A no, very, oh, oh, uh, really? cellophane dress. I would like to say. I think it's a. I'm not even sure if you could show that on stream. She's like in cellophane. 
Yeah, it only the that's weird. I, I like is she which dress. way is she facing? Well, it's a oh. metal dress. Oh, oh and okay, the okay. tail is facing towards the uh, viewer. Yeah, she's the looking viewer. over her shoulder. Yeah, and there's yeah. like and, and there's like a prostate on street on screen. Oh, he writes songs too. So this is uh, songs from the Ray of Sunshine, George uh, Vic George written works. Uh, he's got okay. The following songs are Smurf related parodies and modifications of Madonna's Ray of Light album. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> he has stuff called No Substitute for Being a Smurf. Uh, he, has, he has a couple of uh, little song parodies. He's, he's, he's a real Weird Al Yankovic, this guy, this fella here. Remember, do not tap the glass. Don't no tap the glass, guys. The glass. Do We're just not observing. tap the glass. We're just we observing. Are, yeah, we are here to observe. Uh, yep. This is incredible. I feel so lucky. Wait, is he the one that's empath the luckiest Smurf guy? Is he the one that has that quote? Wait, let me see. Yes, he's he the is. guy that had the yes, quote yes, his own yes. fanfic. Yeah, yeah, yes. empath from empath. I have his website Smurf. right here, and boy, are is this amazing fan art, guys! You, they're carrying crosses. Oh my oh god! Oh boy! Oh yes. Boy. Here's his website. Oh Christian god. Smurf stuff. Here we go. Yes. Here, sin has made God look at us oh in this my color. Oh my God! This but when website. God looked upon the one who would bear the sins of many in this color, He could now look at us. In this wait, is He trying to say Papa Smurf is Jesus Christ? He is that what the other fan is? He, he's a saying that like the oh. like we are we are dark with sin, but then by the blood of Christ, uh, we are purified. He has wow. a whole page where he's written like video game articles. Like, if you wow. click video games at the bottom of the website, oh, my God. He's got fan fiction. He's got artwork. He's got, oh, my God. What is oh going my, on in oh, these fucking amazing. pictures? God. Oh, wrong. my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my Neander God. Neander Smurf. <gasps> oh, my God. That's a little offensive, I think. It is. Damn. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's so much this is so deep. I can't I can't believe how deep this has gone. Oh my god, me either. Oh my god. Oh, I'm just looking at his art. Oh my goodness. The controversial issue of female gamers, please. Vic George has opinions on that? Cool. Oh, no, no, I, <laughs> joking. no, no. P Pam Pads is, is joking. <laughs> Okay, okay. No, no, Pam Pads is joking. <laughs> uh, fair enough. I, I wouldn't put it past Vic George is why I was I was really like, let's hear it. <laughs> I don't blame you. There's only one option for you to take. He has done Me. Star Trek Voyager fan art. <laughs> oh, I want to see it. Let's see it. <laughs> the, there you go. Uh, Incredible. Uh, it's perfect. Oh my god. This is so specific. What the fuck? Oh. Is she like a farmer? What's going on here? I think, I don't know, maybe like an American gladiator kind of outfit, perhaps? I, I don't fully understand. She looks like... She looks like if Miss Frizzle were like a butch lesbian. See that? You see that? Yeah, yeah I could see that. Yeah, totally like, that, yeah. like, like, okay, M Miss Frizzle already is, like, definitely some, like, some sort, some sort of queer and, like, in, like, the best way. I'm willing to bet that she's, like, asexual, actually. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's my bet. That's my, that's my headcanon. Miss Frizzle. Fucking love her. <laughs> Bless her. It's an icon. Yes. It's Jane Way. I know it's Jane Way. I know it's fucking Janeway, but it doesn't look like Janeway. <laughs> Miss Frizzle is trans and ace based. <laughs> Let there be peace. Oh. Wait. Oh, yeah, they applied an effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like embossed. It, yeah, embossing. That's what they did. Yeah, that's like a Photoshop thingy. Oh, yeah. I, I, I would, oh, my God. I remember the days when I would, like, apply Photoshop filters to photographs and drawings and be like, oh, I yeah. made this. I made this, yes. When I, when I was in middle school. Yeah. Love that shit. <laughs> Freedom faller. Stop. 
Oh, what a treat. Thank you. This was incredible. My mind is fucking melted. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, okay, wait. One more thing. One more thing. Okay. Vic okay, George okay. has an in memoriam page. Can you please just load this up and oh, show please. them? Please. Oh my please. God. Oh my God. Oh my okay, God. Okay. 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 Oh my God. Imaginarium. Happy Easter, folks. Pa okay. Okay. In yeah. memory of. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Wait, what? Look at all, just scroll down. Pleat. Meat? Yeah. Oh I God. swear to Christ, if this is the victims of 9-11, I am going oh, to scream. Oh, no, I think it's definitely, <laughs> it's gotta be dead Smurf fans. There's no it's way. It's gotta it, be. It would be way too much usernames? if it was the 9-11 victims. It would be yeah. way too much. It would be way too much. There's no way. Oh, yeah, absolutely, but... That would be, be really fucked up if that's the case. It would be so fucked up. It's like a pretty even split. I feel like there there are a bit a few more men. Who who are these people? Who knows? What is this? Maybe like... people he's encountered in life, or maybe these are all <laughs> we don't know. That would be incredible. Mm-hmm. No, like who who are these dead people? <laughs> I don't know. There's no explanation. <laughs> yeah, you do, it's not like you can click on the page and just be yeah. Like, like there's nothing. This was it my just says second grade young. teacher. This is my neighbor. <laughs> this is my great aunt. There's nothing. No explanation. There's nothing. It's just. I'm like, gonna try to find a, a original name here, and I'm gonna try to Google it and see if we can figure okay. out the cause of death. Okay. I'll do the Senadonis person in memory okay, of George. Uh, you know what? Okay, James Senadonis only comes up for Vic George four nineteen. Google okay, he's I'm one point off twenty. Okay, hold God. on, uh, Koki. We're being told to Google Boyd Buddy Carr. Okay, okay. We'll do Boyd. Let me get how. Okay, there it is. Buddy Carr. Okay, got it. I got how it says it. Boyd Buddy Carr. Oh, bitch. Okay, this is him. This is this is definitely it because it says Westfield, Massachusetts. That said that on his profile. Right, 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 right. Uh, okay. So, passed away at 44 peacefully in the Governor's Center in Westfield, Massachusetts. Um. Okay, so it wasn't, these aren't like, uh, servicemen or anything. No, so he's a no. cook at Denny's. <laughs> I guess he was friends with him. I think this is just all his friends. He's just <laughs> memorializing. How has this person survived so many people? <laughs> Wait, this is his brother! Oh, he adored his mother, Janice, and had a special bond no! oh, with his dad, George, no! Wait, and brother what? and sisters. No! He preceded no! his parents, George. Right? Oh. His name's Vic. Oh, no, no, Vic George. Okay, Vic never mind, George. never mind, never mind. My bad. I confused the names. I well, confused the names. Well, actually, well, hold on. Because Vic, he goes by Vic George. Wait, Vic George, yeah. Yeah, he goes by Vic, Vic George. These are obituaries, yeah. Well, like, no, quote-unquote obituaries. Have a smurf. Remember when I said that you don't get to choose your legacy, chat? Yeah. This yeah. is what I meant. You don't get to choose your, how you are remembered. For example, um, that man died, and, like, do you think he's going to be remembered as a loving brother? Someone who cared about his family? No, he's remembered as a man in a Smurf obituary. Uh-huh. That's why I don't Dude, care. every single person I'm Googling from this obituary are all in the West uh, Field, Massachusetts. These are all real people. These are people he knew IRL, basically. What the shit? Does he just, like... Well, that's, that's, I think time. that's a pretty big assumption to say that he knew them IRL. Okay, that is that is that is a little bit of projection on my behalf. I will agree with you, uh, yeah, yeah. but they're definitely because people you he's can't... seen in passing, at least minimally. Right, you you can't imagine someone creating a memorial for someone that like they they like didn't know or whose work they like didn't know or respect. Sure, sure. Um, I just wonder, right? Like, who, like who are these people? What was his relation to them that he felt that? They deserved an obituary. Also, I was told to go into video games and scroll down. Yeah, uh, let's do it. What was it? The uh, the gaming articles. Yeah, there's all of his articles. He's written. He's written so many. This is incredible. This guy, I told you, he's he's 
you know, that's really why he's so defensive of Smurf in hand is he's like also a visionary. Like he's a creator. He likes to make stuff and he's he thinks is, you know, people are coming for like the creatives, you know, like he's a little defensive about it. Video games, there we go. Okay, found it. Wow, these are a lot. The controversial time. issue of female gamers. Wait, it is real! Yeah. While some gamers think this shouldn't even be an issue, unfortunately it remains one as long as equal opportunity for both genders has yet to be fully realized. We're talking about females getting into video games, enjoying what males have taken for granted during the over 35 years of video gaming in the arcades and at home. So it's not anti-girl gamers, it's like, how do we bring women in, I think, yeah, to yeah. gaming? I think that's his point. Not too yeah, bad. Des designing games that appeal to girls as well as boys isn't an easy thing. Um, I'm pretty sure that, like, th the player base for Dark Souls is equally m men and women. Mm -hmm. Just saying. It, I, if you told me, if you told me that the, that the player base for Dark Souls was majority women, I believe you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. I love Dark Souls. Yeah. Anyone can be a masochist. Exactly. No, literally, like, you just make a good game. That is how you get women into games. You make a good True. game. People like good games. Go figure. Mm hmm Games were just, like, marketed masculine for a while in America, but I feel like the idea of game... like. There is still a fuck ton of misogyny. Okay, I, I can't believe I'm actually talking about this because of Vic George's article. <laughs> I'm not doing. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not allowing this to happen to me. Not after this long. You have gone through the Garden of Madness, and you have this come out it. on the other side of the Smurf forums. You've done it, and now you're burdened with this knowledge. You are so burdened now. So I have, burdened. I have trod the garden of madness. I have tasted of its fruits, and I am lesser for it. <laughs> I came out True. scathed. Incredible, isn't it? In the light, you've seen the dark. I can feel the two halves of my brain melting together. Yeah, it, this it's is gonna, you're gonna be stewing on this. This is something that you're gonna have to unravel for a little bit because there's just, again, it's kind of that classic story of there is, there is no conclusion. And then, but it's amazing that people came back 11 years later, you know? Yeah, I, well, I mean, you know, because someone found a funny cringy and, and, and shared it and was like, yeah, go, 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 go forth. <laughs> I I feel like I just got a Neuralink implant. Your brain is that shredded? My brain, my brain is like I discerning reality is becoming more difficult. You're going to see honestly. Smurfs out of like the corner of your eye. Yeah, anything blue? If you have blueberries in your fridge, ah, oh, mm -hmm. dude, Fred, you're going to be like looking at those differently from now on. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You won't even be able to look at a Snicker uh, bar oh no, a Snickers again. is gonna be ruined for yeah. you for, you, you know, just screwed, a little dude. tiny bit. Hope you didn't like those best. It's almost Halloween, too. Yeah, yeah. No, you know what? I, that that's good. Like, I'm, I'm going to imagine, like, like, biting into a blueberry and feeling oh, the pop. Oh, brother, yeah. And you know, now you finally, next time you're with somebody, you get to say, Oh, you've never heard of the Smurf forums? Yeah. Well, yeah, oh I, boy. This is a spaghetti bob that I get to pass on. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. This is your spaghetti now. The gift of pain. You have given me the gift of pain. Use it yes. wisely. Yes. Yes. Oh man. It's I a am good not, time. I am not better for it, but I am changed. Yes, it is certainly a transformative experience. Mm. Like like climbing a mountain or going through a divorce. <laughs> true, true. Both things. Both things that you just must they, they go through mandatorily. You. They change you. 
<laughs> next Fred and Mike stream, you know, non-zero chance. No, this uh, is fucking yeah. Cenobite shit, right? Like it is. It is. You are change. Like you come out. You know that you change, right? You you can't tell the difference between pleasure and pain anymore. <laughs> oh, Don't you say can't. I have my Smurf popped. <laughs> no, no, you did not. You did not. I. Ugh, it's crazy that went, though. That went directions I was not expecting. Oh yeah. well, I told I, you you'd never be able to reproduce it. You know, you'd never, you'd never figure out anything that would. You're not going to be able to guess it at all. Yeah, that's why we kept saying like, "Oh, you think this is bad? It's going to get so much worse. It's going to get right. so much worse." We kept warning you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it escalates because this writer couldn't help themselves. They had to continue to escalate it because yeah. they needed the dopamine. Mm -hmm. They, needed they the just hit. needed. It. They yeah, needed they need. It's like it, it's like it, it's like someone watching snuff films. Right? Oh, like, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Well, he created right? like, his like going, own going snuff online, film. Go, going, going onto message boards and like watching snuff films. And it's like, I need one more brutal. I need one more brutal. Right. Yeah. Like, he they just, just had to couldn't. Keep, he had to keep trying to get his fix. Mm -hmm. Right. Just had to increase constantly. I feel like I watched someone's descent. <laughs> did. You Where did. Because like, he, he started inching and inching and inching, and the next thing you know, it is all over the hill. So where yeah. do you think this guy is now nowadays? I was saying, I think he's probably in prison. I don't think he's dead. I think he's I think he's locked up. I think that that's where he's disappearing to, honestly. You think he kept escalating? I think he kept escalating, because, you know, know, a forum post, you know, or three or four, he's going to get a little more obsessive, and, and maybe he's going to try to commit some real-life crimes like that, you know? Right. And he's I got mean, a that sick has, and twisted mind. That has historically happened. Yeah, Where, exactly. like, people chase that high. Mm-hmm. I'm going to see if I can. I know that everyone's been looking for Smurf in hand, but he's smart to disappear off the internet, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, that was a good idea. Yeah, mm. yeah. 100%. He, I think, I, I worry that he said, I don't know what I'm going to do for the next chapter, but I feel like I have to one-up myself. Isn't that a little daunting and haunting that he said that as his final <laughs> just, message? Isn't it? And then did, he just disappears? Did, uh, right. Yeah. Did, 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 me, did you just do a spit take? <laughs> oh, it's just so funny that he just, oh, he, I do, it's just I such do a not wacky like, hole. Right, no, uh, Koki, I agree. I don't like the fact he said that he needed to one-up himself and then disappeared. No, I hate that. I hate yeah. that. Yeah. I'm scared. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, this was 11 years ago when he was last seen, suddenly disappeared, and he was on a creative thing where he'd come back every week-ish mm -hmm. with a new update. Yeah. Sometimes two in one day, sometimes once every three days. And then the final one where he's like, I have to outdo myself this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's actually, let, let's go to that post thing. again. That yeah, was at, he uh, realized that he couldn't go further. You think so? Maybe. Uh, pressure no, 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 it cracked was him. Seven. Here we go. Uh, he said, runt. Um, okay, so there's, oh God, even scrolling past them. Jesus Christ. Please help me. <laughs> Please give me money. Please. Please. Okay, let me see. No, okay, it was on page eight where we saw his last post. Here we go. Um, <sighs> over, the, over the course of the last four or so chapters, we bandied ideas back and forth between each other and our respective writings have begun to reflect the influences here and there of one another on this subject. The next chapter will be long in coming, for I haven't any vision of it as of yet. I feel compelled to try to outdo myself with each subsequent post. Your reference to bold ideas is very appropriate. Oh my god. I... This is fucking ominous. But when will he return? Hold on, I'm... Someone on Reddit, there's no proof, but they said that they were able to find him, locate him, and that, okay, specifically, I don't believe it because there's no there's no proof or backup here, but they right. said he has a wife, two kids, and he's a turbo normie with a job. They said they found him, but this is 11 months ago and there's no proof. No, the, the, people people say shit on the internet That's all what the I time. think. That, no, I think. No, 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 yeah. no. I don't like this line. 
Your reference to it's bold very ideas upsetting. is very appropriate. Uh huh. Uh, what do you mean by this? Uh, what did he mean by this? It was him. He's trying to cover his own tracks. Think so? You think he's he's covering up the path? I'm, I'm sorry, Trev made a post. Okay, so something happened. Hold on. Let me see if I can find the original. Now, you know what? I think that the one, like this one alone, speaks for itself. Huh? Tre Trev made this. And yeah, thanks you for yeah. not talking, not joking about 9 11 on your Smurf stream. I know it took a lot of restraint. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> because. Uh. Because, like, what's I supposed to think? Yeah, well, it because it does seem like that. Like, I don't even know what else you would think it is. Because there is no other description. There's no, like, oh, these are people I know or anything. <laughs> uh, I, I guess, I think at the end of the day, the thing that I will take, I will take away from this eventually is that this has been a fascinating look into what I could have become as a writer, right? Like, I, I feel like every, every person goes through, like, every artist or creative goes through their deviant art phase and their fan fiction phase, and they're like, they get these these stories they're really excited about, and they're like, okay, I like this thing, but what if it was grittier and edgier? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, and like more intense. What if it had like darker theme, more intense themes, more mature themes? Because they like something. And I, I think especially as a kid, you want the things you watch to be more mature, but you like what you like. Exactly, exactly. And so I, I think sometimes it's almost done as retroactive justification, right? Like, oh, if only Pokemon, yeah, if only Pokemon were gritty. Exactly. Exactly. Kicking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we on. want the Pokemon, yeah. but what if they I died love, for real? Right. I love Pokemon, but what if they ate each other? Exactly. Exactly. It's, and I think that this is just an like. This is beyond that, though, right? Like the core of that is wanting. Um, the core of that is wanting it to ref wanting the media you consume to reflect your own desires, but still, like often people get comfortable in the media that they know. In this case, this person had a uh, torture and diaper fetish, and, and they had the Smurf <laughs> safe haven. Yeah, and so I, I think that they extended that out into the thing that they knew and were comfortable with. I, uh, I found a Vic George statement on this as uh, from two years ago uh, about his, his allegations against like defending this. And he's kind of like backpedaling now as of two years ago. Uh -oh. He's backpedaling on this finally. Uh, oh my so people God. Are, there's like a brand new thread on it in the Smurf forums from like two years ago. Okay. And they're basically, he's defending him and they're just like, this is like really messed up, yada, yada. And Vic George comes in and he's like, I just thought the story was cute by the pictures alone, which is what I was paying most of attention to. Now, I don't have much memory of what I was reading or anything like that. And I don't really feel comfortable having that memory refreshed. Oh, by the way, is it okay for this person to have changed their mind about a piece of work? Or is that person supposed oh to have God. the same opinion throughout their life? Because if you're expecting me to say what you want me to say, you can look elsewhere for it because I won't satisfy that desire. I can only give you my honest opinion and that's it. <laughs> so defensive. What? <laughs> that was nonsensical. <laughs> He's still getting accused for it years later. Oh, uh, this next post he did is in caps lock. Would you like me to read this one too? Please. Yes, but only if you read it in, in like the in proper character. tone of voice for all caps lock. Okay, so basically someone said... Uh, uh, buh, 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 buh. Okay, uh, it's just someone just basically calling him out on his bullshit. Like, no excuses. You know, you were a mature person when you defended this. Da, da, da. And then the guy goes, and this is the form name. Okay, it goes, hey, Black, okay. what part of, I thought it was cute. Do you not understand? It's called past tense for a reason. If you want to be a jerk, be one elsewhere. My part in this conversation is over. Dead. Finito. Period. Paragraph. End of discussion. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, and that's his last post. <laughs> Woo! So this person like never grew up, right? Never, no, nah, never. No. no, this is an eternal child. Yes. 
judging by the My Links page, Vic George's experimented with psychoactives, huh? Oh, God. Okay. I I mean, how frequently does it have, like, such... I, I feel also like... links to a website called fatuglyorslutty.com. <laughs> what? Uh, he's got a whole list. He's also got links to the Would feminist you... frequency. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, you know, just hearing about what this person talks about and likes and what he writes about, I feel like this is someone who struggles to look at things beyond a surface layer. Oh, yeah, for sure. Right, like, this is, like, everything he does is the most surface-level look at something. Like, I like, oh, so yeah. I like Smurfs, and I like these people who have died, so I am going to combine them. I am going to make a page where I depict all of them as Smurf angels um, mm -hmm. I in memoriam. Very 100%. tone death in general. Right, like, there's no thought beyond, like, there's no thought beyond, I like these two things, so I'm going to combine them. Yeah. But you know, if that's not the purest mindset, then what is? Right, I think it, it's childlike. And, is it is, it is. Um, I don't, I wouldn't say that I respect it, but I understand it. It feels pure in a way. Yeah, there's ah. almost a purity in, in, like, a rejection of further thought, right? And m maybe that's maybe that's what he identified with, with the Smurflings, right? Just this pure, this purity of thought where there's nothing beyond them. Like, something important to, like that I brought up partway through is that the author never m seems to have any intention of like investing in these smurflings future they're not like oh, no. teaching them they they don't have like what are the activities that they do with them do they have like like blocks with numbers on them to familiar and letters to familiarize them with like arabic letters and numbers um like are arabic letter are arabic numbers and like english letters there's nothing. All there is is changing their diapers and touching their tails. <laughs> like it is as far as and and putting them in True. dryers. Like beyond that, there's not a whole lot that happens. Like they they laugh, they shit, they go clunk. It's pretty simple. It's a pretty simple life cycle. I think that I mean to be fair, a lot of people are like that. They they laugh, they shit, they go clunk. I feel like that's like. You describe most life cycles pretty yeah, well. Yeah, no, no, it's true, right? That That's like, I think a lot of VTubers, God knows how many times I like slam the armrest on my chair. Love right? to go clunk. I love clunking. <laughs> I, I, I have, I have a friend whose steam name is Heavy Wet Clunk. That's a good one. Yeah. That's all you need. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Dropped egg. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We like to clunk. No, this is this has been amazing. We have been at this for nine hours and fifteen minutes, and I don't know if you intended to commit this much time to this. I'm no, glad we did. Honestly, it was I, worth yeah. it. It was. It worth was super it. worth it for sure. Oh my god, no! I'm I'm so glad that this was um this was the way I decided to uh like like do use my Tuesday. I can think of like few better uses. It's such a unique, and it's it's just such a unique situation, too, you know? Because, again, it takes so long for anyone to come by and be like, Hey, uh, what's going on over here? Right. Just taking the time to, like, look at it and, like, appreciate it for what it is. Now, like, I think that sometimes appreciation is misunderstood as, like, understanding why something is good right i yeah i i think that appreciation is a more holistic thing right like oh you didn't read enough of it so so you don't really appreciate it it's like no i feel like i appreciated this story right like i got the most that i definitely possibly did. could have you oh, definitely yeah. did yeah 
like the, what what was the name of this hold on i want i want to know the name was there even a name oh it's no. just i the made bloom. a short illustrated smurf story that's it wow i made I a short calling it the bloom moon nursery story. because like i guess he's that's usually that what we uh, unofficially call yeah, it yeah unofficially call it yeah that's fair no that, that that's fair blue moon nursery yeah, that, that sounds right. I'd like to note that like none of the other nurses were ever characterized. It was all just about his experience and like as far as he cared, none of the other characters existed. No, he was very much the only person. He would mention, he didn't even give a name to like his like maybe girlfriend or whatever. She was just the woman friend. Right. Yeah, never even named. I mean, to be fair, one of the, one of the Smurflings was never named either. They were just called the Runt. The runt. The yeah. runt. Forever in our hearts, the runt. And then, and then, the, the best part is that the runt has been outrunted at the end of the story. Remember? They just have to get smaller and smaller and more pathetic. Right, like in VR chat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> for, the, for those who don't know, there was, for a long period of time, avatars kept getting smaller. As people Incredibly wanted to tiny. be the small one. <laughs> that was a joke for like 10 people in chat. <laughs> oh, it works, it works. You know what, that- I'm not here for everyone. I'm here for the patricians among you. Oh yeah, if you sat through all of this with us, and so many of you did, like... Yeah, you've and earned yeah. a badge of honor. Third, yeah. fourth time you... at that, too. I'm- I- I feel like we should make a- make a little badge. Right, for everyone who, uh, who suffered through this stream. Yeah, so you're like, I was like, here, I was yeah. here. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, wear it. So I'm out, maybe, maybe, hold on, maybe I can contact, like, my, my managers and be like, hey, could we, like, get Kawa Entertainment to make a I survived the, uh, um, the, 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 the fucking, the, the weird Smurf fetish stream? Uh, it's such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful treat. It's a beautiful hole of insanity that you don't know where it's going to end up. And then it's so much build up with slow creeping horror. And then it just goes off the rails. And then he's rubbing hot sauce in their eyes. Who the fuck said Smurple Heart? <laughs> that, I mean, tr truthfully, the Smurple Heart. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hold on, that was, uh, 1,000 needless. Uh. Powerful. Holy sh- okay. You two. This has been an incredible first collab. It was fantastic. I, I had so much fun today. It didn't feel like nine hours. No, it did not. Like, yeah. I definitely- I am feeling drained as if I stream for nine hours. Like, like, my energy level is at that point. Your but, soul and brain like, are going and are charged. Right, right. Yeah, like, I I feel, l like, still, I still feel light. You like feel I, alive because it's not yeah. often, again, it's, I feel like it's, it's, it's kind of hard sometimes to find, like, a, a, an area that you haven't explored and you just get this, like, yeah. thrill when you find a new you hole know to dig through. One. Right. Yeah, you yeah. know when you're on it. When you're on the trail, you're like, ooh, this is good. Yeah, no, th th this kind of thing appears once in a blue moon. I think I... Pun intended. I, yes. I, God damn it, you're right. <laughs> I, I definitely could not have done this for this long without you two, though. <laughs> oh, dude, it was such thank an adventure. You. Thank you so much for having us. Th this was amazing. I thank you so much for introducing this to me. I... I, I have said this already, but I am not better for it, but I am changed, and that is worthwhile. You're welcome, you're welcome. Fantastic. It's, it's an incredible, for better or worse, story. No, I, I, I feel like th this is so special, right? Like, this kind of thing appears only once in a while, and you really gotta, like, embrace it. And this it's also, relatively I, undisturbed, and it's all, yeah. like, still intact. Right, like you can like still it, go to it and kind of have the feeling of scrolling through and everything. Right, there are pe there were like a couple of people who made it made accounts and like made a few posts and are like this is weird and bad, but it's still there. Exactly, right? which is rare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like unpreserved in the internet hole it died in, it's still there. You could still observe it. That is so rare. 
-hmm. and that I feel like that is worthwhile, right? I, I'm glad. I am so glad that the admins decided to leave it up. Oh, yeah. It is. Sure. So true. That, they could have is, easily gotten rid of it by now, you know? Yeah, it's like, oh, this is a bad look for the website. We don't want to, like, pull people in. But, I mean, you saw no one's posted since 2019. And, like, my viewers are pretty good about not, top, not tapping the glass. We could probably check back, like, next week and there won't be a single another post. Yeah, yeah, because we've mm -hmm. covered this several times, too. And okay. no yeah. one no one goes. No Which one... is good. Yeah. That's yeah. how you should enjoy That's it. That's a good sign. Want. It's Always. a good sign. Yeah. yeah. It, mean, it means you've got, I, I feel like that means you've got a healthy audience for this kind of thing. Yeah, they can like enjoy it as much as we do without, you know, you know, disturbing the environment. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah. Just, we're there to observe, not interact. Yes. No, this is this is special. Thank you so much for sharing such a darling thing with me. Thank you for You're inviting so us welcome. over. It was so much fun. No, this was so good. I, um, yeah. Again, don't tap the glass. But everyone. Both of you, thank you so much for coming on. Everyone who joined, thank you for coming on. I'd I'd like to take a moment to thank everyone uh, who who gave subs and bits. You you want to hear all the gift subs? Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, Cause, yeah. Because yeah. uh, who, baby? Tank facts. Thanks to the hundred bits. The point de hoc of streams. Oh, well, what what is? I need to look this up. <laughs> Okay, I get it now. <laughs> Ender Cobra, thank you for the 300 bits. To the guests, this was fantastic. Never before have I seen guests that so easily not only fit in, but contributed to the energy of the stream. I can't speak for everyone, but I certainly will be checking out your streams after today. Do it. Aw, thank you! Hard, hard recommend. Yeah. Um, they are, I will say, um, they are very chaotic, but in a good way. I'm, yeah, I feel like this this is the stream where chaotic people come to like drink tea and be chaotic. Like yeah, the the, vi the vibes here, like the things we do, are chaotic, but the vibes are chill. Exactly, and I'm happy for it. Like I I'm glad that this is my little niche. <laughs> very cozy corner. It was very cozy. It was. I'm so glad. So fun. Honestly, you brought up a lot of things. Like there is like a music girl or something early on that you were talking about or something. There is there's some kind of thing that you're like, we have to show you that I have to show you this time. So like, I mean, we should definitely do this again. There is there's something I that I, I, I'll think, have to go back the, and watch the VOD because I forgot what it was called. Okay, but. okay. Well, on the mute, does anyone remember? I'll bet that someone in chat remembers because their brains aren't froggy song. That's it. Yeah. I, it is time to christen you two. <laughs> I think we need to. Hold on. Is it just like a quick thing? Is it like a... It is a quick thing, yes. Right, I'm right. not going to it. show it on stream. Okay. I'm not going to show it on stream, uh, but people will hear. Yeah, this is my turn to share something with you. Okay. You don't... Here. Oh my god, what is this? Oh my god. Why is he like this? What the hell is this? <laughs> I like it. animation too choppy it's like just three frames cycling it's all like hand that. done well, it's like a png vtuber the way that it's just like back back love back. him he is a cute frog <laughs> i think i could tell you any of the words besides froggy song oh no the same Terrible! Oh my <laughs> god! I feel like I am gaining 
schizophrenia. This, this really like gets into your amygdala. Uh, th there's a particular <laughs> frame. There's a particular frame that you need I to see. I love this already. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I his like eyes. It. I his like eyes. The teeth. This. So frogs don't have teeth like that. Why did they do that? Maybe not in your universe. <laughs> this, beautiful. This is this. beautiful. This frog has straighter teeth than I do. <laughs> <laughs> but probably fewer given the size. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is why that emote is called Froggy. Oh! Okay, now it's all making Tiawa sense. Froggy. I get mm -hmm. it now. Now, do you suppose that's two lines of teeth, or is that just a brace going across the top row of teeth? Uh, I, hmm. Those are, those are pretty symmetrical tic-tac teeth, if they you ask are, me. They are, yeah. Th this is like, this is something engineered in scorn. <laughs> yeah, this is full of hate. This is full of anger. Full of hate! <laughs> this is the frog that hates. And hates what, and then they just don't elaborate. Yeah, no, it, it it's like the hates. SCP, the flesh that hates, right? Okay, McShorts too. Thank you for the two months. Knowledge comes with burden. Yes, I'm here to share it with everyone because if we can all shoulder the burden together, maybe we can bear it. PK Cactus, thank you for the 13 months. Congratulate oh, on the 13 Smurfs. Thank you. Uh, yeah, boy, Mr. Impotent, thanks for gifting a sub to Cursed with Knowledge. MacD87 for gifting a sub to Vic George. <laughs> Manuel of Arms for gifting a sub to Koki Cuteness Enjoyer. There you go. Bastard. Noel Pretzel, thanks for gifting a sub to Pierre Culliford. Noel Pre and, and for gifting a sub to Smurf Armageddon. Full. Drunkle Trout for the 12 Smurfs, the full, the full Smurf. One full Smurf of support. Thank you. Mm -hmm. God damn. That's Garbage a lot of hero. support. Imagine this stream being your one year anniversary to a streamer, like the Smurf forum. I mean, I don't know what you could possibly, what more you could want. This is like putting the cherry on top, right? 100% yes. Uh, Garbage Hero, thank you for gifting a sub to Smurf Slicer, Mr. Impotent, for uh, gifting a sub to Smurfophile, In the Loft, for giving one to Smurferer, <laughs> Drunken Opossum, for gifting one to Green Blanky. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> uh, it's messed up. <laughs> well, I, I feel like we're going to go back through these and like the only the people who have been here for like a majority of the time will understand them. True. Garbage hero for gifting one to Smurf Flossed. <laughs> Fuck off. Well. <laughs> Pig meat production for gifting a sub to Rip Snickers. Yeah. Machacha Fulgrim for gifting one to Finish Him Daddy Uwu. <laughs> oh god. An anonymous person for gifting one to tail pop. Oh fuck off! Oh, oh fuck off! <laughs> Stop! Mooney the Spoonie for the twenty dollars, and yeah, saying they're not using the word sky cl sky clad correctly, but it's not a ritual. Yeah, it's supposed to be a ritual context. Uh, Machacha Fulgrim for gifting one to uh, cock is stinky tail. No, Cookie's Stinky Tail. Yeah, that's, uh, I don't Cookie's know who that is. Brain no. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'll get down to the bottom of that mystery one day. My chat likes to fuck with me a lot. Um, an anonymous person gift us, gifted a sub to Erect Smurf. Uh, in the loft, <laughs> gifted one to Smurf and Turf. It's good too. <laughs> it's really good, actually. There's an anonymous gift sub to Hurt Me More. And Mr. Impotent also gifted one to Smurf Popper. Uh, I think I, I think that was after I said I wanted to take a, a Smurfling and like bite down and pop it. Oh God! L like a fucking um, like a fucking boba. Of course, <laughs> of course. Toasty Biggins, thanks for gifting a sub to Smurf Cake, an, an anonymous gift to Blue Snuff Video. 
<laughs> in the loft gifting to Smurf Pizza 69 an anonymous gift to Rufet MacD87 for gifting one to Tactical Smurf Mr. Impotent gifted one to Osama Bin Smurfin <laughs> oh my gosh Osama Bin Smurfin J Sir Jeffrey Bengals gifted one to Commando Smurf 4. Mr. Impotent gifted. Oh my god, Mr. Impotent. Jesus Christ. Gifted one to Smurf Team 6 and to Terrorist Smurf. <laughs> oh god. Well, you know, at least he gifted to both to even it out. Mm -hmm. uh, Garbage Hero gifted one to Smurf Lives Matter. Uh, Jeffrey Bengals gifted one to Sadist Smurf. Uh, an anonymous gift to Torture Your Face. Pygmy Production gifted one to Strawberry Pepper. Fuck you. <laughs> Garbage Hero gifted one to Red Blueberry. In the Loft gifted one to Smurf Sauce. Uh, Mr. Impotent gifted one to Waterboarding Babies. How is that name still around? <laughs> wow. That's it's been around for three and a half years. That's the surprising thing. An anonymous gift to Pom Pom Pain. <laughs> Jesus of Methlehem gifted a sub to Diaper Fetish. <laughs> yeah. Machacha Fulgrim gifted, gifted one to Spank Me Daddy. His anonymous gift to Strawberry Jam. Mooney the Spoonie with another $10. Um, oh yeah, consent to pray for your sanity. Thank you for that. To Dapper Slapper gifted a sub. Or no, has been subbed for two Smurfs now. I joined to diaper Beautiful. fetish stuff. I'm too sober for this. Correct. Uh, like, however drunk you are, you're too you're too sober. Captain Revo, thank you for gifting a sub to Burnt Runts. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> so hard. An anonymous gift to Deformed Blueberry. Oh, and Mr. Impotent subbed uh, for six months in advance. Thank you. Uh, they smurfed for six months in advance. Th it's thank so you. Nice. I no, uh, that actually helps because I'm trying to get into Partner Plus. Um, yeah. I only so last month was my first month of it because like before then I was kind of you know doing it here and there. wasn't like wasn't taking streaming as seriously. Um, mm -hmm. But now now I'm really gunning for it, and uh, I think I can do it. I think I can do part of I think you can. Plus. I got faith I in you. I think you can. I believe. Uh, and no, I mean, like, people have been so, so supportive. Like, mm -hmm. oh my god. Thank you so much, everyone. Vim Steyer for the 500 bits. Uh, yeah, one hell of a first stream. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Starry139, thank you for gifting a Smurf to Smurf Snuff. In the loft, gifted a sub to Smurf BB. MacD87 gifted a smurf to per Pooping Smurf 1210. Machacha Fulgrim gifted a sub to Praise Daddy. Sir Jeffrey Bengals gifted a sub to uh, Constipated Baby. Eve will be the weights coming off. Oh my god, yeah. I'm so ready for that video to be out. Like, I want this video out and never look back. Uh, an anonymous gift imagine. to... An anonymous gift to Blue Runt. Oh, and Ziryu gifted a sub to Jaw. Hey. Mr. Impotent gifted a sub to Stuck in the Dryer. Ender Cobra gifted a sub to Just Dryer. Uh, Machacha Fulgrim gifted a sub to Quivering Palm. Mooney the Spoonie with a hundred bits. Crazy? I was crazy once. Yeah, me too. Pig, <laughs> meat, pro Pig meat Protection. Thank you for the fresh smurf. Uh, Vincent Van Vega for the Prime Smurf. Uh, Mooney the Spoonie with a 100 bits. TBH is a fanfic author. I kind of sympathize. Comments are a hell of a dopamine hit. They were. Yep. Drunken Opossum, thanks for the three months. I need access to Dorselessness. Yes. To Dorselessness. Dorselessness. Uh, Mooney the Spoonie with a hundred bits. The only reason I know the MASH song is because a friend of mine made one of those handshake memes with the MASH theme and the Bocarano theme. Uh, I only bring this up because it's an excuse to mention my favorite anime. Valid. <laughs> Mammalian Hybrid for gifting a sub to Mong Pick Me Up I'm Scared. 
Red links for gifting. Uh, no, that's just nine months of smurfing. Congratulations on your placenta. Uh, you yep, can use them. Smurf placenta, even. Yeah, yeah. You you get you get the special rare Smurf placenta. Limited edition comes mm -hmm. in blue, guys. <laughs> Only blue. Sorry. Mooney the Spoonie with another 100 bits. To be honest, smuggling Smurf sounds to me like a euphemism for something rule 18. Set Wait. San... Sanatu... Sanatukai. I did it. Thank you for the fresh Smurf. Tank facts with 100 bits. I foresee many, many future meat and cokey VR collab world hopping streams. Hell yeah. I mean... I'm completely down. I mean, I'm down. Hell yeah. Always a good time. <laughs> and I would love to show you guys. I would love to teach you Rumble. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, teach that looks fun. Then. I would love to play that. Oh, it's great. Um, No, it, it, it's fantastic. Hard recommend. 50 bits from Tank Fact. It's like he's horrified he's holding a horcrux. <laughs> Mooney the Spoonie, thanks for the 100 bits. Uh, hey there, everyone. Even reading strange Smurf things, your voice is really therapeutic to me right now. Aw. Is my voice that that therapeutic? You have like Almost a sound. like you balance a, out the terror. Yeah, exactly. Like it doesn't sound like you're reading as screwed up things as you are. Your voice is like <laughs> disarming people while they're listening about like terrible things. <laughs> <laughs> I think I earnestly think one of the things that made my voice stand stand out initially was my diction. Mm. I have pretty. I think I have pretty sharp diction. I could yeah. see that. Yeah, I could agree with that. Yeah. Buck the star. Thank you for the seventeen months. Uh, can't stay. Have to watch this later. Just wanted to say what the fuck. <laughs> Robo coon. Thank you for the two months with Prime. Spec ops aware the nine months. Pig meat protection with the hundred bits, and my activity feed literally doesn't go back any farther. Are you shitting me? Ugh. Oh, 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 oh! Uh, actually, hold on. I can filter out followers. Here we go. Filter. Uh, if I get rid of followers, I bet it'll go back far enough. Uh oh! Starry gifted a sub to uh, Enigmas. Hey, thank you. Hell Whiskers gifted one to Smurf Fetish. Patty Ricky gifted a sub to fuckers. How is fu what? Wow. That's allowed. That there. That's allowed. Uh, Machacha Fulgrim gifted one to Savi. Aw, thank you. Beautiful. Uh, and an anonymous gifter gifted one to Smurfcock. Good. <laughs> you know what? Good. Uh, oh god, it's not going back any farther. Maybe? Hold on. Stream elements. Maybe stream elements will go farther back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if you have the extension in OBS, you can open that up on the bar. Ah. Uh, I do not, though. Mm -mm -mm. Going to my dashboard. No, I seriously, good. thank you so much, everyone, for, like, the dumbass bullshit support. It, it's perfect. Okay, here we go. Okay, so if I keep scrolling, uh, 1014. Wait, subscriptions and gifted. Okay. Okay, I think this will take me farther back. I, I think this will do. Okay, that was my birthday stream. Uh, plot night for the seven months. Co Coyote comrade with the 21, Mont Blanc with the seven. Uh, Dean is my president. He allows me to be a real furry thanks to Alcatraz. Good. <laughs> Nested dreams of the 22 months. Brain spaghetti with meat and meat. <laughs> Gen Cat for the 20 months. Fallen pineapple with the 23. Blind Archer gifted one, gifted a sub to Spaghetti Bob. Good. Dummy Dexterous with the 19 months. And, uh, yeah. No, that's it. I think that's it. And Spec Ops Bear with the 9 months. And, and Robocoon with the two with Prime. Yeah. No, we did it. We Aww. did it. Skylarka, thanks for thank giving us up to me. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Thank you, you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And please enjoy your froggy. 
Oh, Bill, I'm gonna I pop will. one in chat like yeah, really, I'm gonna right very now. much enjoy Deuce. my froggy. Very Try it on. There he is. See how it first, feels. First, I broke it in. There we go. That is my there first. There you go. You broke your froggy cherry. My froggy is in. <laughs> He's a good guy. You never, you never forget your first froggy. Yeah. Thank oh, you, and you never forget your first Smurf. Mm -hmm. You never forget it. You guys, this was lovely. Thank you so much. Let's please not make this the last time that we do something together. It is, no, it so is down. rare. It is rare that I can go for nearly ten hours, and still, <laughs> and still feel like I have a brain. Yeah, honestly. I feel pretty, I mean, I'm exhausted, but not in the social battery way. You know right. what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm good. I'm, I'm solid. I could keep going right. down the rabbit hole, but I know better only because it's almost 10 hours. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, like, exactly. Like, exactly. Like you, you, you don't want to hit the point that you crash. Exactly. Exactly. I still yeah. have energy. I'm good. Yeah. I, I feel like that's something you learn as an adult, right? Yeah. Like yeah, you, you, yeah. It's yeah, not yeah. good to burn all the way out. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, th th there's a lyric to to uh, the song, the one rap song that I would do, uh, th that I would try to do, uh, and that the lyric that I love is, "What kind of candle has a wick on both ends anyway?" Exactly. None like, of them. They're saying, "Burn, burn the, burn the candle at both ends." What fucking candle has two wicks? Exactly. <laughs> it's a pretty shitty candle. No, Zem, thank you for the fresh sub. Thank you so much, everyone. And why don't... Let's see, we need to figure out... I, I need to figure out. Who are we going to bother? Who are we going to bother? I what, don't what know. What was our raid message? What was our raid... We, I said earlier that we were going to have a raid message. It was something... Oh, oh there was... you go. There you go. Ender Cobra got it. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh... There it is. Threw that smurf into a dryer. Motherfucker looked like a Resident Evil 5 campaign extra when the cycle was done. Oh my god. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Goddamn perfect. Oh my god. Oh, Mike is still doing coping and seething in Las Vegas. Oh, good, good, okay, good. Okay, no, no, no. We're going to raid Mike. Uh, but everyone, enjoy. I, I actually imagine a lot of people went over there as soon as he went live, and I do not blame any of them at yeah, all. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Um, uh, but no, 100%. Uh, we are going to go bother him. Sounds good to me. Thank you so much to the both of you, and thank you everyone who tuned in and hung out and, uh, smurfed with us. It has been a great pleasure to host every last one of you here. I will thank see you, you Thursday. Thursday, we are, I believe we are continuing the Monument Mythos. I believe that's what's on the docket. I'm excited. I also want to sneak in the new, um, what, um, uh, the new Kane Pixels video. I'm, I'm excited. The Longest View is what it's called. There's a new one. It's 40 minutes long and I'm excited. Wow. <laughs> uh. But everyone, thank you so much. I will see you all soon. I leave Smurf you in, sweetly. I yeah. leave you in Mike's yes. Smurf kindly forever <laughs> i don't know my <laughs> brain's busted goodbye. this is a 10 hour well, stream it's that's fine it's fine thank you, for, robot. Thank you for the eight yeah. months i'm out goodbye goodbye everybody bye guys good fun with mike bye guys bye